What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for you. Another live fight companion. Today, we are in Belarus for ACA 173. And I'm really excited to have you folks alongside for the ride. If you haven't already, smash that like button and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. So you never miss a live stream. Oh my god, for those watching Friday fights this morning for one championship i just heard you guys got a treat now i've been watching it kind of it's been on the background and i've been as i've been working here all morning actually working on some real job stuff but couldn't miss an aca card couldn't miss a friday morning stream my boy jay had you covered for muay thai so big shout out to him if you're new to the channel like i said smash that like button and subscribe we do live fight companions every single weekend ladies and gentlemen live play-by-play -play, commentary reaction most importantly live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat so don't forget to get your comments in the live chat and uh yeah, let's uh, let's see who's here today. What's up, hockey from home? We got kick ass McGrath. What's going on, buddy? What's going on, sis? Let's go. Uh, get Neville into splits knockout, man. Yeah. By the way, sis was the one who just sent me that highlight. I had literally just shut off um, the Friday fights because I was prepping this stream and finishing up some work before uh, we went live here today. And he's like, "Did you see the knockout? Did you see the knockout?" He sent me the clip. Oh my goodness! I love how Jay described it. Him doing the James Brown, which, by the way, my and I gotta ask her now that I'm older to give me some more like stories. Actually, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed, but she's seen James Brown four times in concert. Uh, in her, it, 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 uh, sorry about that. We froze for a second but yeah my, my my parent my mom and my dad have actually seen james brown a handful of times in concerts so though i want to hear the stories about going to those concerts i'm like i'm a little scared i'm a little scared uh three-day weekend time happy easter everyone so happy to be able to relax so yes happy easter everybody it is good friday here today let's go let's go let's go we are live indeed what's up hm big shout out to hm by the way uh thank you so much for i mean all the memberships that you gave out last weekend sir yo main card minute what's going on main card minute great stream last weekend man great stream i was uh i tuned in a little bit between uh between periods at the hockey game that i was at i had main card minute in my ear and i was commenting in his, in his chat uh does amazing work does amazing stuff as well on their channel all, all right first fight is about to begin here in a, a moment but make the walkout. But uh, we'll address it. We'll address it here, and uh, we'll keep on rolling. All right, the first fight is being announced. Like I said, fighters are about to make their walk out here. Shorter card here today. I mean, shoot, the last ACA card that we did was like, man, I want to say it was like sixteen. 16 or 17 fights it was it was absolutely insane this one only 11 not a huge main card was it five fights on the main card i mean yeah there was like 11 prelims alone on the last card we did but anyways um we have here to start off as the fighters make their walkout now a uh, kolmerd nurmatov against amikdar barsegian all right, let me update the ticker on the bottom of the screen and then we'll get right back to it. We got 125ers to start off this one. And by the way, guys, I did post my schedule. I did post my streaming schedule uh, in the Discord for exclusive members and, uh, and past exclusive members. I also posted it on the community tab on the channel. So go check that out if you haven't already. Some of the fights, some of the streams are going to be moving targets. Like tonight, there's like four or five events going on at once. There's, you know, the Valdez boxing match. There's Oshuto Brazil. There's LFA. There's BKFC. So, like I said, in moving target, I might do most of Shuto, then jump over to BKFC. I might just do uh, the prelims of LFA, then jump over to BKFC. But regardless, we're doing the BKFC main card for sure. All right, uh, let's highlight these two fighters here. As like I said, they're making their way to the cage. And again, I want to hear your guys' thoughts throughout this entire stream. We're totally interactive. Vote in the poll question as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully we see less crotch sniffing, 
more violence. As AC, for me, it's it's either one way, it's either one way or the other. And we either get a lot of finishes, both in the submission category and or knockout, or it's just a lot of well, Dagestani style fighting. So it, it it's kind of a coin flip, like unlike K. You know, you know, you're gonna get like the one Friday fights treatment. In that you're gonna see like finishes left, right, and center. AC is kind of a coin flip, but I, I still enjoy doing it. So, like I said, let's let's just get right into it. Let's just get right into it. Uh, we have Nurmatov, the warrior, 13 and 7 as a pro. He is three and two in his last five fights. He's out of Uzbekistan. Like I said, 13 and 7 as a pro. Three KOT go, seven submissions, three decisions. One and two in ACA, two and one in WEF, and three and oh in Muradov, which, by the way, proud, proud to say that we've actually streamed a Muradov event on this channel, and it got tremendous, tremendous views. So big shout out to everyone who supports Muradov uh, fight professional league, I should say. Uh, he beat a 4 and oh guy, no guy in his last fight. Uh, lost to 6 and 0 oh guy, lost to 9 and 4. Um, yeah. Yeah, it looks like whenever he takes a step. So yeah, it looks like when he takes a step up in competition, he gets his ass kicked. So we'll see how he fares against a six and three Miktar Bag uh Sarian, who, like I said, six and three from Armenia, 26 years of age. Um three and or two and three in his last five fights. He did lose his last fight. And, uh, wait, it doesn't have his, doesn't have any of his other fights listed. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Well, despite that, I'm picking him to win. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's got a regardless i'm picking him to win like i said the warrior never takes a step up in competition he seemingly he seemingly loses so going with uh the armenian guys i'm just gonna do a quick reset because i, I have no idea what's going on here we're having some connection issues I, and by the way i i always check everything i do tests i do a little pre-stream to make sure everything works before i go live so that I avoid these issues, but we're having some issues here. So give me one second. I'm going to do a little reset and we'll be right back. Let's go. All right, guys, we're just going to roll through it. We're going to roll through it. Nothing I can do on my end. It's the provider's issue. So hopefully they uh, they figure out their stuff and we're going to continue to do our thing here. Um, I love ACA. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's uh, like I said, I, I always try to to cover it. I always try to watch it, but uh, I'll be the first one. You know, I, I, I'm a realist, you know, just like I don't bend over for the UFC all the time. Like it, I call out ACA when they're when they're bad cards, and I'm hoping this one will be good. Uh, GCM picks, what's up, GCM picks? Thank you so much for joining. Uh, Smoderov, uh, Kolodko, and Tisputori is my parlay for the card. One unit parlay cashes as plus two seventy. Take notes, ladies and gentlemen. Take notes. We need knockouts. I wish DraftKings would let me bet on ACA. YouTube just hating. We were rocking through. Bet online says GCM picks. Bet online. Oh, it's not even YouTube. It's my uh, internet provider. There's connection issues um, in my area right now for some reason. But like I said, that's not going to stop us here. We're going to keep riding. We're going to keep riding. All right. Round one coming up here, guys. Round one coming up here. Fighters are just introduced in the ring. Round one. Let's get home. How's your guys' Friday going, by the way? I know a lot of you don't have work here today because of a uh, good Friday. 
doesn't apply to me, but we're here. We're here. A little Easter stream. A nice left and a right uppercut and an overhand right by Nurmatov. Oh, he wants this win. Left and a right. Or right and a left by Nurmatov. Left hook there, straight right. Nurmatov coming out quite literally swinging in the opening frame. Appreciate you sticking through the rough cards. I'll have to dip in an hour for a float session, but I'll definitely be back tonight for LFA BKFC. Awesome, man. Cannot wait to see you. And I appreciate you joining us even just for an hour this morning, man. It means a lot. Big shout out to GCM Picks. Got to sleep in for the first Friday and age is very refreshing. Well, someday I hope to, uh, someday I just hope to sleep. This week's been tough. This week's been tough. But yeah, I'm glad you got to sleep in, buddy. And for everybody else who didn't have to work today, I'm glad you guys got to take advantage of the day off here and the long weekend. Big overhand right again by Nurmatov. Answering is Bar Barsegian. Barsegian with the right to the body. Three minutes and 51 seconds on the clock. Counter left hook by Barsegian. Let's hope Nurmatov didn't like gas himself out already here. As he was just throwing big and his pace has slowed down a little bit and he's starting to eat some shots by Barsegian. Three minutes and 37 seconds on the clock. Nurmatov swinging a miss. Hey, what's up, Denial? Good to see you, buddy. Three minutes and 25. Looking for a takedown now is Barsegian. Even though he was getting the better of Nurmatov on the feet here, I mean, after that first minute. By the way, guys, you can watch you can watch these ACA cards for free. ACA 173 is free on the ACA website. Ref warning Nurmatov to keep his fingers out of the cage. Looking... He did get the takedown, Barsegian, but asked the mat back to the cage. Nirmatov now on his knees, looking to use the wall to get back up to his feet. Nirmatov, yeah, tried grabbing the cage and still got taken down. Joke of main event in one total setup to build a fighter. The other dude is one, two, three. Oh, really? Well, I heard there's what eight knockouts on the card, so overall it delivered. Hopefully, I'll be able to get back to doing those streams regularly, guys. It's just... I got to pay rent. I got to pay rent. So this this week and the last few weeks, you know, I've had to prioritize getting some work done in the morning. But uh, here we are for ACA. So it's not like we're completely leaving you guys in the dark. What's up, Sean? Great to see you. Hope all is well, buddy. Thanks so much for watching all the videos we post on the channel as well. And that's an extension to everyone in the live chat who does. Back up to their feet. And Nermatov. Initiating first, but Barsegin, right hand to try to set up the takedown. Good stuff of the takedown by... Nirmatov, Nirmatov lands a nice right, he now lands another right hand, and he rocked Barsegian. Barsegian still wobbly, Barsegian still wobbly, bro, Barsegian, he's over, it's gonna, big right hands, Barsegian covers up, Barsegian goes to the ground, Barsegian just trying to survive right now, now look for the rear naked choke, Nirmatov couldn't finish him with punches, so he goes for the choke, he goes for the choke, Barsegian turning to his right here, Doesn't have the back of Barsegian, but it is all over because he chokes him out anyways. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Nurmatov finally gets a win against an opponent with a decent record and is 6-3 and three a decent record, but no, but to his standards of guys that he just seemingly cannot beat, it is a decent record. As If you look... He, he's been having such a hard time against guys. I mean, the, literally a six and four, I'm pretty sure, is one of the best guys that he's beaten on paper. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. A four and oh and a six and four guy are the best guys that he's beaten. No joke. No joke. So add this one into that as well. Big shout out to Nurmatov. Chose violence over a technical game, and he landed a big, big shot on Barsegian and upon rocking him upon forcing him to cover up on the ground he employed the choke now was it a clean choke no but he got it nonetheless hey thank you so much for the dollar donation <laughs> sharing the love sharing the love thank you so much brother appreciate you and thank you so much for as always you know renewing your membership you're the man the uh, rest of the card was good, yes, but I bailed on the main to hear it, vo hear it voice. 
Uh, yep, 8 out of 11 knockouts, or 8 out of 11 fights for knockouts, TKOs. Love it, love it. Man, that's the thing. KSW and One Friday Fights Muay Thai, like, you know, you know you're getting, like, what, 80% finish, finish rate. Not quite on this one, but close enough. Uh, I don't always like Russians, but when I do, I like them juice to the gills. <laughs> You should have got to rewatch the elbow KO from the Coleman. That was epic, dude. Splits when he got knocked out. Yeah, sis sent me it on uh, on on Discord. But I I always catch up on watching the entire card, even the shitty fights um, over the weekend or usually Sunday nights if I'm busy. You know, Friday, Saturday streaming. So I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely be tuning into the event sometime this weekend. Hey, what's up in the grand? Hey, I um I wasn't able to like comment or stick stick around for too long, but I did stop by to drop a like on your stream Wednesday. Big shout out to you, brother. Hey, what's up, Phil? Good to see you, man. By the way, Combat Sports Today is doing a tremendous job uh, on Twitter right now. Um, man, and and his other work as well. Blogs and, and just everything that Combat Sports Today does is really awesome. They're big supporters of Jay and I. So I just wanted to show you some love, Phil. Thank you so much. And oh my goodness, I see all these comments here and I'll get to them. But Matt, are you did not have to do this, buddy. Tell Brent and thank you. P.S. Phony Turgeson is a beta. Oh my God. <laughs> thank you so much for the five dollars man really like, you didn't have to do that buddy and like I, I didn't mean to like disclose that as like a woe ways me sympathy thing to get donations i'm never gonna ask for donations never gonna ask for memberships all I, all that i ask is that you guys smash that like button vote in the poll question if there is one and just hang out with us so really appreciate it matt really appreciate it um wow i'm gcn and, and matt right off the bat dude guys thank you seriously you you guys are now let's just hope this fucking internet sorts itself out because I can't really do anything on my end anymore. Uh violent sub dude's eyes are popping out. Don't love the cage grabs, but Nermatov is vicious. Oh my voice got you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought you meant like the voice. I was like, you're catching up on the on the voice. BKC Prospects as well. Non-stop KOs. Let's go, let's go. And again, thank you, Matt. I know my connection's been a little bit shitty this morning. There's nothing I can do on my end. I've checked all the boxes. I've crossed all the T's, dotted all the I's. It's my providers. Just There's regional issues right now. But uh, I hope you caught everything I said there, Matt. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up, Amberly? Thank you so much for joining as well. Really appreciate you. Um, Amberly, now super active in our Discord. And if you guys want to be active in our Discord too, um, you can become a member of the channel. One month, lifetime access. Easy peasy. Hey, no problem, buddy. No problem. Uh, phony, what's going on, buddy? Happy Friday. Uh, I'm just happy I can tell my kids I watched Don King's Muay Thai debut. Uh, hope everybody in the live chat's going, is doing good. Um, uh, hi, Rose. Have a great day. Uh, bacon cheeseburger slider and balance. That sounds like an epic uh, fight. Oh man, are you kidding me, dude? You guys are way too kind this morning. What is this? What is this? Five dollar super sticker from Phil, bro, bro. Hold on, let me just jump on YouTube here. I use a different program. A lot of you who stream probably know. Um, so I'm, I don't actually have YouTube open when I'm doing these. So let me quickly just jump on YouTube and see this amazing. And we have twenty people watching. Are you? What is wrong? What is wrong with you guys? Why the hell are you here hanging out with us for ACA? So like, I am blown away. Usually we get like three people watching for ACA. This is amazing. This is amazing. You guys are awesome. Um, I've never seen this super sticker before. We got the hippo, the hippo running. Honestly, let's do it. I love it. Thank you so much, guys. Seriously, Phil from Combat Sports Today. Guys, go support Phil and Combat Sports Today on Twitter. And uh, and every, every every other outlet that they post their MMA stuff. Big shout out to Matt R and GCN right off the hop. Seriously, guys, you you guys are amazing. Seventy views and eight likes so far. Let's get it at least a dozen by the third. But yes, guys, smash that like button. Let's set the like goal. I mean, I was only going to have it at like fifteen, but let's set it at twenty five likes here today. Let's try to get to twenty five likes on the channel. And again, big shout out to those who right out of the gate throwing donations our way. Yes, happy Friday. Uh, win combat. Yeah, thank you guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, Don King looks sick. 
Uh, I did post my schedule, Amber. I did post my schedule. I didn't think you're trying to get sympathy, bro. Just appreciation and thank you. Deserve some donors. Hey, real talk, my brother. Real talk. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, of course, you're streaming UFC. It's not Doug Rose. Um, I have a commitment, but I should be home for the main card. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm part of a wedding party, and there's some wedding stuff to do. But um, it's it's a uh, Friday high day. Let's go, Tony. I got 50 subscribers. I'm gonna start going live on cards as well. Nice guys, that is awesome. You can fill the void of all the. The UFC, st you can you can scream and 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 bitch at the UFC in uh and we, and we can see the anger. Um, because one was so good, so people are lit. Uh, one had too many shitters. Fans are excited that we got the old one today. ACA is clear number two or three behind UFC and PFL and Bellator. No, I I agree. I agree one hundred percent. And it, they may not be the most exciting cards at times, but I feel like when they deliver, they deliver. And as far as the talent level goes, like most of the top guys in ACA, like jump, can jump right into the UFC. I forgot to hit the like I did not. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Hey, what's up, Gansko? Hope you're feeling better, buddy. And uh, hope you hope you have a great weekend, my man. Oh, Gansky, I was telling my uh, my fellow uh, Nebraska Cornhuskers fans about you, and uh, and they were pumped. They were pumped that uh, that I know another one. Uh, okay, I'll look, I hadn't been there in a bit. No worries. I just posted the schedule this morning. I just posted the schedule this morning. Wedding party should be super lit, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, what's up, Theo? It's on the ACA website. It's on the ACA website for free. At least they have elbows and no smart cage. That is true. That is true. And none of that ass ref cam. See, my thing with that ref cam, it's like, if they're going to use a ref cam, why are they using a fucking 720 GoPro Hero 3? Like, you might as well get something in HD. If you're going to go above and beyond and be innovative and, and have a ref cam, like make sure it's not freaking wide-eyed fuck or fish eye 720 you know <laughs> hero 3 like what are, aren't we on like iphones now isn't gopro and like fucking hero 12 like at least get something in hd brother i'm using voice text right now also i didn't know there were fights on right now hey appreciate it oh my god what what is going on bro roid rage great to see you dude Thank you so much for the $5 dono as well. Bro! Dono hype today. Seriously. What the hell is going on? And, and I say, like, I, I'm, 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 like, I'm just pleasantly surprised. I did not expect this, bro. I did not expect this. Thank you so much. And uh, big shout out to Roid Rage, by the way. Long time subscriber to the channel. Uh, Roid Rage may not be in the chat, like, every week, but Roid Rage is, is always supporting us here. And, uh, Man, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Roy Rage, I hope all is well with you. Happy Easter. And thank you so much for, for being a big supporter of the channel. And for the $5 dono, man. Seriously. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We, we've seen a good knockout already. Well, I guess a submission. We've seen a good... I, I, I should have corrected myself. Submission, but it, I mean, let's be honest. It, was, it should have been a TKO. If he committed to it, he probably could have got it. So we saw some violence right off the hop and, and Buddy almost got his eyes squeezed out of his face. And and we got some donos and a bunch of people in the live chat here, the regulars. This is amazing. I really appreciate you guys. Yeah, they don't have a lot of superstars, but they have a shit ton of fighters who would compete on like the Apex prelims immediately. 100%, 100%. Go Big Red! Honestly, just best part of the Russian MMA is having five judges. That is true. That is true. Yeah, I can't be using the glasses from old Spy Kids set. <laughs> Donuts are going insane. Yeah, seriously, guys. You guys are amazing. I'm here. Is Conor McGregor fighting today? TKO into a violent sub. There we go. Exactly there we that. go. Uh, your thoughts on Wardley versus Clark on Sky Sports Boxing? I will be covering that on Sunday. I will be covering that Sunday. Jay and I did the full breakdown on our Rush City fight show in the final segment uh, on Monday. 
Respect, brother. Keep killing the fight game. Fight junkies, baby. Let's go. Let's go. That shit beautiful. Than the you, man. Got my guy Vinny doing some media work in Chicago for PFL. Dropping later. Let's go. Let's go. Like I said, guys, Combat Sports Today, they, they support us. I'm a big fan of them on Twitter as well, but they've been doing a ton of media work. So go check them out if you're active on social media and go check out their other media platforms. Um, Again, guys, wow. I'm just hyped right out of the gate. Thank you so much, GCN. Thank you so much, Matt. Phil at Combat Sports Today and Roid Rage, you guys are all amazing. And everyone else in the live chat, exclusive members and all, really appreciate you guys. I don't know about a TKO into a violent son, but I know about a KO into a James Brown. <laughs> nice soundboard. Yeah, I got I got a few good ones there. I got a few good ones. I've been so busy. I've been meaning to add some more and update a few. Um, I have notes. I have notes. I got to get the... Someone suggested the Dora Explorer backpack whenever someone gets a backpack. <laughs> Um, and then I gotta, I gotta add a few, uh, letter Kenny, uh, uh, emoji by request as well. All right. Round one, ladies and gentlemen, shoot the chat's been so buzzing. I didn't even have time to go through, uh, over these guys round one. Let me update the ticker on the bottom of the screen here. One thirty fivers and next both them on their feet right now. High kick. By Noah Novitsiki eats a left jab by Salem. Salem throws a big right and misses. Low kick. All right, looks like looks like so far it's gonna stay on the feed. Nice left and a right by Salem. Salem five and four is a pro out of Iraq against the Belarusian, and that's where this event is being held right now in Belarus. Uh, in Minsk, actually, he's ten and four as a pro, and he's four and one in his last five fights. So I, I am gonna go with this guy, even though my first pick was wrong. I, gonna, I mean, let's be honest. If you if you're an Iraqi fighter and you ain't fighting at the uh, extreme co tour, you don't got a chance, brother. You don't got a chance. Nice left and a right by both of these guys. Actually, land a uh, land a two piece knee by Novitsiki. Or Novitsky. Three minutes and 36 seconds on the clock. I guess it wouldn't be Salem. It would be Salem if he's from Iraq. Do you love one championship? Because I do. Yes, I do. I try to cover every fight night numbered card. Um, obviously, the Friday fights. I've just been so busy Friday mornings the last few weeks. Redoing uh, day job stuff. But uh, yes, I, I do love one championship. I'm critical of some things, and mostly Shotry and, and some of their business moves, but overall, it's usually by Novitsky. Three minutes on the clock. Keeping Salem outside that center line. Body kick and outside low kick by Novitsky. Nice stand up so far. Absolutely. Those leg kicks from Novitsky are solid. Hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, it's on the ACA website, ppv.aca-mma.com. It is free. Two minutes and 39 seconds on the clock. And again, my apologies from, for some of these connection issues, guys. Again, I have such a great internet provider. There's nothing I can do on my end. I've dotted all the I's, crossed all the T's. I've ran tests. I did a... I ran a test even before I started streaming. It was all good on my end. And uh, again, as soon as we start streaming, everything goes awry, but uh, we're going to power through. We're going to power through it and really appreciate your guys' support. Two minutes and 13 seconds on the clock. Hopefully it uh, it gets better as the day goes on. Inside low kick by Salem, but he eats a left shot by Novitsky. And Novitsky, man, he's throwing with some ill intent here. Again, now backing Salem up into the corner. One minute and 58 seconds on the clock. Great round by Novitsky. Novitsky just landed a switch knee. Salem ate it. It might have just grazed the chin there, but he did eat it. One minute and 45 seconds on the clock. Uh, damn, just read Igor's story about biting. If that's true, I almost feel bad for a dude. I immediately said cut him, but if indeed he was concussed by the elbow, I feel bad. Was he just in like a, a, a daze and just like knocked out, but still, I guess not knocked out, but just like completely dazed. He had no idea what was going on. I've been out of the loop the last three days on, on 
that topology story that you shared with me, sis, and everything, just because I've literally just been working on a project for for a client. So other than my editing program that's been on screen, I haven't really been even that uh, that active on Twitter. One minute on the clock. Isha, I know you got this. You were a hardcore PC nerd at one time, so I know you know what you're talking about, bro. I appreciate it. Well, I'm just letting you guys know because I know that, like the, the connection's gone in and out a little bit here. Um, so I, I just wanted to explain that. I'm blaming my provider. <laughs> it ain't my fault. Uh, it's free, Lyrics. It's free. The audio is unaffected. The video is only dropping a tad in quality. Nothing stream breaking on mine. Okay, well, that's great to hear. That's great to hear. I mean, it's not great to hear, but it's better to hear. <laughs> 23 seconds on the clock. Nice left and a right by Salam. Hey, I'll give credit where credit is due for the Iraqi fighter here. Un, uh, you know, He's actually holding his own. He survived the early onslaught, survived some big knees. I mean, those leg kicks are going to continue to slow him down. But he's not out of it just yet. He's not out of it just yet, and he's not resorting to wrestling. All right, end of the first round, end of the first round. I don't think he'll survive too much longer as you did see him slow down there at the end of the round, but he is still throwing. He is landing some combos. He doesn't look completely gassed as we see him on those big shots, man, by Vladislav. Man, he's throwing with some ill intent. Damn, this is fucking amazing. Let's go, let's go. 10 9 Novitsky Salem low key taunting the guy while getting his butt whooped. Uh, he said he was on autopilot after the elbow. He apologized. He said there was no excuse, but now his mother's been getting death threats and he doesn't have a career anymore. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Yeah, he 100% bit him even with a mouth guard. How did he do that? Was his mouth guard in? I thought I thought his mouth guard like fell out. That's crazy. It was a bit right through his mouth guard. It's not bad, just occasionally lag while you speak. Like, I see why a troll or a new person would comment it, but it's not on Isha's side. It's not really bad, like a two out of 10. Uh, Jersey realized he wasn't getting his win bonus and went for a bite of a bite of a Brazilian steak dinner. <laughs> that shit beautiful than the mother. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, oh, what's up, Hank? He bit through the, the, the kite guard or the mouth guard. He channels his inner Mike Tyson. <laughs> That's crazy. Just bit right through the mouth guard. All right, look at the takedown there was a Salem. And Novitsky says, no, no, we're fighting right here, buddy. We're fighting right here. Great stuffing of the takedown by Novitsky. Novitsky with the outside low kick again. Man, the power behind Novitsky's shots. Oh, big left hand by Novitsky. And Salem just ate that. Salem with a swing and a miss. Oh, I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> Nasty stuff. For an Apex prelim, it provided more content than anything this year. I'm doing fun. Do you have summer school coming up? Because I know your semester... Uh... Your semester was just wrapping up. Three minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. I mean, he definitely bit the holy fuck out of him, but if he was knocked out on his feet, then I can't really put the blame on him. I mean, I I, I don't think, obviously, his family is deserving of death threats or, or anything like that. And, I mean, yeah, he was knocked out, but it it the action still happened, and there has to be consequences for that, Um, you know, especially from the UFC's point of view. I do think he will get another job in mixed martial arts. Like, I mean, Scott Coker's uh, Bellator would have been calling. Let's just say that. Or uh, he, he'll probably get another job somewhere else in, in, in Russia. Maybe even ACA. They get they bring a lot of Brazilians um, into their promotion once the dust settles a little bit. Uh, yes, I do, Sean. Yes, I do. Mostly active on Twitter, though. Or X. Uh, right hand by Novitsky. Two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Mike sells THC ears. Now you can buy his gummies. That's amazing. That is amazing. I have had um, 
his products before. He has a farm in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, actually just outside the city. And I believe it's in Abbotsford, to be honest. And I've tried some of his products. Really good. Really good. Very expensive in Canada, even though they're locally grown in Canada. But they delivered. I actually remember Kyle and I filmed a video. We, we never released it, but we filmed a video of us smoking. And then we dubbed our words after smoking. As, as, as the skit was, if you get high off, off Mike Tyson's stash, you, you start talking like Mike, Ty, Mike Tyson. So then we like um dubbed in like his infamous and famous sayings and we were like you know pretending like we didn't know what was going on maybe, maybe I'll, I'll i'll try to dig into my hard drive archives and find that one of these days still on the feet by the way and it's mostly just nuvetsky countering and piecing up salem here but salem will not go down one minute and 36 seconds on the clock nuvetsky pressuring salem constantly outside that center line taking away space oh salem's Lead left leg is destroyed, man. His lead left leg is destroyed. He's tough as nails and can take a punch because these big shots by Novisky would have knocked out anybody else, it seems. But Salem here. Yeah, that lead left leg is destroyed. Every time Novitsky lands, you can see him like wince. You can see him pull it back. And Novitsky, I mean, seemingly only needs a couple of big shots. Yeah, taking away the movement by Salem too. He's where he was able to go side to side. He's just being very stationary right now. 55 seconds on the clock. Uh, spring quarter, quarter system in the U.S. Oh, okay, got you. There's only three semesters in, uh, in, in Canada. Well, and you only have to take two. You, your, your summer is an option. At least the UC system got you. Speaking of X, thank God, Easter got his account back. That was almost like, yeah, I lost my account for like just over 24 hours. But uh, we're back, we're back. I lost my my other my soda pod Twitter account and the hackers still have it. They're selling uh they're selling t-shirts. Looking for the single leg, the right single leg takedown of Novitsky by Salem here in the final seconds of this second round. Even if he gets this, it's not gonna do anything. I'm gonna follow up on Twitter Isha in just a second. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um didn't get the takedown. High kick attempt by Salem. I mean, Salem's still standing, so I'll give him props for that. And hey, they touch gloves. Good, good display of respect. And that is the end of the second round. Hey, we might not see a knockout in this one just because this Iraqi fighter actually has like a freaking chin. But uh, so far, violence. So far, violence. So cannot complain. Cannot complain. Uh, you can buy his gummies off Google. They're somehow legal to ship through the mail and shit. Same with Ty. Yeah, I saw. I, I got to get my hands on some of uh, Bam Bam's uh, new product there. Imagine when Mike Tyson versus Evander Holyfield three fight. Tyson makes bank of his weed products. I'm smoking GMO slash jet fuel at 36%. Nice, nice. Yeah, I've, I've been off the, the cannabis products for a few weeks now. Um, both because I can't afford any. And, you know, I, I like taking breaks between... Uh, between my consumption, the older the older I get. Um, and also, it's not readily available where I'm at. So in, in Canada, it was a, it's, a, it's almost like a problem it, it being readily available, like in some legal states. Um, and it will be eventually in Minnesota, and maybe I'll start becoming a regular user again. But uh, no, it's been good. It's been good for clarity and uh, cardio purposes. Uh, the Macklemore bobblehead is sick. I mean, it is based... I'm, I'm not a baseball fan at all. Um, but my, my grandfather who passed away, rest in peace, grandpa, he was, you know, I was very, very, very close with him. Uh, he was a big Mariners guy. So, I mean, I saw this on marketplace. It was like five bucks. I was like, you know what? Grandpa doesn't know who the fuck Macklemore was or is or whatever, but, uh, but he was a big Mariners fans and I couldn't find an Ishiro Suzuki bobblehead. So I figured Macklemore would do. All right. Third round, ladies and gentlemen. And, and by the way, big shout out to Florence to freedom guys. My buddy, Zach. Great guy, does amazing content. One of the fastest growing uh, subscribers. So big. Bro, I'm literally going to smash something. Sorry again about these connection issues, guys. There's nothing I can do on my end. It's my provider. Uh, three minutes and 40 seconds on the clock here. And I don't know if you guys even heard anything of what I said, but uh, 
what I was uh, saying was big shout out to Zach, one of the fastest growing MMA YouTube channels out there. He interviewed our boy Guzzi Hines this week as well. So big shout to Zach. If you like fighter interviews, if you like the regional scene, go check him out. Uh, left and right by Salem. No, I'm, trust me, Denial. I know. I've been talking about it all stream, buddy. I've been talking about it all stream. Three minutes and 22 seconds on the clock. Uh, where am I with comments here? All right. I'll get back to the comments as soon as I can, guys. I'm just keeping my eye here on the fight. Bro, Liam Harrison just randomly started following you, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, he's he's awesome um, with interacting with fans on social media. Uh, Instagram and Twitter. 54 seconds. And again, I, I think Novitsky is actually getting annoyed here. He can't put Salam away. And, and he is beating him. All three rounds, it's been all Novitsky. No, it's all good, Amberly. Like I, I, I love when I can't keep up with the chat. That just means we have a great crowd here, and you guys are buzzing. It's just, it's just quite literally, I can't keep up sometimes. I'm, I am only one man. Mouthguard gets a knocked out by Novitsky. Salem puts it back in here. Two minutes and twenty-two seconds on the clock. And again, I give credit where credit is due to Salem for not just, not just resorting to trying to take this to the ground because he's he's dead tired. I mean, he has tried a couple times, but quite literally a couple times. He's still on his feet here. He's still trying to land that left counter, but pretty much this whole fight has been Novitsky walking him down, pressuring him outside that center line, and throwing some big shots like that right hand and those leg kicks. There's the counter left hook lands by Salem, but I think he's just too tired now to have real big power on it. But just when I say that, he lands a nice one and seemingly, you know, hurt Novitsky a little bit. Novitsky still... He's not dazed. He's not rocked. One minute, 44 seconds on the clock. Left, right, and an outside low kick. Beautiful combo there by Novitsky. One minute, 37 seconds on the clock. Nice shot to the body by Novitsky. One minute, 33 seconds left. Double left jab by Salem. Swing and a miss. Again, I'm, I always give props to a fighter who doesn't just resort to clinching when they're tired or going for a takedown. He's still here to fight, even though he knows he knows he's been beaten up for, for seemingly three full rounds and he's still swinging, looking for that last big shot. I mean, you can even see on Celeste's tries to throw another one, continuing to walk forward, eats a right jab by Novitsky. One minute on the clock. Ichiro's a legend. Dude, I actually... Stumbled into his backyard by Bro, I'm literally going to smash something. Again, I'm so sorry, guys. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. Um, I don't even know if you guys heard the what, what I said there last, but I have a funny story about Ishiro Suzuki. I, May or may not have stumbled into his backyard by accident, uh, <laughs> hanging out in Seattle at one point. Um, or just outside of Seattle, I should say. 15 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Salem. Last 10 seconds. And again, I I'm, I'm surprised that Salem has not been put out, but the guy's got a hell of a chin <laughs> and can eat body shots. My goodness. Well, it's just like, I know it's bad, man. Like, I know it's bad. There's nothing I can do about it. Like, I've, I've ran checks. I've dotted all the I's. I've crossed all the T's. Like, there's nothing I can do on my end. I, if it's bad, I'll end the stream. Like, if it's, if it's that annoying, I'll end the stream. I, I don't mind doing that because I'd rather not put out a product than, than put out a shitty product. So, if, it, if it's really bad on your guys' end, just let me know and we'll, uh, unfortunately, we'll, we'll wrap this one up. All right. Where are we at with the comments? Where are we at with the comments? Again, end of the fight here. I mean, 10-9 every single round by Novitsky. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I had summer school every year in college except this one. And like, oh, I appreciate you listening while you get ready. I'm every day because it just makes me feel, me not feel all stuck in my room and walk. Nice, nice. I, I, was, I was pretty regularly when I lived in Canada as well. Yeah, Ichiro Suzuki, legend. I couldn't smoke for 24 hours due to my surgery. I know how Nick Diaz struggles to go sober for a day. Uh, ho hope your recovery is going well. I heard in the Discord you're everything's good. You're just a little sore. But yeah, Ishiro was like I'm not even a baseball guy, and I still like was pumped watching uh, watching Ishiro chase you know chase like home run records. 
I'm telling your uh, your grandpa that dude's a rapper. No, I know, I know, I know. And honestly, um, Macklemore's first ever album, Language of My World, was unbelievable. Everything after that was like, eh. but I only think you could you could you weren't able to ever buy Language of My World. I think limited albums came out. You you only could download it. I think it came out in like 2008. I want to do a quick reset. Look at my bad morning. Following you on Twitter. Goozy. Let's go. Let's go. Um, Say nothing interesting. No, it's all good. Like I said, uh, I appreciate it. Yeah. Unanimous decision. I mean, we all... <laughs> No, and I'm not mad at you. I'm just frustrated at, you know, I'm frustrated at the fact that there is no rhyme or reason for this to be happening when everything checks out on my end. There's nothing I can do. And we've been having a good run these last few weeks. So it's, uh, yeah, it's just frustrating. Uh, have you seen Husband Shemaya versus Robert Whitaker fight is official? They'll find Saudi Arabia. Yes, I saw that. What are your guys' thoughts on that one? What are your guys' thoughts on that one? How do you think uh, Rob Whitaker fares against uh the grappling heavy game of Chimaev. Do we think it's going to be kind of like the Gilbert Burns fight with him? I'm leaning towards, you know, Rob being able to at least, at least weather the early onslaught of grappling and force this fight onto the feet at least, you know, second round, third round onward. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just being bullshit. If you want him to read something, just though it's important to re uh, to resend it. He's gonna see it. We're trying to talk to 20 people and not miss the action. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm always gonna catch up. I'm always gonna uh, catch up. Uh, James Lynch, the comment section. Go. He will read some shit and go meh and move on. He kills me. Yeah, dude. James Lynch is awesome, man. James Lynch is is one of my favorite uh, MMA YouTubers. I will watch you in as many or as many or as little pixels available. I appreciate that. And big shout out to Kick Ass, Kick -Ass McGrath for renewing your membership as well, dude. You know who unfollowed me? You on Twitter, bro. Just needs to grow up a little, and he could be cool. Wait, you know who unfollowed me? And you on Twitter? Uh, I. I have my assumptions. Yeah, and again, sorry. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to to come across as a dick. I'm just. I'm just frustrated, man. I'm just frustrated when there's no rhyme or reason. Okay, don't end the stream. Four ounce. I was advised not to tell the world what my provider is because it's a it's a way it's a way for hackers to find uh, to find your to find you. Um, you, okay, everyone's saying it's not that bad. It, it's on my end. It's really bad. Like my program is like red flags. Fucking alert! Alert! So. If if it's if it's not as bad as as I think it is, then we'll continue to just power through it. Um, I, I'll tell you guys in Discord, but I'm I was I was strongly advised not to share it anymore on stream because uh, I've had I've had some accounts hacked and things like that, and I guess one of the ways now is if they know what provider you have, it's easier to uh, it's easier to get to you. Uh, da, da, da. What else we got? What else do we got? Saudi pulled Dana's arm and said, Uncle! <laughs> we need better fights. Speaking of good fights, we've had two good fights. A quick finish here in the first one, and you know, a solid stand-up back and forth. Um, where Novitsky got the better of Salam there in the second. Um, moving on to the third fight here. We'll highlight the fighters in a moment as uh, we got some Bellator pacing up in this month, which is what I love about ACA as well. I'm just used to like the 18 fight cards for ACA. I'm not used to uh, only 11. Credit to Hamza taking the challenge with Bobby Knuckles should be a banger. Yeah, again, like I'm predicting it looking more like the Gilbert Burns fight than the Usman fight. People still call you sis when it's fives. <laughs> It's time for the best fraud check in a long time. Let's fucking go, Bobby fucking Knuckles. Well, I think Rob wins. Hamza could grapple fuck him, though. Yeah. That's just the thing. Rob hasn't gone up against a grappling heavy guy in a while. 
Right by the stuff, some of his takedowns or survives his grappling and puts him out round four. That's another thing. Five rounds. Five rounds. We saw how Hamzat gasses seemingly after two. So we're going to professional ducker. Yes, indeed, he is. I cannot believe, man. I cannot. I don't understand what him and his management team are, are thinking. I really don't. Yeah, Hamza has seven minutes to finish Rob, and then it's Rob's fight. I mean, last time in resident, like I said, I'll, I'll tell you in Discord. I'll tell you in Discord. But like I said, I've been strongly advised by even my provider. Yeah, strongly advised not to uh, talk about it on stream. So, given that my Twitter was just recently hacked, and uh, and yeah, and people get really angry on MMA Twitter. Um, and on MMA YouTube, and I've had to block some people recently. Um, I just oh, and, and you know, friggin' half of Afghanistan was was angry with me last weekend that I didn't show uh didn't show their boy fight live. I'm going to try to remain as safe as possible. Uh, but I'm excited for Sergey versus Volkov. Yeah, yeah, like that. That's gonna be a good fight. I mean, Sergey's probably gonna beat him. Let's be perfectly honest. But uh, it is. I just don't understand what Cyril Gon's management is 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 doing. I I really don't. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, sis. It's only been like twice where it got choppy, but yeah, it's really not that bad on my end, bro, for real. Okay, okay. I'm just, I guess I'm just too self-conscious about it. I hate autocorrect so much. Yeah, I only ask because if it's one of the ones I mentioned, I have the CEO's email address and get shit done right away. You have the CEO's email address. Damn, look at you with the hookups. So glad they didn't do Almeida versus Volkov. Oh, yeah. I just, I just hope they cut Almeida. Like, just cut the man. No one wants to see that man fight in the UFC. ACA would love him. Send him to ACA, bro. Nobody wants Almeida in the UFC. I think uh, Sergey eventually finds Volkov's chin. Yeah, I, I think so too. I love Volkov. Don't get me wrong. Um, but Sergey's just—he's an absolute sh shit brick house. Over the last two days, I heard three different fights Volkov had set up. Right. All they got to do is call your ISP and pretend to be you. If they get a basic level one associate, chances one out of 20, they'll mess up and let them in. Gone's probably booked around July. So a lot of hacks happen. Volkov's defense will be exploded. Volkov defense will get exploited as most good strikers tend to do. Uh, he ducks everybody, puts out a can and thinks he's number one contender. Thumbs up, finish round one or two, or Whitaker finish three, four, or five. What's up, West Coast? Yeah, that, that's kind of what the chat's uh it's kind of what the chat's been saying as well. Gone dicked around Tommy, and now what's the fight? And now wants to fight with a clown, typical Frenchie. Is Hazmat the scariest round one fighter in the in UFC history? No, that's Shane Carwin, dude. Uh Shane Carwin is the scariest round one fighter in UFC history, in my opinion. I can see D Rob upsetting Kelvin. Yeah, Kelvin has just been so hit and miss uh, lately. You got D-Rod over Kelvin, honestly. He won't, though. Tanny's stupid. Uh, Kelvin hadn't looked the smartest recently himself. We're going to see something unprecedented. A Whitaker finish! I'm starting to think Gone might just be a fraud. I mean, his striking is, is, is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, I, I, don't, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Uh, I never have... To block anyone in YouTube and even playing 2K, I've noticed some people are just getting more and more toxic. I'm hitting the block more than ever. Sergey and Tom are my top two heavyweights. I think they could go back and forth. I think if they fight four more times, they could each win two times each. Yeah. I mean, Tom, he, he ate one by, uh, from Sergey. And Sergey, if, if Sergey landed another, who's to say, you know, that one wouldn't have put Tom out? I mean, he hits like crazy. Again, big shout to the live chat here. It's absolutely buzzing. Appreciate you guys. But I also see Walker KOing Vulcan. Dude, yeah, what a great chat here. And again, my, my apologies for being a little bit frustrated about our connection issues. I mean, like I said, I hold my product to a high standard as well, and it's fucking annoying when the when the shit uh, starts bugging out. Yo, what's up, Rigo? And Rigo also a membership or a member as well. Because <laughs> he keeps sexually harassing. What's up, Rigo? Good to see you this morning, buddy. Did you catch any of the Friday fights? All right, uh, let's quickly hide these two guys as they're being announced in the center of the cage. 
Uh, welterweights here up next, ladies and gentlemen. We have Victor Azatian, who's 12 and 4 out of Armenia, but is fighting out of Belarus, where this event is taking place. He is 3 and 2 in his last five fights. He did win his last one. Let's get it Fight all. just started right now, but let me quickly just run through this breakdown. So I want to make a quick pick. I'm one for one, just picks off the cuff. Uh, five KO, two KOs, five submissions, two decisions. That's what I like to see. Fought in ACA and ACB. Beat a nine and three guy in his last fight. Lost to seven and one. Honestly, his record isn't that bad. Six and six, 11 and six, six and one. I'll take it. I'll take it. A few cans mixed in there. Lost to some decent guys, but overall. Oh, and a nice left hook by. Oh my God. Right away, guys. Right away, we have some action here. Zatan, Zatian, big, big right hook forcing. Uh, Rajnok to clinch out of the Czech Republic is Rajnok, who was just taken to the ground here. Azatian. Big takedown. Slam by Azatian as Rajnok is holding on to him with that full guard. He's 29 years of age, 10 and 6 as a pro, 2 and 3 in his last five. He's getting absolutely worked here in the clinch. Big elbows from the top position by Azatian. And Azatian, big hammer fist as well. I mean, Azatian back up to his feet. Is he going to invite Radnock back to his feet as well? A couple of kicks to the leg there. Radnock, four KO TKOs, but he's been knocked out four times. He's never been submitted. He has four submissions to his game, so that's why I think he's trying to invite Azatian back into his guard. Two decisions. Uh, two and three in ACA on a, th a two-fight losing streak in MMA. Fought uh, Muay Thai in RFA, but was knocked out in the first round. His last win in ACA was a beautiful knee knockout, and he beat a seven and two guy. Back up to his feet is Rajnok Azatian, man. Crazy pace to start this one. And Azatian might have been clipped there with an elbow or something from the bottom as he's bleeding. I don't know if it's on his left eyebrow or in his cheek. But regardless, he's got a little welt there and he's starting to leak. Overall, his, uh, re his resume, though, whenever he took a step up in competition, most of the time he lost. He has some good wins against a 17-6 and six guy. Uh, seven and two, but for the most part, he has crushed cans. So, going with Victor Azatian. Um, and uh, yeah, so far he's getting the better of Rajnok, but two minutes and 35 seconds on the clock here. And Rajnok falls to the ground, just gives up the dominant position here, trying to scramble, trying to scramble. But Azatian in the, his full guard, tight guard by Rajnok. Hey, I mean, it's it's busy. All morning has been a work day. Trying to sneak in a couple streams here. Oh, big shots from the top position. Azatian on his feet, landing big shots, holding the ankles of Rajnok and then splitting his guard. Big elbow. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. He literally just body slammed with the elbow on his face. That was a crazy entry into the guard there by Azatian. Azatian going full like old school Tito Ortiz in the guard of Rajnok here. This is the ground and pound that we want to see in the UFC, ladies and gentlemen. Wiping the blood from his face then on his shorts. Looking for his entry here as Azatian is on his feet. Man, these fights have been way too action-packed to catch up with the live chat. So my apologies, guys. Keep the comments coming. I'll do my best to catch up with them. But wow. But yeah, Rigo, just... It's been a busy week of work, man. You know, got to pay the rent. Got to pay rent somehow, right? So it's been a busy week. Pretty much just glued to my editing programs and doing some jobs for some clients. I got one more to finish here today. I got about probably two hours more of editing before I uh, do my UFC predictions and try to line up some more streams here today. But uh, as always, man, keep up the good work on your channel, everybody. If you want to find some of the funniest content on MMA YouTube, and I say that in an, in an endearing way, uh, go check out Rigo. He also does regular streams as well. 45 seconds on the clock and a good entry by Azatian as he got into full mount and now into modified half guard side control, but it doesn't matter. He's postured up just landing. Big, big hammer fist. Shots to the body. Oh my God. This has just been one way traffic, ladies and gentlemen. Rajnok is tough, but that is about it. That is about it because Azatian, like I'm convinced now he got cut from like a clash of heads because I, I never saw an elbow coming from the bottom. I never saw an elbow coming from the bottom. Bro, big, big shots from 
Azatian in the top position. 10 seconds left on the clock. A late scramble. Back up to his feet is Rajnok in a nice right elbow in the clinch, and that is it for the first round. I mean, good touch of gloves. I mean, it's it's crazy to me seeing like how much these guys like respect each other after a first round like that, right? Insane. But that's that's what's so beautiful about this sport. All right. Round two coming up here. Let's see if I can catch up on some of these comments. Happy good Friday, Rigo. Uh, Volkan of recent hasn't looked better out of the two, honestly. Let's not forget Volkan, Meteoric Rise. He was wrecking people and Johnny's chin. The Walker shenanigans. Rigo, the one-man band of Dylan, Dylan's lives. Uh, Dylan has been grinding the streams lately. He's a funny guy. Yeah, dude, Dylan's awesome. I love being in Dylan's live saying nothing while he just repeats saying who is here. <laughs> I tried to watch all that ad, but they gave me a 30 minute ad. There was just no way I got like a minute there and was considering taking the easy way out. <laughs> Dylan's grown on me. It's true. Dylan beat Lost Soul MMA in and I quit the match. Dude, Lost Soul is fucking dead to me. Lost Soul tried to go after Andrew B. Fuck that, dude. Fuck that. Um, did you guys' ACA stream just just go? Mine just uh mine just went. It, it's gone. It's gone. Sometimes their broadcast is a little uh is a little sketchy. Okay, it's back, it's back. Just refresh it here. Round two, ladies and gentlemen. Four minutes and thirteen seconds on the clock. Dylan the Ranger uh Chaken. Dylan is my financial advisor. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. What's up, Craig? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, there's a man who did the splits after eating the elbow. My day is made no matter what. Dude, what what a group we have in the live chat here. You guys are amazing. Uh, the corn the corner behind 7-Eleven is how I pay my rent. You could try that. That's not the best work, but it's honest work. Yeah. A little, little crack dealing. A little crack dealing, you know. Three minutes and 43 seconds on the clock. Oh, you were talking about uh, like Randy from Trailer Park Boys selling himself for cheeseburgers. I mean, it depends what type of cheeseburger. <laughs> Man's got to eat, Mr. Leahy. Three minutes and 26 seconds on the clock and starting to gas a little bit is Azatian. And I don't blame him, man. He was all gas, no breaks in that first round. The fact that Rajnok survived is huge. Dylan, when Tom Cruise turns on the water and the bathtub. <laughs> AC forgot to pay the bills. My ACA never had sound. Oh, mine has sound again. Who do you hate more, Sean O'Malley or Patty the Batty? Question for Isha in the chat. Uh, oh, uh, I mean, I don't hate either, but who's more annoying? Probably Patty. Now, if Patty starts beating the, the elite fighters of his division, then it's like, okay, then, then, you know, be confident, be, be a little arrogant, but like the amount that he, like he, he talks and, you know, I'm all about a fighter having confidence because you have to in this sport. O'Malley's back, O'Malley's backed it up. Like O'Malley put a lot of weird shit out there and is a little weird and he's not everyone's cup of tea outside the cage. I get it, but he he's backed it up in the cage where it's like, okay, you're a weirdo, but at, at least, you know, you, you've put on these performances. At least you've put your money where your mouth is, right? Whereas Patty, just not there yet, right? Not there yet. When you get gifted a decision against uh, Jared Gordon, when you beat old Tony Ferguson, like, like what, what have you really done to back it up yet, right? Still on the feet here. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock. And guys, if you're getting annoyed of, uh, of me chatting and during the fights and not talking about the fights, just let me know and I will give you guys focus play-by-play. But uh, if, if you like just the hybrid of both, we'll continue to do that as well. One minute and 40 seconds on the clock. And this has not gone to the ground. This has stayed on the feet. And double left jab by Rajnok. But yeah, so I'd say Patty. I don't hate either, though, uh, me personally. I don't really hate many fighters. There's a small handful. Nice straight right jab by Zatian. And most of the time, it's just like, well, honestly, it, it's nothing about them personally. Usually, it's it's mostly just Rosenami Yunus, and uh, and now freaking 
that wannabe heavyweight Brazilian who is, I'm so fucking, I don't even want to say his name anymore. Almeida. There, I said it. So happy Curtis Blades beat him, man. What a disgrace to the UFC that guy is. Left and a right by Zatian. Like, if I don't see, if I don't see him in, in ACA and continue to stay in the UFC, then, you know, the UFC is an absolute joke. Let's, let's be perfectly honest, folks. The fact that Almeida is still in the UFC shows that the UFC is, is a clown show. More of a clown show because they have Almeida than, than literally the clown hair of O'Malley. 25 seconds on the clock. Send Almeida to ACA where he belongs. 22 seconds on the clock. And still, this entire round has stayed on the feet. And there is an argument to be made for Radznok here, ladies and gentlemen. What a comeback it would be because he was... Like, there's an argument that he lost via 10... Oh! Never mind! Never mind! Azatian just knocked him down! Azatian just knocked him down! Saved by the bell! Is this going to be saved by the bell? It is all over! It is all over! Oh my fuck, ladies and gentlemen! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Literally, final seconds! Final seconds! Like three seconds left on the clock! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, counter right, counter right, knocks him to the ground. He follows through and just beats the piss out of him on the ground. There was literally three seconds. There was literally three seconds. Holy shit, it's all over. Oh, no, no, this promotion. Oh, no, wait. No, is it? Is it going to the third round? The ref went like this. The ref went like this. He waved it off. Oh my god, they're going to a third round. Never mind. Holy fuck. Dude, the ref fucked with me there. The ref was waving it off. The ref was waving it off, but no, it looks like he was saved by the bell. It looks like he was saved by the bell. Hold on. Let, let's see if his corner throws in the towel here, because he's still rocked, man. Bro, he was saved by the bell. The ref waved it off, though. You guys saw that, right? The, the ref waved it off. That is crazy, man. Holy fuck, we're going to a third round. Oh my god, man. I don't even think it was fuckery, man, because uh, like they saved the Czech guy. Not not the dude fighting out of Belarus. All right, left hand by Rajog. My god, he is so lucky. I mean, it was close, right? It was close. But he's still rocked here, man. I don't know. If you're Rajnok's corner, man, you throw in the towel. He can he can barely stand right now. Walking on stick legs. Yeah, dude, he's he's still wobbled. Walking in with the left elbow. Oh, he ate another left. Oh, and they got he gets knocked down again by Azatian. It's gonna be over now. It's gonna be over now. Ref. Okay, the towel has been thrown in. It is all over. Why did they even allow him to come out? Why did they even allow him to come out to the third round? That is bullshit on his team. That is bull. Like his team should not have allowed him to come out for that third round because that was exactly what was going to happen. He just like literally took more, like way more damage than he ever needed to after that. My God. Regardless, love the violence. Let's fucking go. Okay, I am so behind on you guys' comments, so let's catch up here. Uh. I don't know why, but hearing you say a little crack dealing is a line I never thought I'd hear on here. <laughs> Patty, for sure. Yes, rest in peace, Jim Leahy. Absolute legend. Uh, Patty, easily, because at least Sean has some skills to back it up. Yeah, that's kind of where I stand. Patty, 100%. Big shout to Craig, by the way. It's it's always great to see you, man. Craig, a longtime supporter, longtime subscriber of the channel as well. Patty actually faces a good fighter. I'll give him props. Yep. Uh, Tim Wells brother or bothers me or Tim Welsh bothers me more than Sean honestly um talking to fighters during the fight is so cringe uh do you guys remember him on that like Bellator's version of the ultimate fighter and he also Tim Welsh lost uh he was on I forget what season he was he uh was on uh, the ultimate fighter as well but he lost his fight in, to get into the house I think there's two I dislike the most Oh, I think they're the two I dislike the most. Uh, the only UFC fighter I really dislike is Dom Cruz. Salty little bro, he is. I feel like O'Malley has finally backed it up uh, in the last fight. Only hate cage grab. Yeah, if you grab the cage, you're dead to me. Um, Rose Namunis, I will never forgive her for the performance she put on with Carlos Esparza. And Almeida, Almeida, send him to ACA where he belongs. 
Um, O'Malley last fight was his best fight, and he beat someone Corey 50 45. So I mean, but yeah, I don't think Sean. I don't, but I don't like Sean, so not the best to defend him. I thought the Piotr Jan fights what sold me on win or lose that fight. Like whether you think he won, whether you think he lost, like he went three rounds of Piotr Jan, man. Same as you like most fighters. The human Ambien. How <laughs> mad. Dude, honestly, he puts me to sleep more than Ambien. ADCC. Yeah, Sando made it back to ADCC. Yes, even more accurate. Exactly that. Oh, my fuck, ladies and gentlemen. Clutch, fuckery, crap, they're on the towel, you cowards. Yeah, well, I'm glad they actually, they eventually did, but too little too late. If the ref waved it off and the clock was at zero, the fight still should be over. They can call it in between rounds. It counts as the previous round. Yes. Morons, more brain damage for Rajnok. Oh, Amberly. So it's, uh, P here, I'll type it in the live chat for you. P it's PP. And, and this ACA is always free, guys. ACA is always free for us in North America. Uh, so it should be there. It should be there. Uh, Rajnok's coach. You're doing great. They'll give uh, the round to Zatian anyways. Had to get a little extra CTE. I'm with what Cheeto said after uh, your failed fighter. Just be a coach and be cool. You seem like you're good at it. Yeah, his, his, his like chirping and stuff to the fighters and their coaches min, mid fights and, and before fights is, is a little cringy. I think, and, and this is just devil's advocate just for the sake of conversation. I think it's just because he still has that fighter mentality. Cause like he did, like what he has like 18 or 19 pro fights, does he not? Um, so he probably just like, he is a good coach, but I still think there's like a little bit of that like fighter fire in him. Um, and that's not to defend him because you're totally right. I think that's a little cringe too. Let let the fighters talk. You're not there to sell the fight. You're there to coach. Well, it shouldn't be addressing other fighters and talking shit. No one else does that besides Captain America, and he's the cringe coach god. Tim's smarter than O'Malley, that's for sure. Thought well, uh, Sean wouldn't be a world champion. That is sure. That is that is true. Tizamisha, <laughs> thank you, Isha. I'm guess I'm guessing if Mateo was here, he'd have a good laugh. Mateo, if you're here. He's laughing. Oh, man. Dude, this is, again, thank you guys so much for, for hanging out here today. I know uh, I know our connection issues haven't been the, or I know the connection hasn't been the greatest, so quality of this stream hasn't been um, up to par of what our channel usually provides, but uh, it seems like things are getting a little bit better now. Um, we're going to continue to ride. Ride or die, ladies and gentlemen. You haven't seen hockey? Dude, hockey was here early. Hockey was here early. Uh, she did message me and say that she has an exam tonight, so she will not be hanging out with us tonight, but she did drop a couple messages from all of her accounts. Um, and there you go. Yeah, telling the whole chat to you uh, earlier today. All right, next fighters, ladies and gentlemen, coming out now. Man, great start to this card. And you know what? Hmm, weird. When ACA doesn't oversaturate a card with 18 freaking fights and like 14 or 11 to 14 prelims, looks like we actually have some good matchups here. We actually have some good matchups. And maybe I spoke too soon because two guys on a three-fight losing streak. However, both of them will probably be pretty motivated to get back into the win column, so we might see some fireworks on this next one. Sean let other men sleep with his girl for that. He will forever be a cuck and I will never support a cuck. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Hoggy's planning something big. I'm going to constantly look over my shoulder. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Captain Eric. Captain Eric. Captain Eric Albarasian Paolo and Pimple's coach is who I'm referring to, by the way. Yes, Mr. Crazy Ass Glasses and and wild uh wild fashion sense we'll say uh yes very cringe coach as well but a seemingly a good coach i don't think he's paulo's costas coach anymore didn't didn't uh, they part ways or was it him and Sahudo that parted ways hockey isn't around in the sleep in the stream glitches yeah dude that's true that's true no she is she's told she's she is, despite her uh, not donating, which that's not how I'm going to judge, you know, people being big supporters. That's just something I tease her about. Because um, she's like, oh, yeah, Isha, I'm going to donate all this, all this. And then I'm like, 
But anyway, that's just you know, that's just me teasing, guys. That's not be, me being a dick. Um, but yeah, she she goes above and beyond to support this channel. Coincidence? I think not. Patty deserves more respect. It, look, I think your respect is earned in this sport. You got it. He has to start putting his uh putting his performance where where his uh where his words are. And, and it's not to say that like. He he's only going to be able to to show us that with the fights that he gets. It's just like we need to see him take a step up in competition. We we have to, and and that's what's going to sell me on. Okay, this guy's actually legit. Now, double champion in Cage Warriors. He faced some decent guys in Cage Wars. He's also faced some cans in Cage Warriors. Like he's clearly more than just a a marketing darling for the UFC. But I want to see if he can take that next step into actually fighting some ranked guys. Uh, did you hear the woman who thought she was Eddie Alvarez's wife today at one? She was so loud. I didn't, but uh, that's hilarious. Shout out to Eddie Alvarez's wife. Ty, Miss Alvarez was definitely present. Yo, what's up, Shane? Yo, I'm listening while I brush my teeth. I'm taking a shower. Then I'll tune in. Sounds good, buddy. Yeah, Shane, this is for free um, on uh, ppv.aca-mma.com. You should be fighting the easiest opponents for the most amount of money. And again, like, I'm not going uh, to... That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't hate Patty, Patty. I just... I want to see him fight better competition if he's going to continue to talk a, a big game. Because, you know, that was the, kind of the same thing with Sean O'Malley. He never really fought that many good opponents until he did. Then it was like, okay, this guy's for real. So that's why, again, back to the conversation from my point of view. And I know, like, the chat here, we're all having that conversation as well. And I love your guys' uh, opinions. I love your guys' comments. So keep them coming. As you can see, I catch up with every single one, boys. I catch up, and girls. I catch up with every single one. Um, it's just like, okay, we've we've seen him struggle against lesser opponents. Like, Jared Gordon won that fight. And I ain't a Jared Gordon fan. Q, uh, JL, jumping in the chat here, defending him. I ain't, like, I, I as a person in his story, I respect. But, like, overall, mm, he's fine. He, he won that fight. He won that fight. So it's like, okay, if Patty can't beat Jared Gordon, like really beat Jared Gordon, wh where, where is his ceiling? I, I, I want a taste of his ceiling. I, I want to see him in like a fight kind of like O'Malley was against Piotr Jan, win or lose. I, I want to walk out of being like, okay, this guy has, has it. And I, I just don't know yet. I just don't know yet. Uh, how dare you criticize Uncle Chael? <laughs> Chill can have that mentality, but he fought Anderson Silva twice. Patty would never chill, body Patty. If you Google it, Eddie Alvarez's wife, first two things come up to follow are screaming and is annoying. Hey, I respect it. Hey, if I ever like, I, I hope. I mean, I, I'm probably gonna remain single the rest of my life moving forward now because I'm that obsessed with fights, and there's no way that a woman in my life would have the patience and understanding that I have to be like step aside. I'm watching fights. Um, so just that aside, if I ever did, if I ever find a better half, um, I, I I hope when I'm streaming, she you guys even just hear it in the background, Isha, let's go. I hope I have support uh that that translates into the internet sphere of annoying. And if I was a fighter, man, I would I would I would want nothing less. And I love how Eddie Alvarez describes it. I think was it Ariel who talked who like who asked him about that? He's like, look, I have to ask the question because everyone's talking about it. Like, your wife is very vocal with the fights, whatever. And I loved Eddie's response. He was like, that's my fucking chick. And she's been supporting me my whole life. You know, we've been together forever. She's gone through the ringer, you know, with me. And like, I, I just loved his response. To it. But that's my fucking chick was the first thing he said. And I just, I, I wholesomely giggled at that, um, at that response. I think the civilian would say you fight the easiest person for the most money. The competitor wants the competition to make himself better and reach championship pedigree. Um, more like that obsessed with one more time by Daft Punk. Well, that is true. That, Hank, you know me too well. That That is another reason why. Um, the only way I will marry someone, the only way I will, I will marry uh, marry someone is if, is if that woman um, agrees to have one more time as the first dance song. And you know, and, and that's that that straight up ended my last two relationships. So I mean, it's 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 a serious serious topic. Uh, Jamie Alvarez, most famous non-fighter voice in MMA. 
Not true. You shouldn't in, unless she likes fights. That that's true. I need to find someone who likes fights. It's been tough. I live in a well. I, I came from a hockey, a country where hockey is more important than than religion. Hockey is religion, and now I'm in a state where that's the same. Uh, good morning, Sage Four Two One. Eddie loves it as he should. Sage Four Two One. It's great to see you, buddy. Eddie is like Mr. Philly in his character. Uh, Jim, so lucky my girl doesn't watch MMA or nothing, but will sit there and listen to me spew and make sure I have enough free time to catch pretty much any fights I want. That's amazing. That's amazing. Hey, big shout out to her, man. Big shout out to her. Uh, it's about getting that money to set your family up for success. Moicano speaks the truth. Uh, stream just completely restarted for me. Now it's frozen. Did it, and no, it's it's back. It's back. They just went through a little break. Just refresh it. I just refreshed it here, and it, and it looks like we're good. Fact, I'm just gonna say this is hockey land. Yep, yep. But it's a good thing that hockey is also like one of the sports that I you know watch all like for me. It's fights in hockey. It's fights in hockey. Uh, sis, no, we, we're, we're seemingly good. We're seemingly good. Monica from friends breaks up over whether to have a baby Isha music preference. <laughs> yeah. I'm not shallow about looks or anything like that. It's, uh, it, it, it's your music preference. And if you're a fan of sports at the end of the day. Okay. Sounds good. Sis. Yeah. Reset that shit. Reset that shit. The card has been amazing. Uh, the live chat has been absolutely buzzing. <laughs> My internet connection, leaving more to be desired, but but we're still here. We're still rocking. We're still rolling, my man. And it's great to have you in the chat. Oh, dude, yeah. For me, my three favorite sports, ice hockey, box lacrosse, and any sort of combat sports, right? And I lump combat sports into one single sport because like Muay Thai, MMA, kickball, like it, it's not all the same to me, but it's all in the same lane per se. What's the common denominator in all of them? Exciting, and you can fight. Field lacrosse is a joke, but box lacrosse is, is one of the most beautiful sports in, in the world. And I support Canadian football because somebody has to. Somebody has to support the CFL, right? So I'll, 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 I'll be the one throwing the Grey Cup parties for one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's fucking go. All right, let's highlight these next uh, two fighters here. And again, big shout out to everyone in the live chat. You guys have literally been amazing um the dono hype in the beginning of the stream has been tremendous uh i know uh the georgian here is in uh gcn picks parlay um so i am rooting for him to get the victory brazilians tend not to do well in aca i think uh one of the recent cards there was like eight brazilians on the card and only like one for seven, but it was mostly like Brazil versus Russia. I don't know if they, that was like the, the theme of the card, but on the main card, it was literally like Brazil against Russia, Brazil against Russia. And yeah, Russia pretty much cleaned up. <laughs> yeah, I love it. How's your, uh, how's your Friday going? And again, big shout out to everybody who's joining you. All are amazing. Smash that like button if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 25 likes on the video by the end of the stream. Very, very attainable like goal, ladies and gentlemen. Very attainable like goal. And, uh, and yeah, again, really appreciate you guys joining us for a little ACA this morning. It, when ACA cards deliver, they deliver. They really do. When they it, high ceiling, low floor, high ceiling, low floor, but I'll take the gamble every single Friday that they have a card. If you guys are new to the channel. We do live fight companions every single weekend. That is right. Every single weekend we are covering fight cards in the world of mixed martial arts. The schedule is on the community tab. And if you have been a member or if you are a member, if you are um, in our discord, I also posted the schedule there. Um, let's quickly highlight these fighters here, then I'll get right back to your comments. I mean, Georgia taking over mixed martial arts, ladies and gentlemen, in seemingly every single league, Octagon, Ri or I guess not Ryzen yet, uh, Octagon of the C, Octagon of the K, UFC, Regionals, PFL, PFLator. Bellator lost its soul, let's be honest. It, it ain't real Bellator anymore. But anyways, um, big shout out to the Georgian fighters looking to get back in the win column here. So let's highlight him to start. We got Vaza. The Putari, who is 13, 6, and 1 as a pro. He is 2 and 3 in his last five fights and lost his last three fights. 
Two KOT Go four submissions, seven decisions. He's never been knocked out in mixed martial arts. Been submitted once, but lost five times via decision. Four and five in ACA, one and zero oh in ACB. And it's not like his win or his losses have come to scrubs. And he wasn't knocked out or finished in any of his last three fights. Split decision against an eighteen and eight guy. Two unanimous decisions against nineteen and nine, as well as a seventeen and six. Before then, beat a fourteen and five, fifteen and six, beat a seven and zero. Oh. Honestly, his resume is not that bad. He's only really been finished. I mean, I don't like that one being guillotine in the first round. He was on a really good run before that and lost to a 9-3 and three guy when he was 2-0. and oh. So honestly, I do like his resume for a guy in ACA, for a guy outside what, the North American uh, big promotions. Uh, looking at his opponent, Boca. Kyle was talking about Boca on the last membership stream. Just saying. Although in the photography lane. 26 likes and team. Let's go! Let's go! We've already hit our <laughs> Well, now, now I'll raise the bar to 30. I'll raise the bar to 30. Let's see if we can hit 30. Thank you, guys. Wow. You guys are amazing. I did not expect this much love. I did not expect this much uh, this much of a turnout here. But I guess Good Friday, most people are at home not working. Here, I was working all morning, editing. Uh, I have to get this last little project done for a client by the end of the day before, like, before the actual holiday weekend. Um but I will be doing a UFC predictions video later today. I will be doing some Shuto Brazil, maybe some LFA, but definitely some BKFC. All right, looking at this Brazilian here, he's 31 years of age, out of Rio de Janeiro. Sa same recent record, two and three in his last five fights. He's on a three-fight losing streak. He's at Nova Uno. Six KO Tigo, eight submissions, uh, four decisions. He's never got knocked out. He's never been submitted. He's only lost via decision. So there might be a little Russian fuckery there. Let's be perfectly honest. I, I don't recall seeing him fight, though. Uh, five and five in ACA, one and one in ACB. Lost to 16-6, 16-7, and nine, and two split decisions. Man, his record is pretty much exactly the same. A split decision, then two unanimous decision losses. That's crazy. Beat a nine and three and four. Dude, they, 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 their records are mirroring each other. That's crazy, because before the three-fight losing streak, his opponent, the, uh, the Georgian, also beat two guys who had decent records. That's crazy. Wow. Very similar record. Wow. Oh, man. Good wins, too, here. 6-0, 5-1, 8-0. First losses against a guy with a ton more experience than him. Damn, this one should be interesting. You know what? I want GCN's pick to, to go through, so I'm picking the Georgian to win, but this is a very even matchup on paper. All right. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get um, I don't have any BKFC picks off the top of my head, but Ar uh, Arter slash Barter in the in our Discord, he's he bets uh, quite a bit on BKFC, so I know he's one to talk to as well. Okay, sis, you're back. It's good to see you. Uh, four minutes and 43 seconds on the clock. I'll try to catch up on some of these comments here if there's a lull in action. But again, big shout out to you guys who are joining. And wow, we already hit our like goal. So we already hit our like goal. We had some dono hype and actually a crowd here for AC8. Love you guys. Thank you so much for all the support. The, uh, the start to the fight weekend. A sporadic stream schedule, just because I have some other commitments, but uh, like I said, even if we don't stream like 30 hours, of, oh, and a big left hand by the Brazilian. Even if we don't stream up to 30 hours, you, you uh, every week you know I'm going to be at least doing three to four streams a weekend, at minimum, so we'll still be able to hang out with each other, even if it's not for the promotions that the majority wants us to do. And uh, sis, thank you for the kind words earlier today in Discord, man. Really appreciate. Like I said, real talk, but I want to say it. I want to verbalize it. Thank you. It really does mean a lot. From the heart, brother. From the heart. Three minutes and forty-five seconds on the clock. Swing and a miss with that right hand by Sylvan. You can see Sylvan's looking to try to take this to the ground. Yeah, sometimes it just takes sometimes the device itself fucks up, right? Sometimes the device itself fucks up. Like high waters in the 80s. You ready to drink tomorrow? I'm not Oh, eating a high kick was the George. I mean, he did block it, but you could hear that smack with the shin. I'm uh I'm preparing myself. Yes, I'm mentally preparing myself because I know uh wedding parties. It's not the wedding. It's some pre-wedding party. I, I don't know. I, I'm not a wedding expert. I know every culture has different... Uh, every culture, every background has like different 
rituals, parties leading up for weddings. So there, there's there's like some dinner tomorrow that I will that I'll be at. But yeah, I'm ready to drink. But uh, yeah, like I said, Arter in our live chats, he's Barter in Discord. He he. Oh, a nice right uppercut by Tispdari. Uh, he always has some good picks. Yes, Luke Rockhold signed to fight at Karate Combat 420. I'm hyped. We definitely have to tune into that one. We definitely have to tune to that one. And uh, I mean, it wasn't, this isn't a hot take. This isn't like anything for me to like pat myself on the back on. But like I did call that. And I think I made a video on it a few months ago where I said like that, that was the option that, that he wanted to go to even before BKFC, but BKFC offered him more money. I think Karate Combat offered him what, like 700 grand and BKFC offered him just under a million. So he went with the BKFC option for the one fight, but still had a relationship with Karate Combat. Uh, fight still on the feet, by the way. Uh, the Georgian fighter doing a good job of landing body kicks, doing a good job of landing counters on Sylvan as Sylvan goes for the level change. But Sylvan's landed a nice high kick of his own. Oh, nice knee and a left hook by uh, Tiptari. Okay, time to throw this bacon. I've thought enough about this bake, these bacon sliders. Let's go, let's go. Uh, every good reception... Has lots of alcohol and a few good fights. Less of a good one I've been to. Woman in 15 seconds on the clock. Well, because of my dad being one of nine kids and me being Persian, I've gone to a lot of uh, a lot of Persian weddings, which can be real lit, which can be real lit. I actually haven't gone to as many weddings in North America as I have gone to uh, the crazy dance parties that is a Persian wedding. I've gone to a couple East Indian weddings too which are like a three day affair, which are crazy as one of my cousins married a, a girl from India. And yeah, it was, it was wild. That one was wild. They literally rode in on elephants, man. It was crazy. We're not elephants. No. Yes. Yes, they did. It was nuts. I didn't go to that one. I saw the video. I went to day three, but that shit was wild. She was, she's half Indian, half Arab. I think she's from Dubai. I honestly just tease. I'm like, she must be like a princess with how much money you just, you, you just married into, and he was just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> 22 seconds on the clock. What's up, Andrew? Sorry what I did. I won't do it again. I, I don't even know what you're apologizing for, Andrew. You don't need to apologize for me. You're, you're, you're awesome. Appreciate you. Hope, uh, hope you got back to Toronto safely, my man. And that is it for the first round. That is it for the first round. Uh, my roommates are getting married. My roommates are getting married. Uh, they're the couple I live with are getting married. He said he wasn't going to do BKFC again, bro. Found out when he fucked around. How's the card so far? It's re It's been a really good card so far, Angie. It's been a really good card. I feel like Karate Combat... Oh, he wasn't going to do BC BKFC again, bro. Found out he fucked around. Yeah, uh, Luke Rockhold, yeah. I feel uh, Karate Combat is better for the vets than BKFC. BKFC can pretty can be pretty fucking brutal for those old guys. Yeah, no, I agree. Like, there's a handful of old guys that I think, like, it were like, they fit the mold. Like, obviously, well, Mike Perry wasn't even that old when he joined, but, um, like, like Ben Rothwell, right? Like, he's, what, he's, like, 39, if I'm not mistaken. Like, he, he's close to his 40s. Like, he's a BKFC guy through and through, right? Um, but yeah, like, like seeing Diego Sanchez, I mean, Diego Sanchez probably just shouldn't fight at all anymore, but like, uh, I did not like seeing him go to BKFC and yeah, there, there's a handful of like, like when Steven Thompson retires, he's probably going to fight in karate combat. I, I don't want to see wonder boy Thompson go to BKFC. BKFC, it, it is brutal and you have to be a brutal fighter to fit the mold. Like Eddie Alvarez, it, it worked, right? It worked. Let's get it all. all right. Round two, ladies and gentlemen, um, Jeremy Stevens. Though he didn't have a ton of success, like it, it, it worked. Chad Mendez, it, it worked. But there are a few guys where it's just like, yeah, it's you're you're a technical martial artist going into a brutal, you know, glorified street fight. Oh, nice rolling by Sylvan as Tipstari. Four minutes and nineteen seconds goes for the takedown. Solid scramble by Sylvan. Sylvan ends up in the bottom position, catching Tipstari. Titsari, I should say. My apologies. In the full guard. Hey, what's up, Funk Master? Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, yeah. It was it was wild, dude. It was a three day affair. I went to day three. 
like the first day was a lot of the the Indian traditions. The second day was some of the Arab traditions. The third day was the Persian tradition, which Persian weddings are super easy. You go there, you say two words, you say you utter two sentences, boom. The witness signs the marriage document, you married, you party, you dance. So I went for day three. And and all my family went, like all the family didn't go for day one and two went for day three. So Andrew rode a horse in Cuba. Nice. Shane, there's quite a few fights left, buddy. There's quite a few. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fights left. And again, Shane, this is on ppv.ppv.aca-mma.com. Fighters are back up to their feet here. Three minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Yeah, Andrew, you don't got to apologize, buddy. You're the man. You're the man, Andrew. And that was back then. Mike Perry being a BKFC GOAT was not on my bingo card uh, after his last UFC fight. I don't think it was, it was anyone's, but what a tremendous story as it kind of like just re revitalized his career, both in popularity and uh, just as a fighter and competition-wise. But again, some fighters, and you know what's crazy is I gave the example of MVP, or sorry, of, uh, of um, I'm getting to MVP, of like Stephen Thompson not being the, the type of guy for BKFC because he's not, he's more of a technical like martial artist. But then you look at MVP and MVP had that dog in him. MVP arguably beat Mike Perry. I think he did in BKFC and literally showed that, you know, some guys, they just can fit the mold. Some guys are just fighters more than martial artists. And it, that was really cool to see. It's big swing and a miss with the overhand left by Tipstari. Houston Alexander undefeated in BKC at 50 years old. There's another great example, dude, that I grew up as a little kid. I watched Houston Alexander fight in the UFC. That's so crazy. Thanks for reminding us that he's still in BKFC ripping it up. One minute and 50 seconds on the clock in the second round. Tip Starry is starting to gas a little bit. Starting to slow down. Where Sylvan kind of just has looked the same. Chasing... Chasing that level change, but has been landing some good single shots on the feet. Not putting good combos together like Titsutari. And there's that level change again, but a good scramble by uh, Titsutari. Titsutari now, body lock. They break back to the center of the cage. Uh, haven't even. I got to do my research after this card. I haven't even looked at it yet. I've been so busy with work this week. But uh, anybody in the live chat, give uh, Funk Master your best three picks. Uh, the drive was good, and we're so beat all this week. Hey, what's up, uh, Itadori? What's up, Itadori? Uh, right now, I I have the Georgian winning tip story. He won the first round. He's looked better in the second round, but Sylvan, he's not out of it just yet. He's not out of it just yet. Thanks so much for joining, buddy. Really appreciate you. Bet on MLB, and you can call me a penis. And slide me in because I'm fucked. <laughs> um, Funkmaster, I'll comment on this video. Um, and I will be doing my UFC predictions video later as well with my picks. I just, like I said, man, I, I've been telling the chat, and uh, I know you're, I don't think you're in our Discord, but I've been telling the chat for all stream. Like, I've been so swamped with work this week. Um, I've been even out of the loop on some MMA news. So I will be getting to my UFC picks uh, today, I promise. Rangers page up boy yes you I'm so happy they did I'm so happy they did let's go <laughs> okay Shane yeah because it is AC Shane where is ACA Shane where I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let, where is this ACA based out of again where, where what is AC ACA is a Russian promotion Shane Shane they're giving us the fights for free man they're giving us the fights for free they do this every week. Come on, chat. Shane's scared of the ACA website. Tell him it's all good. Tell him, tell him it's not shady or anything like that. This ain't this ain't no uh, like meth stream or anything like that, Shane. This is straight up how you watch ACA. It's uh yeah, it's a Russian promotion, so yeah, they're um I but, but the site's in English for me, Shane. You can set it to English, Shane. In the top right corner, so you can click uh, English or, or Russian text. So my my site it's default to English because I've you know I go on it every single week. Um, I told Pickham that night when I was stressed and about MMA and 
one dumbass guy's name sinful, but now I'm chill. Uh, thoughts on Don King? He old. He old. All right, round three, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all. I don't really have other any other thoughts than the glory days of Don King are far, far behind us. Uh, four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock, and finally, Sylvan gets his takedown that he wanted, but trying to set up maybe a guillotine from the bottom. I mean, Kipstari does have submissions on his resume, and he looks pretty good on the ground right now, and when I say that, an unbelievable pass by Sylvan to get the full amount, but a nice scramble by Tipstari. And now look for the triangle choke was Sylvan. Great scramble by Tipstari as they get back up to their feet. Houston Alexander versus Sokaju is a goaded fight. And free on YouTube, very Congo versus Barry-like. Yes, great, great uh, deep cut there. Wasn't Sokaju, uh, Sokaju was Canadian, was he not? Or he trained out of Toronto, I think. I might be, oh no, that's, I'm thinking of, um, no, I know, okay, no, Sokaju spent time training in, in Toronto for a little bit, but there's a, God, I'm, I'm mixing him up with another guy, but anyways, who's actually Canadian, but Sokaju did uh, spend, I think, three years off and on. I don't, even, I don't even know if it was TriStar, but he did, because uh, I was in Montreal, but I know he, he spent some time in Toronto. Because there's a few uh, a few hockey players who primarily play in like that fight Quebec League who used to train with Sokaju, which is absolutely insane. He was born in Cameroon. Yeah, yeah. I think even the other guy I'm thinking of too uh, was was not born in Canada, but anyways. Uh, the dude who got the KO today in one championship. You know, who Richie Miranda is no, who's Richie Miranda? Seven and one is a pro, Richie Miranda, LFA guy. She has a pretty good resume, maybe the four and oh, guy, three and one, four and one. Four knockouts, two submissions on his career. He's on, L yeah, he's on LFA tonight. I mean, Shane, why don't you want to watch it? I don't understand. I, I, I feel like you're making this way more complicated than it is, Shane. Like, this is literally, ACA is the easiest promotion to watch. Yeah, I'll send you the link again. It's the out of every single MMA promotion that we cover, Shane, ACA is quite literally the easiest to watch. Um, so, you know, why'd you end your channel? You're buzzing, Andrew. One minute and 34 seconds on the clock. Do you think John Dodson wins today? Um, I mean, who's he fighting again? Let's take a look. I mean, overall, I'm leaning yes, just because he's looked good in BKC thus far, and it's not like his competition has been anything crazy. The guy he's fighting, 15-2 pro boxing record. Won his last beat. Ooh, this might be his toughest, uh, his toughest competition. Um, I do think Dodson wins as Dodson, even at this age in, in all combat sports, you know, he, he doesn't get knocked out. He doesn't get finished. Yeah. A guy named Don King made his debut and slept a man. Don King versus Don King. Yeah. I'm leaning. Yes. I'm leaning. Yes. On, on John Dodson, even though his opponent, you know, pro boxer and, and knocked out his, uh, his opponent in his first BKFC fight, John Dodson doesn't get knocked out. But yeah, Shane, I hope you can, I hope you can uh, figure this out, dude. Because, like, like I said, this AC is quite literally the easiest promotion for us here to watch. Don't need a subscription. Don't need to sign up even for free or anything. You just, you just fire it up on the website and click play. Oh, you are watching. Okay, got you, got you. 
I didn't, and that is it for the third round, by the way, guys. I just didn't want you to be scared away from it because I know, um, and as you should, as you should, you're 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 way more caref careful than I am with uh, you know, watching certain streams and things like that. And even though I, I tease you for it, I do respect it. I do respect it. But uh, no, this one's good. This one's good. Uh, yeah, promotions that aren't covered by UFC Fight Pass, ACA top tier. Same with Octagon, though, in my opinion. Yeah, if you have the zone, Oct I mean, don't get me wrong. Like Octagon is amazing. I just mean like. For for someone who like doesn't want to make a subscription, doesn't want to like give their email sign up for anything, ACA is quite literally the easiest because all you all you do is click play. Got you, got you. Okay, I thought you meant like just because the site was in Russian, you're like I don't know about this, but but yeah, and Shayna, uh, the the broadcast is in Russian for me as well. There's only a hand few of ACA cards um, where they have an English broadcast. And most of them are when they're like in Moscow, uh, when they like travel to Belarus, when they travel to Chechnya or any of the like, so those surrounding um, countries or nations or, or wh whatever, usually they just stick with the Russian broadcast. So put the house on Dodson is what you're telling me. I, I never tell anybody to put their house on, on anybody, <laughs> but I, I, if, if I'm picking, if I'm, if I'm putting money down, I'm putting money down on Dodson. Yeah, this is definitely his toughest fight yet. This is definitely his toughest fight yet in BKFC. I just don't think he gets... Like, he could lose a decision. I don't think he gets knocked out. Because he never gets knocked out. And his opponent is uh, a lot lengthier, so he will have the range advantage. And I say a lot, because most of the time his opponents have the range advantage. One year of no regional fights or two years of no UFC? Oh, the regional. I'm way more a fan of the regional MMA scene than I am of the UFC. And I'm, and I'm the same way with most pro sports. Like, I would way rather watch junior hockey, college hockey, than the National Hockey League. Hey, and winning by unanimous decision is the Georgian Vasa Tipstory. GCN, he's got one of his uh, le one of the legs of his parlay hit. <laughs> I think he won the first two rounds. I think uh, Sil uh, Sylvan won the third. I have to put my liver and my left nut on Dodson, so here we go. Except Super Leg versus Rod Tang. I'm just kidding. I haven't even bet that fight yet. My parents said that I'd put myself out there where I was and the hackers know where I was out of the country so I won't get broken into my house. So that's why I'm already into my channel. That's why. I mean, fair enough, Andrew. But like, I don't think anyone knows where you live in Toronto. I don't think... Or I don't even know if you're in Toronto. In Ontario, I just said Toronto as, just because you're a Toronto Maple Leafs fan. Um, but no, but fair enough, fair enough. That makes sense. Ugh. But l let me just say, if anyone did that to you, Andrew, the whole City Life army would come and, and destroy whoever did that. Just like we all hate Lost Souls, and we will never support him because of what he said and what he did what he did in disrespecting you. If anyone fucks with Andrew B, we fucks with them. Okay, I haven't watched much tape on the, his opponent, so I think that he's good at blitzing. He definitely still has the power. He's finished, what, two out of three of his opponents in BKFC, if I'm not mistaken? I don't have topology up, but... Uh, you're the, Why are you asking me? You're the expert. <laughs> I'm leaning for Dodson to win, probably by, by KO if he's going to win, because I think this if this goes to decision, his opponent, based on the range, um, based on just having a pro boxing career and employing that style... Um, definitely could could win a decision. So I think Dodson's best path to victory is finishing him. Dodson smokes Pillshaw's bitch ass. That's smart, Andrew. I listen to your parents. No, Andrew's not a troll. Andrew's not a troll. Fucks with them. Yeah, dude, Andrew's a good dude. Andrew's a good dude. I know you know Dodson, yeah. I do. I, I, I do really like him. I do really like him. And I've been watching a lot of his fights. Because I do, like, he's so much better in stand-up, right? Because in MMA, if you look at it, most of Dodson's, like, 
losses have come by him not not by him being outstruck. Now a few of them have been, um, but most of them have come just because his takedown defense still isn't anything special, and most of the opponents will out control him up against the the cage or or on the ground. And we saw that with Mini Saku, right in uh, in his last Ryzen fight, um, Ogi Kubo. And that's pretty much what Ogi Kubo did. He just out wrestled him. Most of the time, when it's a firefight, Dodson does come out on top because he still has that speed, um, despite being in his late thirties. So yeah, I'm leaning towards him. But you know me, Fungus. I'm never, I'm never gonna tell anybody to bet their house on, on anybody because I'm no financial advisor. I ain't no Dylan Shaken up in this mouth. What's up, hockey? Good to see you. I don't know why I said it. <laughs> hey, what's up, Robert? Good to see you, man. How's it going? Uh, happy Friday. Happy Good Friday. Hope you all have a great long weekend. <laughs> so bet the house on them. <laughs> hey, good luck on your exam, Hoggy from Home. Good luck on your exam. All right. Prayer Hockey. Yeah, good luck. Sending, uh, sending best vibes. Hope you do well on your exam. Okay. Final prelim. No, two more prelims before the main card, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Shane, it's good to have you. Uh, it's it's good to have you here for a little ACA, man. Shane in the chat here. Funk Mash. I mean, we, we've had the whole crew here today, guys. So really appreciate you. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. it's a mock interview. Please help. Ah, oh, you'll crush it. You'll crush it. Good luck. Yeah. If you had a gun to your head, you're going Dodson. Yeah. If I had a gun to my head, I'm definitely going Dodson. Um, definitely overall for context. Think this is this is his hardest challenge in BKFC thus far. But yeah, gun to the head, I'm still going Dodson. The speed and his ability to blitz. Not to mention he still has power. Um, it is still there. And if he can get in range and get into the pocket, I think he will, and get in and out of the pocket quickly, I think he will overwhelm his opponent who is going to fight at range. I mean, I, didn't you do, you did a mock interview before, you, you were telling me, but regardless, you, you'll crush it, hockey, you'll crush it. Thank you, you should feel a bit uh, Catholic guilt as I ate red meat on Good Friday, but it's okay. I've only eaten uh, chicken today, so I don't have the guilt. I don't have the guilt, but uh, you are uh, you're forgiven for what it's worth here, my man. You're forgiven for what it's worth here. Hockey's in the his house. Yep, I'll be live later today, Andrew. I'll be live. I'll be live throughout the day. I'll be live for a little. Uh, I'll be doing a UFC predictions video later today. I just I have to finish a work project. Um. Going into the weekend, I got about an hour left of editing, and then I'll do UFC predictions video. And then, depending on what time it is, we'll either do Shuto Brazil, LFA prelims, but we're 100% going to be doing the BKFC main card here tonight. Uh, oh, Robert, the fights are here, buddy. The fights are here. They are on... They're free on ACA. Here, I'll send you the link. There we go. There we go. You'll be here after your exam. Nice, nice. Oh, okay, gotcha. No church tonight because of the exam. I'm sure you have a bunch of church stuff on Sunday eh, for, for Easter. I'm definitely eating bacon and cheeseburger. It is what it is. Nice, nice. Sounds good. Sounds good. I had a cold cut as a meat, but not that much. Yeah, no problem, Robert. No problem. Good to have you. Good to have you. All right, let's quickly highlight these guys as they are being announced in the center of the cage. And again, big, big shout out to everyone joining us here. Like ACA, we either get a huge crowd or a very small crowd. But uh, my goodness, we've had a great crowd here today. The regulars, the loyals, the junkies of the combat sports variety. So I uh, really appreciate you guys hanging out with us here today. We have Ruslan Gabarev. Gabarev. Uh, he is 5-0 and o as a pro. Two undefeated fighters going at, going uh, at each other here, which is awesome to see. 5-0 and o as a pro. 1-0 and o in ACA. 3-0 and o in open fighting champion. As crazy and as much fuckery goes down in this promotion, um, it is fun. It is fun, and, and it is good 
for developing guys to get into ACA or ACB, be a 9-5, get 8-4, 7-4, 3-5, 6-3. Honestly, though the guys he's faced don't have like outstanding records, he's faced guys with a lot of experience despite him not having too much at the pro level. Uh, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all. Uh, the Belarusian, 4-0 and as a pro, like I said and already... Sergey Starodub is looking for the takedown, pushing his opponent up against the cage. Quickly, he's one and own ACA. Be a five and two guy, two and oh, zero one one and three. So he does have the better win overall, but uh, I do like the other guy's resume more. I imagine the odds on this one are very, very close as they should be. I'm going to go with the Russian over the hometown Belarusian as this uh, event is being held in Minsk. But uh, yeah, we'll go with Ruslan Gabaraviev. Gabaraviev. Locking it in. Yeah, yeah, Easter Sunday. That's what I was... Uh, Luca's having fun in Syracuse. I'm not with Luca now. School's closed today. Uh, so I'm heading out for now, and I'll be later tonight. Sounds good, Andrew. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll go head to head with your pick. All right, Shane locking in Star Rodab. Star Rodab did get a knockout in his last fight. Just saying, just saying. Sounds good, hockey. Uh, good luck on your exam. You got this. You got this. So far, with the clinch game and the nice foot stomp, I mean, hey, shout out to the Belarusian here, Star Rodab. Notice that one of the toes of Gabariev was wrapped and he immediately stomps the foot. Still clinching. Center of the cage. Oh, a nice left and a right by Gabariev on the break. They were clinching in the center of the cage there. Yeah, locking it in. You have a new video recording tonight, too? Nice. Yeah, guys, Hockey From Home, so close to 200 subscribers. If you haven't already, go check out her channel. Go subscribe to her channel. Ooh, nice push kick right to the body by Gabariev. Or Gabariev. And look for the takedown is Gabariev. Holding on to the neck here, but inside control. It's not going to do him any good. Starodub controlling the neck. Controlling the neck with his right arm of Gabarev. Gabarev trying to pass from modified half guard. Two side control likes to go back into the guard of Star Starodob. Two minutes on the clock. Ooh, nice big right hand by Gabarev. Gabarev. Left knee planted. A couple shots to the body. Now in the closed guard of Starodub. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock. See you there, Hoggy. And was looking for the triangle with Staroda, but he's he doesn't have much room to adjust as now he's getting his shoulders pushed up against the cage. One minute, 35 seconds on the clock. You should that one day you were off KO sleep was hilarious. Wait, you should that one day you were off. No sleep was hilarious. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> I was so confused. I mean, I'm still, I mean, I've only slept five hours in the last four and a half days. So I'm averaging almost one hour a day. So it's not healthy, but we're alive, right? And I guess that, that's all that counts, right? We're alive. Someday I'll get some sleep. Someday I'll get some sleep. And maybe that day will be when I'm literally resting in the ground. But I just, there's not enough time in the day, man. There's not enough time in the day. Between this channel, my second channel, and just, you know, doing some jobs to pay rent. I mean, you can't sleep. You quite literally can't sleep. There's not enough time to sleep. If I slept, I'd be, I'd be fired. I'm already late on a job. It was supposed to be done yesterday. It's not, it's like I gotta get I gotta get it done today. Thirty five seconds on the clock, but there's no way I'd miss an ACA card with you guys. And if the client sees this, I'm fucked. But that's okay. That's okay. Twenty five seconds on the clock. I'll take that one on the chin. They do know I YouTube, so let's just hope that they're not watching. <laughs> and if they are, I'm almost done. I promise. Fifteen seconds on the clock. 
Big left hand by Gabarev. Gabarev in the full guard. It's closed now. Final seconds of this first round. And that is it for the first round. All right. Um, I do think Ruslan Gabarev won the first round. Starodub looking a little tired there in his corner. But he's the one who initiated the clinch game first. He did land some good knees in the tie clinch, as we're seeing here in the replay. But as soon as they broke, Ruslan Gabayev, Gabarev uh, did get the better of him. <laughs> I almost lost it. <laughs> I'm having a good day. Thanks. I'm going to get edible soon. I'm so excited. Nice. Nice. No sleep. Each is a mythical creature. I, I honestly don't know how I survive. I really don't. At least I'm eating now. At least I'm eating now. When I was not sleeping and just drinking coffee, the uh, that, that was a problem. That was a problem. At least I'm eating now. Uh, still salty. Phony blocked me before we even had a conversation. I think he's, he's blocked so many people in the live chat. How do you do that after at least get eight, six hours? I feel like shit. I, I don't feel great. I don't feel great, but it's just one of those things. Where it's like, I have to work. I have to edit for YouTube. I have to stream. I have to work on my second channel. Like there's no, I can do this later because if I do it later, things pile up, right? When you have when you have all that I have on my plate, it's you, you wish the days were thirty six hours, not twenty four. And uh, I'm 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 getting better. I'm working a little bit smarter, procrastinating less and less because every human procrastinates. It's just you know here and there. It's how we operate. But uh, yeah, sometimes there's jobs that have to come out immediately. Sometimes you know I'm a freelancer, so I'm gonna take the work that I can get, and I have to like just adjust with uh with my schedule, which ain't easy at times, but. Uh, like I said, hopefully someday it pays off. Hopefully someday it pays off. I was low on sleep last week. I posted a story on my Insta. Watched it later. It looked like my eyes are crossed. Okay, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Uh, three minutes and 35 seconds. Or three minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. And looking for the takedown is Star... Uh, Star Odub. Yeah, I hear he has a really good left hand. What's up, Joe Hogan? That was a bad joke. I mean, no, no, that was a good joke. That was a good joke. He doesn't have his right hand, okay? But uh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. He's he's fighting in one of the upcoming shows. Or did he? He didn't fight today. He's fighting on the one of the one of the fight nights coming up. Is he not? It's good to see you, Joe Hogan. Three minutes and twenty seconds on the clock. Okay, well, you got a kick out of that. You got a kick out of that. I commented that on Twitter, and people were calling me a dick. I was like, but he only has a left hand. So it must be a good left hand. Three minutes on the clock. I mean, he's in MMA. His right jab is like a spirit elbow. Three minutes on the clock. No, I mean, hey, really cool to see that from him. Really cool to see one championship uh, give him the opportunity. And we've seen MMA fighters without, without a limb or two who've actually been able to compete, let alone win a few, you know, let alone win a few fights. Yeah, it, it is real, Amberly. It is real. Oh, both of them are seemingly gassed right now. Two minutes and 32 seconds of the second round. Both of them are breathing so heavily right now, guys. Does that mean Shara has a really good right eye? He does have an eye for things. He does have an eye for things. I mean, that's not as impressive because, I mean, Bisping won the belt with one eye. So, like, come on. Uh, Nick Newell was pretty good. He was choking guys out with one arm until Gaethje beat him up. Yeah, Nick Newell's another example. Uh, shout out to the World Series of Fighting. Yes, Gaethje fought a guy with one arm. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock. They're in the clinch. Nice right uppercut. Nice right hand by Gabarev. Ooh, nice and big leg or big... Uh, it looked like seemingly he was going for the leg kick by Starodub, but uh, Gabarov ate it on the body there on the entry for a takedown. The only reason Gabar uh, Gabarev got the takedown is because Starodub dropped for the guillotine, and I'm sorry, that that's you, you just can't do that at this stage because you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. A, you're not fresh, and B, Gabarov has escaped that 
same attempt twice now so far, and now he's looking to get into side control. Trying to scramble from the bottom. One minute and 15 seconds left on the clock is Staroda. Body lock here by Gabarev. World Series of Fighting was the PFL before the PFL. It didn't have a tournament format. It, it was a normal and really good MMA promotion. Um, since it became the PFL, they started the season. They took away elbows, different different owners. Don Davis, well, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think Don Davis was involved with World Series of Fighting. Other than just purchasing it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't think Don Davis was involved in World Series of Fighting. Yeah, yeah. Don Davis came in just with the PFL, yep. Yeah. No, World Series of Fighting was good. Not, not all the fights were... were Running special, but it was it was it was kind of like Bellator. It was kind of like Bellator, where you know there was some great talent in it, and there was also some clown show fights. And honestly, Nick Newell wasn't part of the clown show fights. Nick Newell actually was was pretty damn good. Why would you want to take away elbows from MMA? Uh, end of the second round, by the way, guys. And Starodub is complete. Uh, both of them are tired. Starodub is seemingly more sluggish out of the two. Pig's not looking good. He's still surviving, Shane. He's still surviving. Why would you take away? So I get the argument because they have to fight, you know, th uh, four times throughout the season and they don't want cuts to take them out of the tournament. But at the end of the day, they don't even allow elbows in the finals, which doesn't make any sense. You know, if you're leading up to that final, allow elbows in it. I get that argument, you know, cuts, you know, they can they can hamper, you know, can, making a quick turnaround. Um, but yeah, I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it. like even Ryzen, even the Japanese who are scared of you know blood staining their beautiful ring allow elbows now. Uh, it's all free, Shane. It's all free. All right, third and final round. Ah, <laughs> it looked like Gabarev. Like they touched gloves. It looked like he was going to give him a hug. And Starodub was like, no, no, no. Emily, how much did you want to slap Aaron D up for saying she could beat up most women? <laughs> uh, imagine scheduling a fight between two dudes two who want to kill each other and then they're telling them not to cut up the other person right four minutes and 15 seconds on the clock well you know what's crazy is like <laughs> Kayla Harrison has a ground and pound game and Kayla Harrison was you know one of PFL's you know stars that was one of their like main fighters and the fact that they took away one of her biggest tools in ground and pound was just crazy, man. Now she did win the tournament twice, right? But still. Yo, what's up, Jonas? Anyone know who won? Yeah, uh, the Georgian one. The Georgian one. Uh, unanimous decision. He won unanimous decision, brother. So that is Vasha. Tip story. He won unanimous decision. Three minutes and 30 seconds on the clock here, ladies and gentlemen. And again, they're both crazy, crazy gassed right now. And before they got back up to their feet, Starodub was looking for the takedown, wasn't able to get it. Gabarev had to hold in his inner real MMA techniques and not knee him in the face. But now they're back up to their feet, fighting in the clinch. And again, this is... This is a labored one, ladies and gentlemen. Three minutes on the clock. Knee to the body in the clinch. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Sometimes I wonder how many brain cells these promotions have with the rules they have. We just want to see action. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's another reason why I love Ryzen. Like, their, their um, refs will separate guys so quickly up against the cage. Like, there ain't no clinch work in Ryzen. 
Two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. However, I hate how if you get a crazy cut in Ryzen, they're more often than none going to end the fight because they're scared of blood on their canvas. But they're getting better with it. They're getting better with it. No promotion's perfect. No prom- well, actually, no. KSW is almost almost perfect. If they just if KSW allows the superior rule set full time, they will be the best promotion. Not even close. The fact that they still use the pussified rule set, fake MMA rule set, the the rule set that the UFC abides to. Um, that that's still you know they're not they're about nine out of ten. They're not ten out of ten. But KSW is almost perfect. One minute and 45 seconds on the clock. Yeah, the 12 to 6 elbow room grounded opponents is stupid. I, I need I need stomps. I need soccer kicks. I need real fighting. Like North American MMA and, and most other promotions, it's like it's like if you only allowed three pointers in basketball. It's like if uh I don't know. I'm not a football guy, but you're like capping the the ability for guys in football. It's like you're only allowed three shots a half in soccer. Like it's handicapping the sport. And that's a disgrace. Uh, How is Ruslan been doing this? I just got here a bit ago. He, in my opinion, has been winning the fight, but both of them look like absolute trash in this third round because they are gassed. Ruslan has been getting the better of Starodub though. Um, it's narrow in this third round. Narrow in this third round. Oh, dude, that that's how I like I, I watched the first few UFCs. I have UFC one to ten on DVD and one to five on VHS. But Pride was my shit, man. My dad used to wake me up, even if it was on a couple hour tape delay, he used to wake me up in the middle of the night and we would we would watch those crazy cards together. Sakuraba is one of my favorite fighters. He's in like my top three favorite fighter of all time. The Gracie Hunter. Um, oh yeah, dude. Pride was my shit. Watching like Mark Kerr, just absolutely some mash motherfuckers. Minua man. I mean, the list the list goes on. Vanderlei r- early rampage. I mean, yeah. Pride was pride. Pride never die, baby. But Ryzen allows elbows. Pride didn't even allow elbows. All right, final seconds of this first round and or of this third round, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I can do more focus play by play if you guys need. Um, the chat's just been absolutely buzzing, and there's this fight wasn't too exciting, so I was giving more uh, more attention to you guys here during this one. I'm just thinking about when Chuck and Tito matched up. Imagine telling one of them to try not to cut the opponent. Yeah, right. It's crazy, absolutely insane. <laughs> Dude, that literally there was a there was a fight in the crowd of uh, of a name a man of an MMA event recently and somebody in the crowd literally did that. I started with mostly strike force in the WEC. Hey, I watched a ton of WEC and strike force as well. And I say to this day, the UFC is what it is because of strike force in the WEC. As much as everyone thinks, oh, getting the pride roster is the reason the UFC like took off in the mid 2000s. No, no, no. Look at all, every single like big name from strike force between what was it like 2008 they acquired in 2008 after they acquired like became champion daniel cormier ronda rousey luke rockhold um i'm pretty sure verdum came from strike force as well i know i'm missing a couple others but like all these big names from strike force ended up becoming champion in the ufc it was amazing and you look at wec as well aldo uh i know korean zombie never became champion but korean zombie uh, Benson Henderson, Anthony Pettis. I mean, it, it was absolutely insane. Uh, the insertion of WEC and, and Strike Force roster that really got the UFC to take a take a next step. And the winner is Ruslan Gabarev. <laughs> that was really loud. Uh, that that is the correct decision. I think he won the first and second round. Third round. I mean, it's a that one was a toss up. That one was a toss up. It's crazy how you could stomp on someone's balls or head, but don't elbow. Yeah, it's because the Japanese just have a weird thing about blood on their canvas. I don't know if it's like an honor thing and they just like don't want it. They don't want to like, or if it's like a cultural thing where it's like very honor based there and they just don't want like the canvas to be like, I don't know, tainted. Um, because even in K- even in Japanese kickboxing fights, if the cut is too bad, even if the fighter wants to continue. 
And I even saw a recent fight on, on the Rise El Dorado card that was last weekend where one guy's nose, it was due to a head clash, but his nose just would not stop bleeding. He was good to fight. He was good to fight, but they, they stopped it because they didn't want too much blood um, painting the canvas. So th that is my one big knock on the Japanese. However, they might be doing a partnership with BKFC soon. BKFC Japan might be a thing in 2025. And if they do, they're going to have to get used to blood, baby. UFC 2015, UFC 2016 was all UFC and Strikeforce champs. Yep. How cool is that? How cool is that? Yeah, so my dates are off. It must have been like 2010 or 11 where they acquired it Acquired it all. Uh, just cashed 80 euros on a Counter-Strike bet. Let's go. I never used to bet on Counter-Strike. I did. I did. You Actually, I used to gamble with my skins on those like now defunct and probably illegally run counter-strike betting sites and how they get you is you would you'd like almost guarantee to win big money on your first play and then you just lose everything after that um uh, but i i'm i'm a counter-strike nerd man i i, I don't today because i don't have the time like i can bear i don't even have time to sleep right I, one hour a night and i'm and i'm happy right i'm, I'm i only have enough time to nap um, so I don't have time to play or, or follow anything with Counter-Strike, but when I was in college, um, I used to, I used to even watch Counter-Strike land tournaments, man. Like I say this to this day in all of sport right now, I kind of roll my eyes at esports. Not, not as much as like a lot of the people who are like old men yelling at clouds. What is this esport crap? But like, you know, I, I like sport. I like sport broadcast. I will say that Counter-Strike broadcast for their big, um, the world tournaments or whatever they call majors unbelievable the the voice of some of these guys how smart they are in running it down how fast they can keep up with the plays um just everything about it blew my mind so out of all the esports and all the esports broadcasts and and coverage and tournaments like nothing is even close to how entertaining counter strike is and if you know the like i feel like you could be entertaining if you, even if you didn't know the game just because of how hyped their commentators are. Um, and if you know the game, it's just better. It's that much better. But yeah, in, in my opinion, that's the greatest game ever made. And again, not necessarily to play. It's just like, it is it is the most detailed. And like, and like and if you are dumb and refuse to warm up, practice, or study the game, you can't play. And I think that's what's unbelievably fascinating about that game. If you don't warm up for 20 minutes, you cannot play that game. That is incredible. That is unbelievable. The major right now is insane. So who are the top teams right now? Because when I was in college, I mean, it was... um, uh, What's... Uh, I think Navi was one of the top ones. Um, That Swedish team with the old farts who were like in their mid-30s who were shit, or probably like they're in their 40s now. They were still like competitive. They, they didn't win any, but they're still competitive. Cloud9 had some good pieces but i don't think they've been good out as of late i know simple left his original team and he's on a new team right now but again i, I haven't kept up but yeah i definitely was a huge uh counter-strike nerd in college it was the only game i played it was the only game i played never been and i wasn't good i'd have my buddy uh help me get out of silver and then i got absolutely destroyed but uh i just think it's it's the most incredible game ever ever created and for some people who just want to play games like mindlessly, then it's not the game for you. And definitely everything I say, it's not true. But for me, it's like I've never played, covered, seen a game as as beautiful and detailed as Counter-Strike. Uh, Semi-finalists so far, Navi, Phase, and, and uh, Vitality. Okay, yeah. Phase, I, I, I never root for Phase. Um... But uh, not I like I like rooting for Navi. Navi just won me money. Nice, nice. It's cool to see that simple still at, at its peak because I know he like when he was younger, he was uh I think he's like he was the highest paid Counter Strike player. I'm pretty sure. Uh, he makes a lot on it. Bags at the bags at the bags. Let's go, let's go. I know simple was at, at, when I was watching the sport. Or I shouldn't say the sport, the game. Like when I was in college, like. Simple was like 17 years old and he was the highest paid Counter-Strike player. I think he was making like 11 million a season. It was nuts. Or yeah, a, a year. Um, and that was one of the reasons why no one wanted to trade for him because no one had that money to pay him. But I do know he re he signed with a new team a few years ago and has been absolutely crushing it. Could you imagine that? 
11 million a season. And that's not even with sponsors. That's just, that's his fucking flat pay. And I think the second highest paid player was like around 8 million. And, um, but yeah, it's funny seeing simple, a little tubby now. Cause he was like a skinny kid and, you know, hours and hours of sitting. And, uh, I, I know there's like a few players who actually like work out a, a ton in their spare time to like stay healthy. I don't think simple is one of those. He signed with a Saudi team. Oh, so he's even making more money now, bro. Crazy. All right. Uh, next fight's coming up here, guys. Last fight on the prelim. And again, big shout out to everyone joining us here. What a nickname. Style.Deadpool. There's a dot in his name. Uh, Vladislav Mishkevich against Odobek Tokirov. Odobek, I feel like, is the is like the John Smith of English names. I feel like it's like the most uh, common Uzbekistani or Tajikistan Standing name is Odebeck. But anyways, we have an Odebeck here out of Uzbekistan. 10 and 3 as a pro. He is... Or sorry, yeah. 10 and 3 as a pro. He is 3 and 2 in his last 5 fights. And he's on a 2 fight win streak. 6 KO TKOs. 3 submissions. 1 decision. He is 2 and 0 in ACA. 4 and 0 in Amir Timur Fighting Championship. Uh, he beat a 6 and 3 guy and 8 and 4 in his last ACA fights. He went up against a 3 and 1 guy and lost the decision. Or then he'd be a guy making his debut. Lost to 12 and 3 guy. Yeah, his record's a little sus. His record's a little sus. This will be uh his biggest test coming up next. Or I guess he did he he did face a guy who's 12 and 3, but he lost. So one of his biggest tests coming up here against Style Dog Deadpool is 10 and 4, 5 and 0 in his last five fights in front of his home crowd here in Minsk. Two and zero oh in ACA. He is. Oh wait, never mind. I am off here. Looks like they're going with the heavyweights. Looks like they're going with the heavyweights. My bad, guys. Bout order uh, was incorrect. My apologies for that. I, I I looked at my screen. I was like, oh, that doesn't look like Odebeck. That doesn't look like Odebeck. So my apologies. Um, let me just quickly update the ticker on the bottom of the screen, and we'll, we'll highlight these guys. I believe these are the only heavyweights on the card here today as well. Hey, dude, thank you so much for becoming a member. I really appreciate you, Jonas. Really appreciate you. I will uh, I will add the link to the Discord in the community tab um, between the next two fights, buddy, so you can join our dis Discord. Thank you so much. Big shout out to everyone. <laughs> we, have been so here today. we have Jonas becoming a member. We had Royd Rage with the $5 donation. Um, Phil with the $5 uh, super sticker. Matt R with the $5. And GCN pick, as always, throw me a little sum sum with the dollar. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, and we got a new member. Excited, uh, excited to see you on future membership streams too, my man. Which one are you? Uh, what one will you be live to? Um, Either either uh, Shuto Brazil or the prelims of LFA. I haven't decided which one yet, Andrew. And then the main card of BKFC. Yeah, welcome, Jonas. Welcome. What a beauty. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate you. All right, uh, heavyweights here. We have Dennis Smoldarev against Arash Sadegi. I knew his name was Arash. I didn't even have to look at his flag. I knew what the name Arash that he was Persian. I got a cousin named Arash. That's why. Uh, Arash Heavyweights out of Iran. He is 2-1 as a pro. 2-1 in his last three fights. He did lose his last fight. Let's take a look at who he fought. Beat a 3-2 and two guy. I mean, what a step up in competition. My God. Going up against a 10-1. But, uh, yeah, okay. Two wins. KO and then uh, ground and pound win as well. Got knocked out in the third round against a 10 and 1 guy. I'd be interested to see how he looked in the first two rounds. But, anyways, his opponent, 18 and 11. So, a lot more experience than him, but not necessarily a good record. He's at Estonia. 18 and 11. He is 2 and 3 in his last five fights. Six KOT kills, five submissions, seven decisions. He 
has never gone to decision in a loss, which is which is a little concerning. He's been knocked out eight times and he's been submitted three times. He's five and seven in ACA and one and two in ACB. Well, they can't keep bringing him back. He lost to 16 and eight guy. One in kickboxing in his last fight uh, and beat a seven and four guy as well. Lost to 10 and five, 12 and six. But yeah, he just, he just keeps getting knocked out and finished in his losses, which is not what you want to see. Um, split win there. Um, fat, fought Tanner Boser. In ACB back in 2017. That's crazy. And then lost to Volkov. I mean, he's fought some good names. <laughs> he's fought a bunch of UFC guys. Uh, fought Volkov, fought Tybura. But he's been losing. He's been losing. Um, He's got experience. He's got experience, but clearly a little chinny in the heavyweight division. I'm going to roll the dice on this one and go, uh, go over the Persian fighter. <laughs> Hey, no, you're the man, dude. Thank you so much for joining. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, yeah. But so let's abuse the SEO system and get a few streams up. <laughs> nice, dude. Nice. Uh, hope uh, hope you have a good time hanging out with your grandma. Shane's going with Dennis Smoldarev. Lost me. Uh, that's a good question, dude. I, it blows my mind that LFA blocked me on Twitter because I straight up promote their promotion all the time. I have literally given them my money, bought tickets to live events, literally got Shane to buy Fight Pass so that he could watch LFA with us. And uh, yeah. Let's see. LFA fighting. Have they unblocked me? They have not unblocked me. Makes no sense, man. Makes no sense. All right. Fighters are being announced in the cage. You guys heard my uh, my pick. I want to hear yours. Oh, my goodness. Shane's, Shane's pick here. Looking pretty yoked. Looking pretty yoked. Bro, and again, big shout out to Jonas. Yo, are, are referees in ACA, like, not allowed to have anything but, uh, but gray hair? I feel like every single referee in ACA, wh whether they're young or not, they, they, all, they all got the silver hair. All right, guys. Round one. Let's get it Again. all. Again, big shout out to you guys for joining. I'm rolling the dice on this one. I'm going with the uh, the inexperienced Persian fighter up against the seemingly chinny Estonian. Oh, man, the Estonian's so much bigger than him, too. This was a mistake, Shane. This was a mistake. Four minutes and 41 seconds on the clock. Oh, no. Look at the size difference, bro. Sadegi, honestly, if he just uh if he just jogged a little more, he could be a light heavyweight. Looking for the takedown is Sagetti and oh my goodness. Already Small Darev gets his back. Small Darev looked like he might have grabbed the cage there. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but unsuccessful takedown by uh, Sadegi and Smoldarev gets his back. Body lock right now. Both of them knees planted. A couple shots to the side of Sadegi's head. Now looking to reverse here is Smoldarev and looking for takedown of his own. Pulling the double legs off of or away from the cage and trying to get into full mount. Oh, it's going to be a quick one. This is going to be a quick one. Right side pushed up against the cage. Is Sad Deggy. Body lock still by Small Darev. Mixing in a few shots there as well, but looking to drag him off the cage. And or maybe try to cinch up a rear naked choke here by taking his back. Oh, and attempted a back take there. Instead gets, I don't even want to say gets reversed. Instead, uh, Sad Deggy just turns and now ends up in the full guard of Small Darev. Smoldarev now eating some right hands from the top position. Good work in the guard by Smoldarev, or two Smoldarev by Sadegi. Three minutes on the clock. 
Just seen someone post UFC would resign Igor, but they're scared he will chew through the competition. And I couldn't have uh, laughed harder. That is amazing. Exactly that. <gasps> oh, that's amazing. I mean, for better or for worse, he's going to be a meme. But here in the context of what was going on, you know, makes a little bit more sense. Two minutes and 32 seconds on the clock. Still in the top position, now trying to get into side control, but still in half guard is Sadegi and Sadegi, oh, crucifix, crucifix. Sadegi sets up the crucifix. Oh my goodness, he's landing left doubles and it is all over. How the fuck did I win that, Shane? How the fuck did I win that? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my God, oh my goodness. How the hell did that happen? That is amazing, that is amazing. And that is all Smoldarev's fault. Smoldarev shouldn't have jumped on that rear naked choke in that fashion. He should have cinched up the arm first, got the hook, and then pulled back. He, like, jumped on the back and, and pulled backwards and got reversed there because he didn't even have a proper hook in. Got reversed. Arash was able to work his way into a motherfucking crucifix and ends the fight via elbows. He is now 3-1. And honestly, I thought he was going to get pieced the fuck up. Look at the face of Smoldarev. Oh my God, dude. Shane, I did not expect that to happen at all. Holy shit. Yo, Roman the Faster. Good to have you back in the live chat here. My man, Isha over here picking... His livelihood over our entertainment, damn you, Isha, and your priorities. I mean, I'm streaming and I'm supposed to be working right now, so. <laughs> but I do feel bad. I do feel bad. Like I said, I, I wish I could just do this full time. That's the dream. That's the dream. Because I know I let some people down. I've gotten some, D some angry DMs about not doing UFC last week. And I'm probably going to get more this, this week, but it is what it is. If I could, I would never sleep and only watch fights with you guys. And I'm being dead serious, but unfortunately, unfortunately, gotta gotta pay the bills, which you guys help with. And, and I'm not, you know, I'm not uh, overlooking that at all. Literally, my YouTube payment for April will be because uh, YouTube's one month behind, so I get all my March donos in my account in April. That's just how YouTube works. Um, so I'll be living, I'll be living good in April. Let's just say that one's, well, I think my payout's like 20, between the 20th and 23rd. I forget. Uh, denial, Shane intern casual, apparently method MMA sounds like your wish. Yeah, I honestly, I should get on the meth to be perfectly honest. Caffeine just ain't doing it anymore. I just need like, like a, a like a like a dispenser of meth next to me and just an IV right into my fucking vein. Uh, Shane is just cautious. Shane is just cautious. Oh my god! I cannot believe the the Persian fighter won that. I'm still in shock because I didn't even see him setting up the 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 crucifix there. I thought he was having trouble getting into side control. But he knew exactly what he was doing. He knew exactly what he was doing. Two statements in one day. Selling crack and she get on the meth. <laughs> that just shows how good my financial situation is right now. <laughs> when I need to resort to uh, selling crack and I need to uh, uh, do meth to stay awake. Put the lock on. Yes, yes. <laughs> So far, yes. So far, yes. Yeah, denial. Comments of the night so far. We had some good ones. Uh, was it for Ryzen? For the Ryzen stream? Or no, Fear. We had some good ones for Fury FC. We had some good ones for Fury FC. It was a back and forth battle between a few of you guys uh, for comment of the night. I'm on a roll. Okay, now we're going to the welterweights. Now we're going to the welterweights. Wait, are we just skipping this fight altogether? Yeah, it looks like we might be skipping this fight altogether. Let's see if Topology has any updates. 
No. Not surprised. Not surprised. At least they're cracking down on fake accounts. Though. At least they're cracking down on fake accounts. Looks like we're just going to keep going through the main card or, or unless they moved it up the card. But um, regardless, we got Dennis Meyer against Mikhail Doroshenko. How the card been? I had to adult so I can watch BKFC later. It's been good. For, for ACA, it's been really good. We've had all but one finish. All but one finish. So, well, I, actually, I... I that was a poorly structured sentence. We've had only one fight go the distance. We've had only one fight go the distance. But uh, yes, father duties, adult duties. I mean, it's. I know it's Good Friday, but it's still a weekday, ladies and gentlemen. Like I'm, I still have to sneak in some work here today. But uh, because I haven't been doing one Friday fights in the morning, and trust me, like I got mad FOMO every time I see Jay doing them. I'm like, I'm glad someone's doing them, but I wish, I wish I was also doing them. So trust me. Yeah. I'm not skipping them on purpose. I want to do them. It's just I have to get some work in on Fridays um, these last few weeks. I I, I have to. Um, but so far, this fight card has been really good. Uh, hey, I have some errands to run. Just want to say bye for now. Maybe back out no bio. Hey, Amberly, you're awesome. Thank you so much for being such a valued member of this community, both in the Discord, both in the live chat here. And uh, yeah, go run them errands. Hope it's not too crazy out there with everybody off today. Uh, only watch for that crazy finish where they should have quit between rounds. I always root for fellow Dennis. Let's go. Grammar policing yourself is Canadian as fucked, and I respect it. Jay's vibes at 6 a.m. are unmatched. Yeah, dude, he's the only guy I know who's like smokes that much and probably has a little Bailey's in his cup at 6 a.m. Now, I'm not going to speak on his behalf on that front, but I imagine, I imagine so. Hey, But by the way, you guys will know, when I start hooting and hollering more for Ryzen cards and hooting and hollering for uh, <laughs> Friday fights in the morning or like JCK, or I say, as soon as you start seeing Isha do an uptick in morning cards, that's how you know Isha's living alone. Shane's picking mayor. Not of the John variety. Not of the John variety. All right, let's highlight these next two fighters. And again, it's awesome having Shane in the in a in a day chat here. It's good to see you, Shane. My man. I know we weren't able to uh to connect last weekend, Shane, via like um video chat or call. I literally thought this guy was walking out to the Halo theme for a second, not of the Beyonce variety. Um, it's just some orchestra song. But it had that Halo vibes to it. But uh, yeah, Shane, let's uh, let's connect like Sunday or something for sure. I think tonight and tomorrow I'm pretty swamped. But Sunday, other than me just doing Soda Pod and uh, that one boxing match, I have pretty much the evening after that free, Shane. So we should uh, we should connect then. Bro, him and ITP make me feel like I don't even smoke weed. Like I get it, Asian, but that dude be so fucking high. Uh, his eyes look like they bleed in a J bad influence. It makes me want to smoke more. Yeah, dude. Like I said, if I, I'm one of those that if, if I have it, it's, I'm going to use it. If I don't have it, that's when I can actually take a break from it. And, and, and I mean, you know, denial, you know, more than anybody else that uh, just right now, I just quite literally just don't have the budget for it. But when I do, I'll be back on the train for sure. And I'm one of those who like, I can, I can smoke in the morning and still be as productive. I, I can smoke. Like I'm one of those who's not bound to my seat when I smoke. I'm one of those who smokes and wants to go run or bike like 20 miles. Right. I can't run 20 miles, but I can bike 20, but you know what I mean? Like I, I'm, I like to get shit done. I like to utilize the, the, the uplifting feeling um, in, in accordance with other things or to add to the tasks at hand. Like I love editing videos, you know, super, super fucked up. Um, I, I'm not one of those who's couch bound or, or bed bound. So I know that there's some users who can't and, and who use it to, to relax more, but that's not me. That's not me. ITP since the return is way more professional. I feel like it's awesome. But yeah, Jay and ITP and the like are the types that make you like a lightweight and I'm a regular stoner. Absolutely. Yeah, there's... Once upon a time, I probably could have kept up with Jay, but yeah, not not in this phase of my life. Maybe if I was living in Canada again, it's a different story because uh, let's just say when I started these streams, all the breaks weren't piss breaks, <laughs> but now it's a little different. Now it's a little different. 
And for the better, I think. For the better, I think, personally. Anyways, let's quickly highlight these fighters as they are being announced in the center of the cage. we got the Belarusian Dennis um, Mayer, who is 11-1, uh, 4-1 in his last five fights. Five KO, TKO, four submissions, two decisions. Never been knocked out, been submitted once, and never lost via decision. 2-0 in ACA, 6-0 in BFC. Um, you'd be a 28 and 16 guy before then you'd be a seven and one guy lost to 13 and one guy. No shame in that in brave be a knee bar first round. This guy must've been a crazy jujitsu ace, be a nine and O guy. And on his rise in BFC and M1 didn't fight the best opponents, but when he took a step up in competition, he did rise to the occasion. Looking at his opponent out of Russia, not doing good as of late. He is one and four in his last five. On a three-fight losing streak, eight and six as a pro. Seven KOT goes, never been knocked out. Two submissions, but he's been submitted twice and lost four decisions. He has two decision wins. Zero and three in ACA, one and two in Eagle FC. And he's lost all three of his last fights. Um, got finished in the, against an 18 and nine guy. Be, or then lost unanimous decision, 24 and three and 17 and five. Shane, I'll go head to head with you as well. I'll go Russia on this one. Locking it in. Let me know your picks in the live chat as well if you want to follow along guys if you want to follow along and uh yeah round one let's get it on let's get it on in welterweights here guys taller and lankier is oh magger is how is uh is what they have on screen we'll just call him dennis four minutes and 15 seconds on the clock Uh, I like to do all my work on the smoke for the creativity and the focus, but I definitely have to go back and proofread. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Exactly that. So when I was in university, I would, I would write papers sober, but I actually, but then I would edit them, uh, stoned actually. Cause I was like more focused. So I was kind of the opposite. If I was, and I did my research stoned as well. But uh, when I was actually writing them, I, I was very much, and that was just my process, but editing them, I take a break, come back and look at it through a, a different lens per se. But, oh, and the kicking the balls there, kicking the balls, Doroshenko just took a nut shot. But when I do like long bike rides, man, like I have to do the math in my head. What's like, I think my longest bike ride was 60 kilometers. How many miles is that? It's about 37 miles. If I'm going to bike like 30, 30 to 40 miles, like, yeah, I, I got to be, I can't feel my legs. Let's just say that. I have to go into it not feeling my legs. <laughs> my kid just realizes Dodson fight night and he's amped. I wish I could have gotten the reaction. He's been asking about this fight for a month. That's what it's all about in combat sports fan dad. Dude, that is awesome, man. That makes me smile. That's awesome. Uh, let's hope Dodson gets a win uh, for all of our sake and for your boys' sake tonight. Proofreading is recommended. 37.2, good math. Uh, thanks, Google. In the clinch right now is Meyer. Meyer pushes him away. Doroshenko, the one walking forward. Doroshenko with the double left jab and right hand. Doroshenko with the kick to the body. Two minutes and 49 seconds on the clock. Ooh, each of them swing and miss with that left hook. Outside low kick by Doroshenko, but Meyer lands a nice counter. Left Meyer with a one-two and low kick combo. Straight left jab by Doroshenko. Misses. Doroshenko with the left hook, though, on the follow-through, and that lands, and that hurt Meyer. Meyer just got cracked with that left hook, and Meyer desperately looking for the takedown. He clinches. Reverse. Doroshenko now with the underhook. Right underhook. Meyer pushing Doroshenko up against the cage. Meyer with the takedown. Dennis Meyer gets the takedown. Doroshenko. Doroshenko trying to scramble here. Meyer looking for the back take. Getting the back take here. Double hooks in. Pass the mat back to the cage for Meyer as he's holding Doroshenko here. Not a lot of room for Meyer here to flatten him out and look for the choke. Body triangle is secured, and now he's got some control and some room to work as well. He unfortunately was live for Bobby Green versus Jalen Turner, and he cried himself to sleep. That's the downside of it. Yeah, no, for sure. Oh, rear naked choke. Not quite under the chin. Good job fighting the hands by Doroshenko. But the body lock is in. Good job by Doroshenko. Turning to the ankle of Meyer. 
more of a crank right now as it wasn't under the chin, but again, good job by Doroshenko for getting out of it. Rolling to his right, which means the ankle of Myers is not going to be pushed up against the ground right now. Trying to roll to his stomach is Doroshenko, but keeping that body triangle secured is Meyer. Meyer, some hammer fists here. Ref warning Meyer not to hit the back of the head. Yeah, that Bobby Green one was hard to watch, especially if you're a fan of Bobby Green, which I am. And I mean, for a kid to see someone go out and then get like con continued or to take continued punishment. Yeah. Connor tapped to pressure, not a choke. Never forget it giving the tough Irish a bad name. That is true. It wasn't under the chin. Back mount. Look for the choke. Oh, this one might be under the chin. Oh, great. Again, Dorshango doing everything right here in this position other than getting out of it. Uh, scrambling and fighting the hands versus trying to punch behind him, which we all know does nothing. Does nothing on the judges' scorecards. It does nothing to get you out of the position. 15 seconds on the clock here. And interesting round, man. Interesting round. Still not under the chin. Still not under the chin. All right. Guys, this is a tough round to score. This is a tough round to score, and I say that because Doroshenko rocked Meyer early, was getting the better of him on the feet, didn't quite knock him down, but that counter left hook landed clean, right? And actually forced Dennis Meyer to go for the takedown. Now, as soon as Meyer got to the ground, it was th that was his game. Got the back and kept threatening submission after submission after submission. Tough round to score. Tough round to score. It's in Russia, so they're probably going to go with the grappler on this one. But uh, very close round. Very close round. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me know in the live chat. Let me know in the live chat. Training with our guy tomorrow morning while he's in town for the holiday. I'm pumped to see what kind of shape he's in. Dude, that's awesome. I'm so glad like everyone's interviewing him. And I gotta, I gotta find some time to to talk to him before. I mean, next week should be easier as far as long as he's good with it. I was hoping to do it this last week, but again, didn't even have time to sleep, man. And like, I'm not even exaggerating. I've literally slept like one hour every night. It's 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 been bad. It's been bad. But here we are. Here we are. We're still we're still going. Let's go. Uh, if you scroll down the site, it shows the main card order. Oh, okay, got you, got you. Yes, that's right, Shane. Look at that. Look at that. So far, Topology has only only had one wrong one. And let's see if our boy's even on it. Yeah, Shane, it looks like uh it looks like that fight might have been canceled mid card. Four minutes and fifteen seconds on the clock. You're still the OG for him, man. No worries. Be cool to do it face to face. Maybe he's coming down early in the week, I believe. I find out in the morning. Yeah. Actually, if he's in if he's in the cities. Absolutely, we'll do it face to face. I have a portable podcast unit that I can record on site anywhere. So if he's up for it, we'll do that. I I, I got to text him again. I'm so bad with that. Yeah, I know Shane's expert AC now. I love it. I'll shoot him a text tonight and explain like why I've been haven't been the best at replying this week. Um, but. Um, if, and if I don't hear back from him, then, uh, yeah, just, just float the idea. Be like, yo, Isha still hasn't, uh, still Isha, Isha still wants to connect. Um, and if we can make it work, we'll make it work. But you know, we're, I, I, I know one championships on the same night as LFA, but I'm, I'm going to go to LFA and, you know, win, win or lose. And we know he's going to win. He's not going to lose. He's going to win. Um, I owe him a beer. I owe him a beer. Oh, how the tables have turned. Three minutes on the clock. You know what's funny? That's a saying that I remember Shane saying uh, a few times to me, how the tables have turned. Two minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. And again, Doroshenko getting the better of Maher on the feet, swinging a miss with that overhand left, but that left jet or the overhand right by Doroshenko, but that left landed. No, that's all. He seems like he's in a good headspace based on the interviews. And, uh, and when we chatted a little bit, uh, not last week, but the week before. Hey, he, he's a great guy. Good fighter. 
And uh, yeah, we're, we're rooting for him. We're rooting for him. Two minutes and 23 seconds on the clock. Hey, man, a few, a few more wins. Shit, even a couple more good wins on the regional scene in a promotion like LFA, and he's going to get that call. He's going to get that call because the UFC needs heavyweights. Oh, and a nice right hand by Doroshenko, but my Mayer with a nice counter right of his own. Oh my, the table, oh, the turntables. It's either Trailer Park Boys or Michael Scott. It's a lot less stressful when you don't change opponents three times during a fight camp. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And he still delivered in that one. Inside low kick by Meyer. Meyer starting to get his groove uh, a little bit here on the feet. Loose outside low kick. Doroshenko slowing down. One minute and 20 seconds on the clock. Meyer swinging an air right now. Eats a left by Doroshenko. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. Three different, three different opponents in one fight camp. It's tough. Oh, high kick by Meyer. Left by Meyer. Dude, Meyer's going to win this round. Despite starting strong on the feet, like in the first round by Doroshenko, My Meyer's going to win this round. Mayer, Meyer. Mager. 41 seconds on the clock. Who knows? Who knows? By the way, ACA on their 173rd event in only 10 years. Big shout out to them. This is their 10th year anniversary. 25 seconds on the clock. Now swinging to air, missing those shots is Doroshenko. Have you seen the guys fighting? He looks similar, stocky, white, bald-headed guy who wrestles with big rights, so I keep telling him fighting in the mirror in is literally uh, and figuratively sense. Or he's fighting in a mirror in the literal and figurative sense. I told him, good thing, dude, has a uh, back tat, so I know who's who during the fight. That's funny. This is the first fight of his career. He didn't change opponent after the first one signed. Wow, that's crazy, man. Well, I mean, that just builds character and experience to, to be able to adapt to things in this sport. Because a lot of this sport is game planning these days now. But at the end of the day, at its core, fighting, it, 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 you only can game plan so much for a fight, right? And the fact that he's shown that the core of fighting, the core of grappling, the core of being able to make adjustments on the fly in camp and in fight. I mean, he got rocked in his last fight and was able to quickly get that level change, slam a motherfucker to the ground and score one of the only submissions. And I know because he's told us he only knows three submissions now he probably, at the time. He probably knows more of them now. He's like, I only know three submissions. And he was able to, to lock one up. I mean, that was just so awesome to see. Hey, what's up, Hoggy from home? MN and maybe like lots of people want to say they fight, not as many want to fight. There you go. There you go. All right. Third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. And Doroshenko needs a knockout. Oh, and a nice step back left by Maher. And Maher with the knee. Oh, my goodness. Switch knee by Maher, and that lands clean on Doroshenko. Doroshenko with the right hand lands clean. Like I said, Doroshenko needs a knockout. He, he keeps getting hit with that straight left as Mar steps back. It went terrible because I think I practiced too much, so I didn't let me do my exam, but I ended up submitting one, which I did. What do you mean it didn't let you do your exam? And you crushed your exam, Hog from Home. Yeah, you. I think you did a good job. Lunchtime now. Nice, nice. Four minutes on the clock. Clinching now is Doroshenko. Man, I don't like this by Doroshenko as his only path to victory here is a knockout. And he's getting pieced up on the feet. Oh, hockey, I'm sure you did good. I'm sure you prepared well. Nice left hand by Doroshenko. And I'm, I'm sure the, the interview, I'm sure the exam went great. 
Oh, so you got the job. So there, you got an A+. Plus. You got an A+. Plus. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Beautiful. Trip takedown by Maher, and he's got him right inside control. Look for the back take now. Looking for the back take and covering up his Doroshenko. Doroshenko knows he's done, ladies and gentlemen. Doroshenko knows he's done. Body lock secured by Meyer. Good pick, Shane. Good pick. Three minutes and 12 seconds on the clock. So practice last night, two and changed to a completely different job, but done the course on three more to go. Let's go. Yeah, good job, hockey. I know it's exam season for a lot of you guys in school. Wishing you best luck on all your exams. Still unable to get that lanky ass arm under the chin of Doroshenko. Doroshenko, great job of just pushing that sucker right off his face. Two minutes and 42 seconds on the clock. Back mount, Doroshenko turning, turning, body triangle still secured. Two minutes and 25 seconds. Looking for the choke again here. Still not under the chin. Man, I've never seen a guy attempt this many times with like perfect position and not being able and not able to get under the chin. Okay, I got to go be Saul Silver for a while to pay the bills while my kid's gone. Sounds good, buddy. Sounds good. Hey, thanks for everything, Denial. Can't wait to see you tonight for the BKFC and John Dotson and still, baby. See you later, buddy. Talk to you soon. Thanks. After school's over, playoffs and we work with the City Life song. As of Monday, ending 18 days of school. Hell yeah. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Trust me. Uh, once Once this month is over, you'll be hearing from me. I can't believe I've survived this month without it, with how stressed it's been, but that's adulting, my man. That's adulting. One minute and 22 seconds on the clock. You're the man in denial. Go make that money. One minute and 15 seconds. Still looking for that rear naked choke. And again, great pick here, Shane. Great pick. Little, little did I know, guys, Shane prepped for this card. Oh, finally, it's under the neck. Or finally under the chin. It's finally under the chin. Doesn't have a complete grip on it. Oh, he's gonna, he might go out. He's out. He's out. I saw it in his eyes. I saw it in his eyes. 49 seconds left in the third round, and it is all over. Oh, my goodness. He's convulsing. Oh, that's scary. Okay, it looks like, is he coming to now? Oh, that's scary, man. I just saw the light, like right there, right there. He went limp, man. This ref kept the, oh, that was like, that was a solid, like five seconds of him just laying there limp. And once this month is over, you'll get my package as well as Luke Alvison and I will hang out again. Let's go. Hey, main card, man. How many fights we got left? We have three more fights left. Three more fights left. Oh, actually, uh, four more fights left. No, no, three. Sorry, three. What am I saying? Three more fights left, yes. Dope. John Paul Appelan. You're from the Philippines. What's up, John? Welcome to the team. We have a few, uh, we have a few subscribers. We have a few uh, hardcore uh, fans of the channel who are from the Philippines, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. I don't think there was any Filipino guys on this card here today, but... Um... Who won? Bro. Dennis Maher won via rear naked choke with only 49 seconds left in the third round. Uh, Biruk. Again, Dennis Maher won. Sounds good, hockey. See you in a bit. Congratulations on uh, passing your exam. A rear naked choke. You know what's funny, Shane, is like this is in total Russian broadcast, yet the announcer in the cage announces the winner in English. Riddle me this. Riddle me that.
All right, fighter is being uh, interviewed here in the center of the cage. I don't know if I passed my teacher has to grade it. I'll let you know. But you, um, you said you got through it though. You got, you got an A plus. You got, you know, you know what? Denial gave you an A plus, which means your teacher's gonna give you an A plus. I got, good, I got a good feeling, Hawk from home. I got a good feeling. Oh man, he's so out of breath. He can barely do his interview right now. Oh man. <laughs> he's got a lot to say, but he doesn't have a lot of wind in the pipes. Who do I think is going to win this one? Um, I'll, let's let's go over it here in a second. You should also give you. I'm not good. I'm not as good as grading tests as denial. So I, I'd say denial's A plus is worth more than uh, than than mine. Is a fight interview more nerve wracking than a job interview? Is a job interview more nerve wracking than a fight interview? Just curious. I for me probably job interview, but I don't really get nervous talking to people. Um, but that's just me. Like I, I'm verbose. I talk all the time. I literally talk for a living, it feels like, these days, streaming. So, But there's more on the line with a job interview. An interview is just fun for me. I, and, I've, and I've been interviewing people for a long time. I used to like work in radio. You know, I did hockey broadcasts where I'd interview players and stuff in between uh, periods. So like, I've, I've been interviewing people since I've been doing media work. But anyways, let's talk about the next fight here. Let's talk about the next fight here. We have Ruslan Kol Kolodok Kolodoko. That's a fun name. Kolodko. Against Elias Silvero. Uh Ruslan, he is 15 and 9 as a pro. He is 4 and 1 in his last five fights on a two-fight win streak. He's 37 years of age and he is in front of his home crowd of Minsk, Belarus. Two KO TKO, two submission or seven submissions, six decisions. He's been knocked out twice, lost four via submission, lost three via decision. Two and zero in AACA, two and two in professional fighting championship, and two and one in AMC. Won his last five via split decision. The guy was seventeen and four before then. One unanimous decision to a ten and six guy. Uh, lost a split decision to Dmitry Bikrev, who is 13 and 3. So that's actually not a that that's not a bad loss there. Close fight. Um before then was on a two fight win streak. Don't like him losing to a one and guy when he was eleven and seventeen, but seems like if he does go on a little bit of a downward trajectory, he's able to put together some wins or at least a win in between those losses. Interesting resume. Not the best, not the worst. Recently has some good wins. Recently has been fighting some guys, you know, Wu Lin Fang, AMC, and ACA, who are, let's just call it for what it is, way better than some of these other guys that he's been fighting. Uh, he's a kickboxer by trade. And he's actually fought in the K1 Max back in 2007. That is amazing to see. His opponent. Out of Brazil, also 37 years of age. So shout out to the matchmakers here. 19, 10, and 1 as a pro. He is 2 and 3 in his last five fights. He did lose his last fight. 4 KO TKO, 2 submissions, 13, de 13 decisions. He's lost 7 decisions, lost 1 submission, only been knocked out twice. Four and six in ACA, and between 2013 and 2015, he fought in the UFC where he went three and two. Lost his last fight to a 15 and two guy via unanimous decision before then beat 11 and three and 14 and five. So he's actually still beating guys with good resumes, with good records. Split decision loss to a 10 and five guy, so a close fight there at ACA 139. Um, we're on a little bit of a losing streak here. Man, this guy's name is absolutely insane. Um, let's see who he's fought in the UFC. Anybody of note? Not really anybody of note, but he came out of Ring of Combat and Jungle Fight and went up against 13-5, and 14-3, and, and an 8-0 guy, respectively. Um, or losing to Rashid Magomedov, Shane Campbell, 
And then going back to the regional scene, only was picked up by ACA in 2019. Uh, I'm going with the Brazilian on this one. What's Grave, Grave Digger Jones rule? If you don't know much about the fighters, always go with the Brazilian. Both of them, good veterans. I do think the Brazilian has a little bit more of a balanced resume as far as his skill set. Like he can strike, but he also has very good jujitsu. And that is his bread and butter. Whereas you look at Ruslan, definitely has the MMA portions of his game, but has always been a better striker. I'm going with the more well rounded fighter in this one, but uh, I mean, Ruslan. Kolodko in front of his home crowd. I mean, it's going to be dangerous. It's going to be dangerous. So you don't get nervous talking to people on stream, but I get nervous for a job interview. I never had an interview. Yeah, I, I mean, never, I think it's like, it's human nature to get a little nervous for a job interview. Hawk from home. Shane's going head to head. Oh, Shane, you've done your research. I can tell. I can tell. Last night, Shane was taking notes, came in, was 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 playing a, oh, I don't know where to watch this. You should know where to watch it. You knew where to watch this, Shane. You knew where to watch this. Shane's been doing his research. How are the beer bets going so far? I mean, other than the Persian fighter, I don't feel like my picks have been doing that good. But Shane, all the, uh, I think everything tonight except for the main card of BKFC, we should be able to watch on Fight Pass together. Or, or free on YouTube. I know uh, LFA is going to be free on YouTube if I end up doing those prelims. And if not, if I do Shuto Brazil, uh, that will be on Fight Pass. See you later, Hog from Home. Thank you so much for joining. You two, one, one, two. Oh, really? Okay. Well, three more fights. Three more fights. Shane, I've just been jonesing for beer bets. This is one of the, that's one of the, the most fun parts of doing these streams is doing the beer bets with you. Oh, man. This almost 40-year-old Brazilian is freaking yoked, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to ACA. Shout out to ACA. Hope all the wedding planning is going great. My brother's friend's getting married next month too. Nice. Yeah, well, they're getting married in July, June. I should know this. Um, in the summer. Uh, bachelor party is in May, so that'll be a lot of fun. Going up north to a cabin. And uh, yeah, it's just going to get wild. Looking forward to that. Because, like, to be honest, I've only gone to tame... Even when I was younger, I've only gone to tame bachelor parties, like poker nights. Um, yeah, never never done really anything crazy. Like, the boys went to strip clubs on the weekends, not bachelor parties, back in, back in Calgary. Oh, what was the place called? It was owned by Vivid and was right across from Cowboys. I don't even remember if it's still open anymore, but... Um, but yeah, but this one's gonna get this one's gonna get crazy because those who planned it, I know, are just fucking wild. So it's gonna be a fun one. Men get a prenup. <laughs> well, what if the girl makes more? Because that would be my case. That would be my case. If if I ever get married, I'm gonna be the one living and mooching off uh, her dollars. There's no way I'm gonna be providing. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be watching fights. <laughs> That was probably why my ex uh, broke up with me. Cause she realized, oh, she saw my bank account and uh, West Coast and was like, uh, yeah, fuck yes. Fuck you and fuck this. <laughs> now, <laughs> a little tongue in cheek, but like, honestly, that was probably part of it. <laughs> that and I dropped out of school to start a media company that did well, but that I didn't end up getting, uh, getting the payout that I thought I was going to get at the end. But that was on me. That was on me. But yes. Um, if there's not a good balance, if one is, uh, bringing in more than the other, then that is always, that is always the smart move to go. I hope that if I ever get married, that, uh, that she doesn't off that, that she doesn't make me sign one. <laughs> uh, gosh, my brother's friends is getting married on April 27th. I believe. Are you part of the wedding party? Just curious. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh, I wasn't, but that wasn't like Kyle's fault. I, I didn't, me going to Kyle's wedding was like a last minute decision. I didn't know if I was going to be able to come until like two weeks prior. So, um, 
I, I, I hung out with the groomsmen and did all like the wedding party stuff. I just got to sit back and relax and not have any other duties. Uh, have you had a chance to try one of those plops by Drecker? I've actually had a few of them before, Anthony. Um, I, I should send you some links on Discord of uh, uh, Drecker Fest I went to. I've had one plop, but I like the brains a little bit more. Um, but you know what? I should go pick up some plops today. I do have to go run a quick errand after work, so um, I should go pick up a plop today. Hey, Gustavo, I got you, buddy. Gustavo, they're for free. So, Gustavo, you're a smart man. You're a smart man. You know I can't show them uh, live, right? You know I, sh I can't show them live. That's illegal, buddy. But here, you can watch them here for free, Gustavo. Yeah, and, and Birk, you can watch them free. I just sent it in the live chat, buddy. I just sent it in the live chat. The fight hasn't begun yet, by the way. The fighters are being announced in the cage. But uh, I will buy a four pack so I can do a, a review on them as well. Um, but yeah, I've I've had plenty of the brains. I like the brains a little bit more. The plops are a little bit more sour, so I've stayed away from them. But dude, it's so cool that like you know of Drecker. Like that that is so cool. I lost 150k and a thousand a month for another two. Years. Well, with all due respect, fuck that. Uh, fuck that chick who's taking your money, and I uh, two years that those two years can't come any quicker, man. Those two years can't come any quicker. I'm sorry to hear that, but yes, thank you for the advice. I will, I will always keep that in the back of my head if I do blow up with YouTube. Yes, Kyle. Kyle would likely be the best man to be honest, but let's be honest. I'm never getting married. It's never gonna happen. Just cast another 55 year. Let's go. <laughs> Gustavo. Oh, thank you. Elias is my coach. Hey, I picked him to win. The plops are good, but they can give me some gnarly hangovers. Yeah, just because they're so full of sugar. I feel like the older we get, alcohol mixed with sugar. Sugar's the silent killer, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Yeah, sugar... The, the sugar drinks are, are tough. And that's why all these, even when I go down the Imperial Stout r route, like it's, yeah, I got to prepare myself for a, a morning of Let's get a rough morning. See you later, Hog from Home. But yeah, Anthony, I, I love the suggestion. I will 100% pick up some plops for a beer review coming up. I filmed uh, reviews for the last two THC seltzers, and then I'm going to a brewery this Sunday. Um, so I'll be able to review some then. All right. Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Let's get back to the focus play-by-play. -play. And appreciate everybody in the live chat here. You all are amazing. Just feeling each other out right now. Faints by both these guys. Nice step back jab by Elias Silverio. Featured fight here, guys. We have two more after this. Four minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. Straight left by Kod Kolodko. Nice left by Silverio. Silverio. Nice high guard by Silverio as he blocked that right hand by Kolodko. Yeah, big shout out to everyone who's hanging out with us here today. I know West Coast has been hanging out with us. HM, Anthony, Hockey, Shane, Denial, Main Card, John. To name a few, Sis was here earlier as well. We got uh, Gustavo and Biruk here as well, hanging out with the hanging out with us. Smash that like button, guys! Smash that like button, subscribe. Really appreciate you guys. Three minutes and twenty seconds on the clock. Another nice left hand by Silverio. When I was seventeen, I used to drink Steel Reserve at like eight point one percent. Was nasty, but got drunk fast. Yeah, um, in northern British Columbia, in a town called Prince George, they have a local beer called TNT, and it was uh, it was the heaviest lager that I've ever drank, coming in at nine point one, and that was the same thing. It was like you just you get a four pack or a six pack of that, and you're cooking. We chilling, yeah. Big shout to Main Card Minute. Amazing, amazing live streams, guys. A really, really enjoyable all around experience, visually, and I mean the man does. The man's got a voice of uh, a voice of angels, and he does a tremendous job as well, doing a lot of prep before the fight. So big shout to Main Card Minute. Can't wait to see your channel grow too, buddy. Two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. But yeah, West Coast, when you said that, this reminds me of just TNT from Prince George. 
Oh, Prince George, British Columbia. Voice of Angels. It was so soothing at that hockey game when I was listening to it. I used to drink steel reserves in high school and actually enjoyed the flavor. Yeah, there's some high percentage beers that I really enjoy. Uh, TNT was not one of them. Shane, you remember TNT, don't you? Shane, Shane and I grew up in Prince George. Um, I didn't necessarily drink. I wasn't old enough. I, I left Prince George before I was drinking age, but uh, when I went back and visited, oh boy, the TNTs were flowing. Inside low kick by Silverio and ooh, that one's a little too high. He kicks his opponent in the balls. Again, guys, what did I say about these ACA referees? Doesn't matter if they're in their 30s or in their 70s like this guy. They all have gray hair. One minute and 42 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Savetio. Left and a right by Kolodko. Outside low kick by Silverio. Dude, Silverio's looking good, man. I don't remember TNT, but I used to drink Caribou, which is another PG brewed beer. Yeah, I like Caribou. I like Caribou. A nice takedown by Silverio, and he's already working for a submission here. Already working that arm for a submission. Maybe he's going to use these short right elbows to pass. He's in half guard right now. But on his side is Kolodko. Kolodko now back on his back. Short left elbows by Silverio. Kolodko scrambling from the bottom position, but Silverio, you can tell, man, this guy's strong. This guy's strong. 34 seconds on the clock. Posturing up in side control right now is Silverio, or in uh, modified half guard side control, Silverio. Laying some nice short left elbows. I'm to the body here, trying to soften up Kodoko. Oh, big right hand by Silverio. Bro, your coach is crushing it, Gustavo. Your coach is doing very well in this first round. Final seconds. Shane, you know, I think my first ever TNT was with Brandon, to be perfectly honest. And that is it for the first round. It was either with Brandon or Scott Smith. Oh, Shane, uh, by the way, Andrew, uh, Andrew Lowe, he's doing jujitsu now, eh? He actually competed in a competition over the weekend I saw on Instagram or on Facebook. So, Shane, yeah, Pacific Western Brewing in Prince George, they got the TNT. Oh, my God, I'm getting PTSD just looking at this shit. They've changed the can since, uh, since, since I used to drink it, Shane. I mean, it was like 10 years ago, but this, this was the TNT. Oh, I can't even share it on the links too big to share on YouTube. I was going to share it to you, but I'm semi embarrassed to say how much I enjoyed proper 12 and I'm definitely not a liquor guy. It, it wasn't for me, but I will say, Asterix, I'm not a big Irish whiskey guy. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather drink, like, really peaty scotch or on the total other end of it, Japanese whiskey or, like, rye. I do like, I don't dislike bourbon. It's never my first choice. Just, like, I don't dislike Irish whiskey, but it's never my first choice as far as the whiskey family. So I wasn't, like, the biggest fan of proper number 12, but, like, I need like really good Irish whiskey for me to be like, oh yeah, I will go and seek this out and buy it again. Um, but overall, as far as the liquors go, like I, I, the whiskey is my, that's my poison. All right, round three or uh, round two, ladies and gentlemen, round two. Let's get it on. I think even over beer. I mean, I love beer. Don't get me wrong, but um, but yeah, there's just the the world of whiskey is it's. It's tremendous. There's there's a lot to it. Just don't abuse it and drink responsibly. Four minutes on the clock. Bushmill soda on the rocks is the tits. Yes, indeed. And I used to only drink uh, whiskey on the rocks. So I'm start. I've been starting to uh, Japanese whiskey definitely on the rocks. Um, but as I dive into more rye, more bourbons, I I do prefer it neat. 
Lagavulin, I feel like you have to have uh, neat as well, but Lagavulin's not for everybody. Pedi, it's like it's like you're drinking the smell of campfire smoke. It's it's smoky as hell. By the way, shout out to HM still hanging out with us too. I forgot to mention you earlier. Three minutes and thirty five seconds on the clock. Straight left by Silverio. And uh, by the way, HM, very kind last weekend. Um, people don't forget. And uh, really appreciate you, buddy. Like I said, April April YouTube payment's going to be a nice one because of all you guys. Seriously, really appreciate it. Three minutes and 12 seconds on the clock. What's up, Tyler? Uh, Rusland lost the first round and, and honestly is getting pieced up on the, on the feet right now against Silverio. Severio looking really good. Severio was able to control him when he took him to the ground and landed some nice elbows, was able to posture up and modified half guard side control. And now with the second round at two minutes and 47 seconds on the clock, great low kicks by Silverio, mixing up with high kicks as well. And his jab is on point. Nice combo by Silverio. Blocked most of those, did Kolodko, but that final left got through. My tickets keep cashing like this. We can go for another round this weekend, dude. You're far too kind. I'm just happy that you're that you're here hanging out and watching fights with us, man. But uh, appreciate everything, HM. Honestly, two minutes and eighteen seconds on the clock. Damn, I bet him and can't watch. Tyler, I got you. I got you. It's free on the ACA website, my man. I don't know if you're at work and that's the reason why you can't watch, but if you have the ability and time, there's where you can find it. Um, the fight's far from over, though, buddy. Two minutes on the clock in the second round. Nice step in right uppercut by Silverio. Both these guys are a little bit older, so I'm interested. And, and Silverio is wearing, it just has a lot more muscle on him, so he could gas earlier. He does have good head movement, but he just took a straight right by Kolodko. Starting to breathe a little heavy, too, here, Silverio, but it's because he's pushing the pace on Kolodko right now. Yeah, no problem, Tyler. No problem, dude. Really appreciate you. If you haven't already, Smash that like button. Subscribe. We do these fight companions every single weekend. We got a full schedule for a ton of them this weekend as well. And we mix in a few throughout the week like we did the K1 World Max last week as well. Nine hours of it, baby. Nine hours. And it, it delivered. Arguably the best card of 2024 in combat sports so far. One minute and 14 seconds on the clock. Right and a left by Silverio. Hey, appreciate you, my brother. Appreciate you, man. Every every time ACA is on, we 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 definitely uh, try to give it some priority, but we mix in some one Friday fights as well. This week it was all ACA because I'm been slammed with a work project. I'm a freelance video and audio editor, and in fairness, the client needs the the uh, needs the product done uh, before the weekend, so that's what I was doing all morning. Forty three seconds on the clock, and Silverio's in the top position again. Ending in the top position looks good for him on the judges' scorecards. What I love about ACA: five judges in ACA all around the cage, which is nice to see, even though every now and then they do give the Russian bias. At least there's more of them. It is a start. Um, So this is what I say. UFC is the NFL, the NHL, the MLB of mixed martial arts, and I will never deny that. It is far from my favorite because they have the pussified rule set. Ryzen and KSW are my two favorites. Ryzen because it's a real fighting Right, stomps, soccer kicks, um, knees to grounded opponents, and KSW is just pure, pure savage. KSW has an average of an eighty-five percent finish rate on their cards. How, how can you not love roided up Polish and Czech fighters just throwing fucking hands, dude? So, entertainment wise, Ryzen and KSW not even close. I'm really, and I just, I'm just, a, I'm a sucker for regional shows. I cover so much, like but fuck nowhere random league just I, i'm a junkie when it comes to mixed martial arts um i like how one championship does the muay thai and kickboxing as well even though their mma has kind of been it's gone downhill in the last couple of years um so yeah so to answer your question and, and by the way in ksw starting to implement the superior rule set the ksw epic card they had a handful of mma fights with the valet tudo with the rise in rule sets which were awesome man we saw some soccer kick knockouts which are the most beautiful thing on the fucking planet. Someone getting fucking soccer kicked in the face. Oh, I'm getting pumped up just thinking about it. So, so yeah, 
Rise and KSW are my two favorites. But I mean, obviously the UFC is the NFL, the NHL, and the best fighters in the world do land in the UFC. And when the UFC put on really good cards, they are the best cards of the weekend. Let's get it on. Round three, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, yeah, Tyler, welcome, welcome. It's great to have you here. What about you? What's your favorite promotion? I mean, ACA is really good as well, but ACA high ceiling, low floor. ACA's cards either really deliver like today's or they're a snooze fest of Dagestani wrestlers. Four minutes and 23 seconds. And again, Silve uh, Silverio looking really good on the feet, but a nice right hand by Kolodko. Let's see how Kolodko... Kolodko looks like he's a little bit quicker still. Kolodko tried to set up a Superman punch there. Just ended up landing that straight left. Do you like one fighting? I like that other than UFC. Haven't seen other MMA. One one championship's really good. Their MMA product has gone downhill, though. Their kickboxing and Muay Thai, though, is incredible. Tyler, I don't know if you watch Friday Fights. It's free on YouTube. One Friday Fights. Their Muay Thai cards, unbelievable. There were eight finishes out of the 11 fights today, and some of them were stepping savage elbows. I mean, dude, these, these little Thai fighters go to war. And that's what I love about uh, one championship. So yeah, I'm, I'm a big one championship fan as well. And we try to stream every one card. I, I've been missing some of the Friday fights and I might miss a fight night coming up just because I'm going to LFA uh, on April 5th because that's uh, locally here. They're putting on a show. But yeah, I love the regional shows, man. I love the regional shows. I try to follow as much combat sports, kickboxing, MMA, Muay Thai, even, even some grappling as well. Uh, takedown there by Silverio. Honestly, I don't think Col Colotko did enough there to stuff it. It seemed like Silverio, he is getting tired. I mean, Colotko must be getting tired too, because that didn't seem like the hardest takedown uh, to stuff. He had his leg for a little bit there, but Silverio does get the takedown, and he's doing some work in the full guard of Colotko. Yeah, I stumbled across it a couple weeks ago. It's pretty good. Hell yeah. But Tyler, I highly recommend uh, KSW and Ryzen as well. Ryzen, though, depending on where you live in North America, it's tough to watch because it's, you know, it's obviously in Japan. So it starts at like midnight for us. Yo, speaking of my fellow Ryzen homie, Reaper Jones, good to see you. Thank you so much for re-upping your membership, my man. You're amazing. Anthony's UFC, Karate Combat, 1FC, BKFC, Bellator. I love it. I love it. Anthony's a real fight junkie just like us as well. And yeah, Karate Combat's are really growing on me. BKFC I love as well. BKFC should be up there on my uh, up higher on my list to be honest cuz it's straight savagery. And you see a lot of finishes as well. And I mean and Bellator between 2018 and rest in peace, even 2017 when Bellator was at its peak, it was really good, man. 1 minute and 48 seconds on the clock. Looking for the Potential arm triangle choke. He needs to pass the side control, though. He needs to pass the side control. Trying to set up an arm triangle choke is Silverio. One minute and 36 seconds on the clock. Keeping that half guard locked is Kolodko. Looking for mount now. Okay, if Silverio moves... Oh, he might just have this in mount. No, the arm... The Good job by Kolodko. Keeping his hands locked, but now he... Bannons the arm triangle choke and gets the full match. Sorry about that, guys. We froze again. We've been suffering a few uh, connection issues. Looking for the back now, and he gets it. So, again, sorry about freezing there. Sorry about some of the connection issues we've had. Throughout the stream, it's been a constant battle. Nothing I can do on my end. It's my service provider has been uh, shit in the bed in my area today. I was just looking at some of the reports. So my apologies about that. And sorry if you missed any of my spiel there. 30 seconds on the clock. And again, full mount to back take here for Silverio. Doesn't have the body triangle yet, but he does have double hooks. Yeah, it's always great to see you, dude. Uh, happy Good Friday. You have... Any plan? Uh, do you have any big plans this weekend? Who walked out to Young Thug? Really sorry about this. 
we've been we've been a good stretch the last hour or so. I'm not sure. Before you could get the clock turns zero, and that is it for this fight, ladies and gentlemen. Again, sorry about the end of this round and how everything just kind of tripped out there. Again, I always dot my I's, cross my T's, run tests before stream. Everything checked out. And then as soon as we started streaming, my internet was all... Uh, we started bugging out. So my apologies, guys. We're going to keep riding. We got two more fights left on this one. I'm not sure who walked out to Young Thug. I have usually the volume pretty low because I don't want any of the audio coming through at all. You know, don't want any copyright issues. Don't want to show any of the fights or anything like that. But uh, yeah, anyways, I don't know if you heard me, but it's always great to see you. What, uh, what, do you got any big plans this weekend, uh, Reaper Jones? You got any big plans this weekend for Easter? And again, I love, uh, I love how Anthony, I, I love all the picks here, but I love how you go against the grain of like the average fan. That's how I know Anthony. I mean, he's a junkie just like all of us in regards to being a fight fan. I think Severio won. I think so too. I think so too. I think he won all three rounds. All right, we're listening in for the official decision. Yeah, I mean, just look at the face also of uh, Kolodko. 30-27. All judges' scorecards. It's going to be Silverio. Yeah. Silverio wins. <laughs> and then, uh, I'm sorry, Tyler, that you didn't win money on that one. I always feel bad. I don't mean to dance on anyone's grave here. You'll get the next one, Tyler. You'll get the next all right guys we're bugging out hard here so i'm just gonna do a quick little reset on my end it's the only, it's the only thing i can really do i don't think it's gonna help too much just because it's this is a problem with my service provider it's not a problem with my device or my and anything on my end so uh, give me one sec. I will be right back to tee up this next fight on the other side. And again, my deepest apologies, guys. I set the bar very high here on quality, your guys' experience. And I understand that this one's been tough to follow along with. So trust me, I'm just as annoyed. I'm just as annoyed. Uh, back on the other side. Do not go anywhere. Literally a quick two-minute break. Go drain the main vein. Go grab another coffee. Whatever you're doing to sit back or whatever you're sipping on to sit back while you're sipping. While you're sitting back and relaxing, watching this car, look at that. My internet's bumble fucking and I'm bumble fucking my words here. I'm going to do a quick reset right back on the other side. Two minutes to highlight the ultimate fighter, former ultimate fighter competitor up against a big American, Tony Johnson Jr., the Hulk here on the other side. Smash that like button, subscribe. I promise our connection is usually pretty damn good. We're not usually this buggy. I'm going to try to do one last thing here to fix it. But again, it's, it's, it's a provider issue. It's a provider issue, but uh quick break back on the other side, literally two minutes. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Let's go.
We are back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel, ACA 173. And I really appreciate everybody riding shotgun here throughout this uh, this up and down stream. The fights have delivered. Hopefully you guys have been entertained. Hopefully you guys are uh, enjoying the coverage here and the live chat, despite some of the connection issues that we've been having. Hopefully we'll solve all the issues before tonight's stream. Anyways, tonight's stream is the... Uh, in the past year, Bellator dropped and Karate Combat has skyrocketed. Love everything that organization organization is doing. Yes, me too. Me too. Uh, thanks, brother. You won me this match. Hey, thank you for joining. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Appreciate you, my man. Mostly I'm playing catch up on Final Fantasy, catch up on baseball, hockey, and MMA. By the way, Gravedigger Jones, Shane's been trying to talk to you about Final Fantasy for, for a little while now. So uh, entertain his questions. I feel like you and Shane are the big Final Fantasy uh, guys in the live chat here. Uh, it's actually solved right now. Knock on wood. Hopefully it stays that way. I have to go head to head for your last two to go for a tie. All right. So we have Carlos Felipe, 12 and three as a pro. He is two and two in his last four fights. Um, he's a big boy. Six KO TKO, zero submissions, six decisions, uh, three and two in the UFC, one and one in ACA. He actually fought in bare knuckle. As well, he got a split decision win in ACA. He's also lost one in ACA. Uh, fought a couple times in a UFC fight night, UFC ABC one. And if I'm not mistaken, he fought on the Ultimate Fighter two. Oh no, that must. There was another guy who like kind of looked like him. But anyways, has had some UFC experience. Has had some UFC experience going up against Tony Johnson Jr. I got him mixed up with that uh, that big boy on the heavyweight season of the Ultimate Fighter, the Pena and um, Nunes one. Horrendous season, but anyways. Um, but yes, big boy from the UFC, bare knucks, and now in ACA going up against Tony Johnson Jr. The Hulk, seventeen and eight as a pro. He is one and three in his last four fights. Um, oh, nine years the elder of that of boy Carlos Felipe. Uh, eight or ten KO TKOs, one submission, six decisions, five, four, and one in ACA, three and one in in Bellator, and one and one in one championship. Beat uh, Small Darev, who fought earlier on this card uh, in the first round, the beautiful overhand. Right, other than that, he's lost his last three ACA bouts. He did go on a three fight win streak in ACA upon entering. Or just, I shouldn't say upon entering the promotion, but while he, he's been in ACA for a while now, geez, since 2018, he also has fought in BKB, so not BKC, but the, the UK promotion of Bear Nux, fought Czech Congo and Bellator. I remember this fight, actually. Fought Volkov and Bellator. Um, I'm going to go with Felipe, Shane. I'm going with Boy for this one. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Four minutes and 41 seconds. I doubt this is going to the ground, guys. I doubt this is going to the ground. And they're just swinging and banging. And Johnson lands a big left on Felipe. Felipe. 
Hey, oh, I got you, Patty. I just did. I just did a big analysis there, or not a big, but a short analysis there. I got Felipe simply because I think he'll be a little bit quicker. Johnson, though, he does still hit harder. And Felipe landed a nice left on Johnson. Johnson's looking for the takedown, which I did not expect him to do. Felipe, so far, decent takedown defense. As Johnson attacks that left single leg, Johnson switches to the double leg, takes him down, but not cleanly. Now he's trying to pull those two legs back from under him. And Felipe asks to the mat back to the cage. Felipe looking to try to get back up to his feet, but eats some big shots by Johnson. He does get back up to his feet. And what's up, Patty? It's good to see you, buddy. Shane beat N Walker for Final Fantasy 14. I've been playing Rebirth lately. By the way, Patty, good to see you, man. Thank you so much for stopping by. They separate three minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Big left by Johnson. Oh, big right to the belly by Felipe. And Johnson answers the big left hand. He's got nice tits. He's got nice tits. It's a phrase I didn't think I'd say today. Kick ass McGrath, but here we are. Here we are. <laughs> and by the way, big shout out to Kick Ass McGrath, big supporter of the channel as well. Dropping in uh, most, if not all, the streams. So thank you, sir. Nice left and a right by Felipe. Like I said, Felipe's faster, Johnson, more power. Let's see how it ends. Call him how I see him. Attaboy, attaboy. Right hand by Johnson. Felipe. Good head movement. Johnson as well. Straight left by Johnson. Don't like how he keeps his hands low, though. Swing and a miss by Felipe. Johnson, beautiful slam takedown by Johnson. But Felipe looking to try to get back up to his feet. Johnson with the left hook. Johnson with the back control right now. Felipe kind of in an awkward position here. Can't really push off the mat to try to get back up to his feet. Johnson's trying to flatten him out. Two minutes and 13 seconds on the clock. Great takedown by Johnson, but let's see how these boys cardio lasts. Trying to flatten out Felipe here. Felipe, I mean, he is Brazilian, man. I don't know if you guys know this. Heavyweight or no heavyweight, every Brazilian is literally born in a gi. They come out of the womb in a gi and about two stripes at least on their white belt. So he's got a little bit of jujitsu and he rolled out of that one and got back up to his feet and they break. Good job by Felipe. Nice right uppercut by Felipe. Step back left by Johnson. Johnson though, back up against the cage here. Now Felipe with some feints. Oh, Felipe eats that left hand again by Johnson. One minute and 28 seconds on the clock. Oh, counter left hook by Felipe, man. Felipe's throwing a lot into these, and Johnson with a giga chad chin here. My goodness. Eating some big shots. Left hook by Johnson. I'm just interested to see how Johnson fares later in these rounds as Felipe, for a big boy, is actually like looks looks in the best shape I've seen Felipe in a long time. And he'll shout out to ACA for probably helping him out in that sense. <laughs> Yeah, I posted it on uh, the community tab. I posted it on the community tab. Ooh, big right hand by Felipe. So tonight we're either doing Chuto Brazil or the LFA prelims, and then whenever BKFC starts, we're just going to do BKFC main card. Knee to the body by Felipe, or by Johnson. And then tomorrow when I get back from the wedding stuff, um, then I'll either do the rest of UFC or Pancrase. I got to find a stream for Pancrase, but it was hard. For, like I bought the pay-per-view last time. I still couldn't watch it. There was something that messed up, but uh, hoping to do some Pancrase this weekend. 15 seconds on the clock, and man, both these big boys have eaten some massive shots. Knee to the body by Felipe. Another knee by Felipe. They break Felipe, try to land a right elbow. And that is it for the first round. Man, what a tremendous... Can we can we please start seeing some actual good fucking heavyweight fights in the UFC? I mean, we get so spoiled in ACA with the big boys, I swear. Same with KSW. We get spoiled with the heavyweights in KSW. So my thing, I think, I think uh, Tony Johnson won that first round. He ate some huge shots by Felipe, but he also dished some nice hooks. He got... 
takedowns. He got some control time. Though Felipe was able to get back up to his feet. Johnson employed more mixed martial arts, so he scored more points. And though he ate some big shots, he also dished out some big shots. So I think the striking a little bit more in Felipe's favor because he's landing more and he's quicker, but Johnson's taking them and landing some big shots of his own, right? Especially those step back lefts. So I got Johnson winning the first round, you know, mixed in some takedowns as well. Hey, what's up to your clips, dude? The card has been actually really, really good. There's only been two kind of meh fights. The rest have all been finishes and, and really fun fights. Pop left jab by Johnson. Great to see you, TR Clips. How's uh, how's your good Friday going? Good day, good Friday. Four minutes and 41 seconds on the clock. Felipe swinging with those hooks. Felipe with the straight and walks into that left jab again by Johnson. And it looks like Felipe is breathing a little bit uh, heavier. But guys, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Felipe, he's in the best shape that I've seen him ever. Like, he was definitely more of the, the Johnson-style heavyweight body uh, in his UFC fights. It, it just depends when, uh, when it all starts. Uh, I might do the LFA prelims, or I'll do Chuto Brazil. But regardless, I'm starting the main card of BKFC when BKFC main card starts. So I'm either doing LFA prelims or, uh, or Chuto Brazil. I haven't decided yet. I, I have to get some work done and, and run a couple errands. So once I'm home, whatever one is whatever one is on, whatever one uh, I'm more interested in, we'll, we'll do. Beautiful takedown again by Johnson. He gets full mount and he's trapped the right arm or he's trapped the left arm of Felipe. Felipe's grabbing the cage. You're dead to me, Felipe. You're dead to me. Nice right elbow by Johnson. Keaton, cage grabber. We'll see. I, I have a commitment, unfortunately. So we'll see. I, I might be home in time to do the rest of it, but I'm part of a wedding party and there's some something going on this weekend. So right hand by Felipe. Yeah. Three minutes on the clock. Back mount here by Johnson. Unfortunately, real life getting in the way of things. I hate it. I hate it. I just, I like being a loser. I like just chilling by myself in the basement, watching uh, fights and hanging out with you guys. And I'd rather just do that rather than do anything and uh, hang out with people. But it is what it is. I am honored to be part of the wedding party. So two minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. And they separate back up to their feet. They meet center of the cage. And it looks like Felipe is gassing a little bit more. I mean, I, I can't really see Johnson huffing and puffing here. He's still employing his game plan well. Johnson looking for the takedown. Felipe stuffs it. Okay, that's the first one that Felipe stuffed in open water. And when I say open water, I mean like not up against the, the cage or anything like that. Two minutes on the clock. Oh, there's that left hook by Felipe. But yeah, and I made a note in the schedule to HM that like the, these next two weeks, and I think on Discord, well, these, these next two weeks, it's going to be a lot of the fight schedules are going to be a moving target just because I do have some other commitments. Like next week, I will, I will be at LFA, so I can't do LFA or one championship, unfortunately, with two Canadians on that card too. Um, it's my birthday on Saturday and I'm going to a hockey game. So I got like, I'll probably be in time to cover most of the UFC event, but like, you know, early Saturday on Fort, like fuck a birthday, bro. I hate it. Friends wanted me to be social. I hate it. One minute, 15 seconds on the clock. Straight left by Johnson. But yeah. Just know that I just I want to be just streaming. I don't want to do anything else. And another takedown by Johnson. Felipe gets right back up to his feet. Uh, oh, yeah. And watching March Madness. Yes, uh, round of 16 started yesterday. Yeah, the wild game on uh, on Saturday. Not this Saturday, but the next one. So I can't complain. They, they got me tickets to the wild game. And I'm not really complaining. It's just, you know, I get FOMO. I get FOMO. It hurts the channel. You guys get upset with me and I have FOMO. So now all three of those are negatives I don't want in my life. 
32 seconds on the clock. Felipe clinching Johnson here. Wait, what's going on? Time out for what? Did he get hit in, the, hit in the balls? I don't think he did. I didn't see it. Felipe getting the crowd going, though. I love it. I love it. They need to have divorce parties. Freedom! Hell yeah, dude. Okay, he did get knee in the balls. He did get knee in the balls. It just his reaction wasn't uh, wasn't right away. Uh, not yet, not yet. Sorry, uh, not yet. But he's looking good. He's looking good. Ooh, a nice knee attempt there by Felipe, but a good high guard by Johnson. I do think Johnson won the first and second round. We're going into the third round next, buddy. We're going into the third round next. I want to say that a friend of mine did have a breakup party up where he got rid of got rid of the negative ball and chain, got her name off his bank account, and then we all went for beers. I'm pretty sure that was the case. I don't know if they were married though. They might have just been like, you know, together for a while. But what was his name again? It wasn't like a close friend. It was a, someone I knew in Calgary. The good old days, partying in Calgary, where you could drink at 18 years old. That was a wild three years. Living in Cowtown. But I love Calgary. Definitely one of the most underrated cities in Canada. Everyone talks about Montreal, Vancouver, Toronto. Bro, Calgary's where it's fucking at, baby. Fucking drunken cowboys for days. Uh, that's a movie old school. That's true. That is the that is the the narrative in the movie. It's next week, Patty, but thank you, thank you. Round two. Let's get I got I got one I got one more uh one more week of being 30 before I slapped the one on there. Ugh. Four minutes and forty seven seconds on the clock. I think I'll always I'll always act like a twenty five year old though. It's like twenty five year old Nisha just like stop maturing. <laughs> so I sleep less than I did in college, goddammit. Four minutes and 34 seconds on the clock and already Johnson looking for that takedown. But hey, Patty, really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Four minutes and 24 seconds. Nice right elbow by Johnson. Right to the body, right to the side of the head. Join the three ones, brother. <laughs> What's what's the three ones? Oh, oh, the the 31, 31. Duh. It's a, it's an exclusive group I hear. It's an exclusive group I hear. Three minutes and fifty seconds on the clock. Felipe landing a nice right uppercut, but nice high guard by Johnson. All right, Johnson's starting to slow down now. But Felipe is hitting with everything he had, and Johnson just will not go down. Three minutes and 35 seconds. They meet at the center of the cage. Johnson with the left jab. Yeah, Johnson definitely looks tired now. It's been real. I'm leaving the uh, illustrious club this summer. Well, hey, we'll have a little bit of overlap. We'll be hanging out at the clubhouse at least for a few months. At least for a few months. Time flies, man. Time flies. Three minutes on the clock. But uh, I love this thing we call life. So no complaints at the end of the day. No complaints at the end of the day. It is but a number. It is but a number. It's all downhill now. I heard that about 25, right? Once your brain is done developing. My knees are, are starting to hurt. I, I will say that. My back, not as much, which I thought like... You know, my dad has a bad back, so I was like, uh-oh. That's not good. Maybe I'll get maybe I'll get his freaking his back issues, but no, I just gotta I just gotta get better shoes if I'm gonna continue to try to be active and <laughs> like I was when I was younger, but uh I don't have any gray hairs yet, but maybe next week I'll find the first one. Two minutes and twelve seconds long ago. That's one thing. My dad didn't go gray until his mid fifties, so 
I'm losing my hair quicker than him, but uh, hopefully I, hopefully I get that. Hopefully I keep that jet black for, for at least another ten years. Young Shelby forty four in August. You also some oh so you're also summer, summer birthday like H M. But yes, I'm I'm still I'm still young. I'm still young. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to be forever young. Even even once I hit 44, I'll probably still act like a 25 year old. <laughs> I'll still be streaming. I'll still be watching fights. I'll still be hooting and hollering. <laughs> One minute and 31 seconds on the clock. Fifteen minutes. I cash a 1.95 ticket for 195 euro. Let's go. Fight's still going on, buddy. Fight's still going on. You'll be 30-something in August. Look at all of us. Most of us in the 30 club. But a lot of us summer summer uh, born uh, guys here in the live chat. HM, Anthony, and and, uh, and West Coast. Shout out to you guys. I'm that, I'm that spring, baby. I'm older than I can count. <laughs> Amen. 45 seconds left on the clock here, guys. And I think Tony Johnson's going to get it. Now, Felipe looked good. Do not get me wrong. Felipe looked better than I remember him in the UFC. But uh, Johnson, man, 38 years of age, still, still got it. Got a hell of a chin and was able to employ some beautiful, beautiful takedowns as well. Early 90s, fam. What's good? Yeah, 93. Which uh, which which was an awesome generation because we got to see, we got to see a lot of a lot of changes in the world in real time. And, and I'm not talking like I mean every generation see changes. We got to see like massive steps up in in science. The internet developed. Like I remember no internet, dial up, fucking, and just like the whole right the whole progression. So it's uh, it, I am I am blessed to be uh be this generation i couldn't imagine growing up now straight up living science fiction that's terrifying 88 baby nice nice uh we're waiting the official announcement we're waiting the official announcement the end of the yeah watching nine. i remember that dude i remember i my dad didn't take me to school that day now i was pretty young but i remember i remember everything I didn't fully understand it, but three years later, I went to Ground Zero in New York. I went there. I was in a music group. Um, open for Yo-Yo Ma and Carnegie Hall. Not a big deal. Uh, not me. I was in, a, like I said, a group. Um, but uh, when we went on that trip, I went to like Ground Zero and everything. And that's when it like really hit me. And I started, I think I was about 11 or 12 when I went to New York. I think I was 11 when I went to New York. And that, yeah, that shit really hit me. I forget, maybe 10. But that's when it, it all like... I felt it, the the magnitude of it all. Thank God I wasn't I wasn't a tablet baby, right? Dude, yeah. It's it's weird, man. And again, uh brother, we're still awaiting the official decision, but I think Tony's gonna win. I think Tony's gonna win. Uh, what are you saying about my yo yo mama? <laughs> Yeah, that's one of the one of the coolest moments in my life because I'm I'm a big music guy. Before I got into calling sports and doing media work in sports, like music was my thing. I I wanted to be a rock star, man. That was my goal in life, but realized uh, that that wasn't gonna happen. What's up, Tommy? Good to see you, buddy. Thank you so much for stopping by. All right, we're listening in for the official decision. Again, great work by Carlos Felipe. He had a really good fight, but Tony Johnson, man, that old man strength, a little too much. All right, still listening in for the official decision. And I, and I cannot believe the amount of shots that Tony Johnson took in the first and second round. Those big swinging hooks, and he just ate them, bro. And looked a lot bigger than Felipe as well. Felipe, like I said, he, this is the best shape I've seen Carlos Felipe in as a heavyweight. All right. Official decision coming up. 
We'll let our, our Russian friend know here in a sec. Oh, it's going to be a split decision. No way. 29-28, Johnson, 29-28, Felipe. I'm literally listening in, guys. The fifth judge had it 30-27. That's the tiebreaker, of course. Felipe wins. Okay, honestly, I think that that because there's five judges in ACA, two judges had it for Tony Johnson, 29, 28. Two judges had it for Carlos Felipe, 29, 28. And the fifth judge had it 30, 27, Tyler or Tony Johnson, which is who I think actually won the fight. And I think that's the proper score. Give me Carlos. Ah, I'm sorry, dude. Johnson won. Johnson won. I do think. Felipe had a great performance. I, I really do. And Johnson said he's tough. He's a tough guy to finish. He said, for next, I don't care who I get. I just want him um, back in the gym and line him up. Wow. Now he's still got it, man. He's still got it. Mixed, it up, mixed up the wrestling and the punches. Beautifully. Um, but yeah, Carlos Felipe, he'll come back. He's only 12 and four now. He'll come back. Like it looked like I said, it looked like he started to take his, even as a heavyweight, it looks like he's yeah. Close fight. I do think just Johnson edged out every round, but he's good fight, man. Like that's what I'm saying. Why, why can't we see these type of fights in heavyweight in the UFC? God damn it. There would keep you young. That is true. That one. That's what I'm saying. I was like, of course, Carlos Felipe looks uh, the most ripped in ACA. I'm sure if he was in KSW, he'd have a similar frame. Some, by the way, some steroids keep you young. Some, some will age you once you once your body can't can't handle them. But uh, them them EPO man, which again, I, I mean, back in the the pride days of anabolics, that shit was wild. But uh, I mean, I, I I don't I don't care about EPO. If you wanna. Come back from injury injuries quickly if you want some a little extra, a little extra boost, a little extra pumping of red blood cells in there. If, hey, if it's a level, if it's an even a level playing field as far as everyone's uh being allowed to use them, I say go full KSW, baby. Go full KSW. We need them 85% win win rates. <laughs> oh man, we need exciting fights that aren't gonna slow down. But, anyways, let's get to the main event. Of the evening next. And a big shout out to everyone who's stuck around with us throughout this whole stream. Shout out to everyone who's just joining us now for the last fight here. We will be back later today, and it's a little bit of a moving target. And I tried to make that kind of clear on the, the schedule. It's just, it's a fucking busy weekend for me guys in the real world. So uh, we're definitely going to keep streams going. We're definitely going to stream. Um, it's just, uh, yes, like I, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do LFA or Shuto Brazil yet. I mean, I, I might not be able to do either, but I'm, you know, really hoping if everything goes smooth, we'll be able to do one of those and then lead right into BKFC uh, tomorrow. I'm going to get up really, really early and try to do JCK. If I can find a stream for it, cause unfortunately it's not on fight pass anymore. Um, and then, uh, yeah. And then there was something else tomorrow before this wedding thing. And then when I come back from the, the wedding thing, I'm, if UFC still on, we'll do UFC. If it's not, we'll do Pancras. And then Sunday we'll do some boxing. Uh, test growth hormone EPO keep you young bodybuilder drugs age you yep I'm mostly this in baseball right now yeah MLB opening week as well that's why I got to, I mean I'm I wish I had an Ishiro Suzuki bobblehead because he's the only really baseball player that uh that I liked as a kid growing up but uh, my my grandfather was a huge Mariners fan so I found the the Macklemore Mariners bobblehead super cheap on on marketplace it was like five bucks so. Gramps doesn't even know who Malcolm Moore is, but it's, there's some sort of Mariners, uh, some sort of Mariners um, tribute here. 
Who do I think is going to win the next match? Yeah, we'll we'll highlight it here in a sec, buddy. And again, thank you so much for for joining us, man. You're uh you're an awesome addition to our live chat here. Really appreciate you. And again, a, a final apologies, guys. I know we've been having some connection issues here today. It's it's trust me, it's been a struggle for me as well to to manage it on the back end. But uh, there's nothing I can do. It's my provider. They've been having some outages in my region, and it just is what it is. But um, We'll try to address them. I'm already I'm already sent an email. I've already made a phone call. Hopefully, we can address those so that the rest of the weekend we will be good. You just give me your thoughts more. I've got a 13 leg on UFC, bro. You're in my prayers. You're in my thoughts, and I'm sending all the positive vibes. That's me sending you the vibes. <laughs> Atlanta Braves are right now facing my rivals. Fuck the Phillies. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. Fuck most of Philadelphia sports. <laughs> fuck the Flyers, bro. I love I love John Totorella, but fuck the Flyers, dude. All right. My roommate might kick me out of the place, um, out of the house if he hears that. He's a big Flyers guy. Uh, anyways, main event of the evening. Whoops, why does it say round one? Main event of the evening coming up next year, ladies and gentlemen. Shane, you need this one to tie. You got the last one. You got the last one. Uh, bros, eating my hamburger and both of my top. Wait, both of the top. Both of the top of my teeth. What the fuck? You forgot about MMA. Just, wait, bro, I was eating my hamburger and both the top of. Oh, I'm burnt. Burnt the top of your tooth? What the fuck? Or cracked the top of your tooth? What happened to your tooth? Fucking clean forgot about MMA until just now. Well, I hope your teeth are okay, buddy. Fuck the Eagles, too. Um, Yes. NFL. Yeah, their fans are crazy, bro. I thought Vancouver Canucks fans were nuts because they burnt their city to the ground twice, losing the Stanley Cup. But uh, Eagles fans, they'll burn their city down when they win a Super Bowl. <laughs> crazy. All right, we got Vladislav Yankovsky up against Artem Frolov. Vladislav Yandakovsky. Uh... Two and two in his last four fights. He did win his last fight. He is one of the hometown guys out of Belarus. I'll get back to you guys' comments here in a sec. Three KO, two KO, five submission, two decision. He's four and two in ACA. Four and oh in new fighting generation. Uh, he was 17 and six guy in his last fight. Knocked him out in the second round. Before then was on a two fight losing streak where he lost in the first round and third round. Submission and TKO before then was on a hell of a streak, ladies and gentlemen, going two, four, six, eight, nine fights against pretty good competition as well. A nine and three guy. I spoke too soon against OK competition upon entering ACA. Don't like how you went up against a three and one guy when you're six and oh, but went up against a guy with experience nine and six when you're seven and oh, and then nine and three when he's eight and oh, respectively. Um, stayed in that lane and lost two fights, but got a good win second round against Vlasenko. Looking at his opponent, this is a non-title fight, by the way, guys, non-title fight. Uh, looking at his opponent, Artem Frolov, 18-6 and six as a pro, 2-2 two and two in his last four fights on a two-fight win streak. 32 years of age, he is nine, or he does have nine KOTKOs, six submissions, three decisions. Only been knocked out once, never been submitted. Uh, all five of his, or five out of his six losses have come via decision. He has six and five in ACA, eight and one in the former mighty M1, as it's far from mighty these days. But man, back in the day, M1 was where it's at for Russian MMA. He beat Gadzu Murad Hiramagomedov. What a name. Via Rene get choked in the second round in his last fight. He was a 13 and 5 guy. Beat um, a different Clever Souza. 23 and 15. Lost to Shamil. I mean, no shame in that. Gasanov, no shame in that. So his last two losses have been to really, really good opponents. And they were both via decision. B24 and 8 guy. I mean, literally, he's only losing to really, really solid opponents. Bruno Silva when he was in M1. Ismailov, who's 14 and 2. Gasanov, who's 14 and 2. 
Abdul Rakim Dizanev, who was 14 and two. I mean, 14 and two guys. He should just never take a fight with ever. Cause I feel like that's freaking, uh, freaking Kurt. Overall, he has a, a very good resume and has beaten a lot of great competition. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Russian here to upset the Belarusian fans. As this is in Minx, this is in Belarus. Sorry for freezing there for a sec, guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Artem Frolov here. Locking it in. All right, let's get back to the live. Again, sorry, sorry about it. The connection issues, guys. There's, there's nothing I can do. I've done everything on my end. It is a it is a service provider issue at this point. Um, so then my parlay lost. Yeah, one of them won, and I was so stoked. I was saying, "Let's go, GCN." One of your picks uh, won, but yeah, sorry to hear that, buddy. Uh, the Raptors play my least favorite team on Sunday, the 76ers. I don't know what corrected that to. I meant I chipped the bottom of my tooth completely off. Fuck, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I hate. I've chipped a couple teeth. Luckily, they're back here, so makes makes it hard to chomp down on things. But uh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. I used to be a hardcore football fan, but the politics of team sports turned me off. And now here I am, a degenerate combat sport, ha- combat sport hardcore, except boxing. Hey, fair enough, dude. Fair enough, and I and I totally understand that. I mean, if hockey wasn't religion for Canadians, I mean, there's there's a lot of politics within the, the National Hockey League as well. But that's why I love junior hockey. Because there's not a lot of politics with junior hockey. I just live bet the Atlanta Braves plus 130 to make up for the unit I lost earlier. All right. Well, I'm wishing you all the best. Go Atlanta, baby. Go Atlanta. I'm ready for some LFA so I can sweat some bet. Uh oh, we probably froze again because nothing's working. On my stream. <laughs> this sucks. Literally, as soon as I made that bet, they had they had up in HR. This is gonna be a rough weekend of betting. You got this, buddy. You got this. I got Yankowski for the tie. Yo, yo, Isha, what's up, Roman the Faster? What's up, Roman the Faster? Good to see you. Fucking hell, the Braves are zero two. They'll come back. They'll come back. They'll come back, buddy. Uh, keep up the good work, man. Thanks, dude. Like I said, Patty, usually we don't have these goddamn connection issues. Usually we're pretty good or we're like we'll freeze once throughout the stream. But yeah, today has been bad. And, and obviously I can't like unplug my modem mid uh, mid stream. And again, the, uh, the, I've done everything on my end to dot my I's, cross my T's. It's it, it's a service provider issue. I was looking at... Uh, I was looking at their coverage and everything, and my whole area is getting hit hard right now. So, so again, my apologies for that, but I really appreciate that you guys are still hanging out with us here. Um, we did highlight the fighters. I gave my pick. Give me your pick in the live chat. And don't forget to vote in the poll question as well. We cashed that 195. Let's go. <laughs> Love to hear it, man. I also say keep up the good work. Yeah, man. Thank you guys. Really appreciate it. And I mean, without you guys, there is no channel. Without you guys, there is no th- there are no live streams. You guys make this so much fun and I appreciate every single one of you. That that's why I started streaming is I watched so much mixed martial arts and combat sports by myself cuz none of my friends really are uh e- even in Canada other than Shane who we watch combat sports together live. Not not many of my friends are into combat sports or MMA. So I started streaming so I could meet and build a community of fight fans to kind of create the vibe of if we're out at a pub or, or out at, you know, hanging on the couch of one of the boys house, all watching, uh, watching the fights that that's the vibe that I try to create here. And, uh, so far, so good. So far, so good. It's crazy. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, man. It's unbelievable. We might even hit nine this weekend. All right. Round one is coming up. Here, ladies and gentlemen, again, vote in the poll question if you haven't already. Poll question was simply, what's the best fight card this weekend? If if your pick for the best fight card this weekend isn't listed, don't forget to write it in, comment in the live chat. All right, fighters are being announced in the center of the ring.
Main event of the evening. No title on the line. Um, and this is only a three-round fight. We've only had one fight fizzle out. Uh, Vladislav Mischevich against Odebeck Tokirov was the only fight that was canceled uh, on this card live. So 10 fights instead of 11 here today. I've got 150 down on the current Counter-Strike game for a possible 405. Dude, I'm just like, are you actually like into Counter-Strike? I mean, you must be since you bet on it. But that's cool. Like, I'm totally down to nerd out about Counter Strike whenever I can. Like, I I haven't, like I said I, earlier in the stream, I haven't followed it as much as I did when I was in college. Hell, I haven't even played CS2 yet because I haven't had enough time. But uh, I, I I'm hoping that there's a stretch in my life in the next like year or two where I can just like take a week off of everything, everything in life, and just like play Counter Strike. But maybe maybe just three days, not a whole week, so I can still stream on the weekend. Hey, you're the best, Roman. Thank you, buddy. But yeah, always down. Like uh, like I said, I played GTA for self-care when I was helping to build a media company. I, I love the old school Mario games and like Game Boy games. Like I, I can always get sucked into those. But Counter-Strike to me is the greatest game ever, ever made. Ever made. I've got a current bit and a butterfly. And my AK-47 cost a band. Nice, dude. Yeah, I got, I got like... 300 bucks i think worth of skins in counter strike but again i haven't played i haven't played since cs2 dropped so like do they carry over to cs2 from go and uh, maybe the prices have dropped maybe the price maybe the value has gone up on a i had an ak skin god i don't think i had a nice knife but anyways i gotta i gotta log in and check it out one of these days anyways like I said, sorry about the connection issues, guys. We're going to ride or die with it here on the main card final fight. Really appreciate you guys for joining. Nothing is changing in your inventory. Okay, sweet, sweet. That was one of my fears was that, not that I was going to lose it, but that like maybe they just wouldn't be valuable at all anymore. And, and maybe they did lose some of their value, but that's one of my, my, uh, my roommate in college who was a huge Counter-Strike guy as well. For my birthday, he bought me $200 worth of skins. And I was like, you could have just given me cash, but thank you. <laughs> All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen, main event of the evening, final fight on the card, but far from the final stream here today, as we have so many more fights to cover later this evening. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. The Belarusian against the Russian here in Minsk. Well, anyways, that's fucking sweet that you play Counter-Strike HM. Once I start firing up that game again, someday, hopefully in the near future, we'll... uh. We'll play some games together. Not much, man. It's been a pretty good card. Pretty good card. The connection issues are still giving me shit, but uh, pretty good card. Pretty good card. The heavyweight fight was awesome. I wish UFC heavyweight fights uh, delivered like that. Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock, and I imagine, I think only two fights went the distance, if I'm not mistaken. Only two, maybe three fights. How many? Is oh, wait. More fights went the distance than I than I thought. One, two, three, four finishes, four decisions, but only, or five decisions, I should say, but out of the five decisions, three three of them were just absolute banger fights. Four minutes on the clock, inside low kick. Uh, by Jankowski. Three minutes and 48 seconds on the clock. High kick attempt by Brolov. Step back left, right to the body. Oh my goodness. Outside low kick by Frolov. Left and a right by Frolov. Oh, Jankowski lands a right. What's the best? Pixelate Isha or ASMR Isha? Ugh, I hate both of them. I hate both of them with a fucking passion. Yeah, yeah, I played GTA. Like I said, I used to play a lot of GTA for self-care. As fucked up as that is, I used to play GTA for self-care. Uh, I'm 30 years old. I turn 31 next week. But my favorite games outside of Counter-Strike, um, 
like Super Smash Bros. Melee, Mario Kart Double Dash, and then all the old Super Nintendo Mario games. Two minutes and 33 seconds on the clock. But yeah, if I could if I could legally murder two people in the world, they would be ASMR Isha and pixelated Isha. I wish I could just wipe them off this fucking planet. YouTube is going to demonetize me for that. I'm 17, a young fighter boxer. Hey, keep up the good work, man. I know you're hitting the gym all the time. It's awesome to see. First GTA I played still had bird's eye view. Yeah, the Game Boy. I played GTA. Oh, wait, was it for Game Boy? No, no. It, you know what's crazy? So the developers of Lemmings made uh, counter made the first GTA game, which was crazy. No, I because I, I said I was gonna murder somebody. One minute and forty six seconds on the clock. It just means I have to write a little report to YouTube after and be like, by the way, I was it was a joke and this is why. PC, okay. Oh, big shot to the body, followed by a right hand by Yankowski. Woman in 20 seconds on the clock. One minute left. I'll get back to the chat here in a sec, guys. I, I just... I smell a finish for some reason. Final minute. Oh, and a big left and a right! And Yankowski stalking down Frolov. Man. It's been one-way traffic in regards to the striking here. 30 seconds left on the clock. Oh, a nice counter by Frolov. That was the nicest... Uh, oh, Frolov eats another one. Man. Final 10 seconds of the first round. Three, two, one. And that's it for the first round. Oh, and of course my stream freezes after that uh, first round there. Give me one sec. Let me just... Let me just uh, refresh this thing quickly. And yeah, so overall Frolov doing more damage here, but Jankowski did have a good, a good little run at the end there. He's able to get his counters going, but yeah. It was back and forth early, and then the bigger shots started to come from Frolov. Jankowski did have good counters, but he's just been eating a lot of them, especially around the midpoint of that round on the back foot for the most part after that. Sorry if it was confusing at first, guys. I think I, I, I by accident, was calling a Jankowski Frolov for, for like a, a couple of those sequences there. Uh, red shorts is Frolov. Jankowski's in the gray. Um, say, Patty, sorry, uh, the red shorts is, is the Russian, uh, the Belarusian in the gray round two, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, YouTube gods, please spare this junkie from despair. Sniff and smell that smells like another vintage Isha freak out. <laughs> FYI mustard is good against heartburn. Really? Noted. I love mustard, dude. Dijon and non-Dijon. Dijon and yellow. I could just fucking down a whole bottle. I really could. As fucked up as it is, I could do it. Oh, a nice right hand. Not that I would do it. It's not something I do on the regular. But I could. Like, the only reason I get excited for hot dogs is because of mustard. Oh, big left and a right by Frolov. Jankowski taking a lot of damage here now. Yeah, my favorite part of eating a sandwich is lathering that mustard on there, baby. Mm. Mm. 
Three minutes and 33 seconds on the clock. Step back, left jab by Jankowski. Roll over the right hand. Swing and a miss. Again, big shout out to everybody in the live chat. You all are amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here today. Nice counter left by Jankowski. Frolov still landing the bigger shots, but he slowed down a little bit after that final surge in the first round. Finish him, young Pito Jan. Teaspoon of mustard or, uh, or a suckle on a pack of mustard is instant relief from heartburn. You know what? I think I've actually heard that before um, in regards to like the packs. Oh, a nice right hand by Frolov. Frolov with another right hand. Have you been doing MMA or whatever martial arts you do? Uh, I haven't done jujitsu in a, in a few weeks. I didn't buy a membership for this uh, for March. But I'll probably renew my membership. Oh, big left hand by Frolov, and he dropped Jankowski. Even though Jankowski blocked it, he still dropped him. Oh, my God, this is one-way traffic right now. He's just, he was literally holding his head up and just landing big shots. This could be over soon. Jankowski tries to throw a kick and ends up falling down. Frolov just teeing off of him, teeing off on him right now. Body shot. Oh, he falls to the ground. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. This is over, ref. This is over, ref. End the fight, ref. End the fight, ref. Oh, my God. Frolov. Holding on the back of Jankowski now and landing even more shots. I mean, Jankowski, he's done, bro. He's covering up, but but not to intelligently defend himself. He's covering up because he, he doesn't want any more smoke. But no, I have been hitting the gym every day, Roman. I have been working out every day, but unfortunately haven't uh, been able to afford going to jujitsu this last month. But I'll, I'll get my membership back uh, for April. Bang, bang, pow. Guess who's back? Bro, he's fucking dead, my guy. I don't know how he got back up to his feet, but like he's not throwing anything back and Frolov is just beating him up. Oh, dude, he's done. Ref, end it. End it, ref. This is pretty much a verbal tap. He just fell to the ground. Almost voluntarily. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's got heart here. That was a good duck and roll, but man, he's done. He's looking at the ref too. The ref is not here to save anybody in Russia. And he falls to the ground again. Ref, end the fucking fight, man. This is over. Dude, this ref literally wants this Belarusian to die. No joke. This is fucked up, man. This is fucked up. I'm the one who loves the carnage, bro. End the fight, man. 43 seconds left in the cave. Jeez. The fight is over. Finally. Dude, that was one minute and 30 seconds of damage this guy did not need to take. This wasn't a title fight, no excuse. In front of his home crowd, too, and maybe that was why he was like, look, we want the Belarusian to have all the time in the world to come back in front of, you know, the Minx crowd. But that was hard to watch, man. And even Frolov was, like, looking at the ref, like, what the fuck else do I have to do? This guy was covered. Dude, no joke. The amount of time he just fell to the ground going like this, like, bro, if this was Mark Goddard, the fight would be finished yesterday. Not that I condone Mark Goddard finishing fights early, but like, my goodness, that was bad. Uh, it's been good hockey. It's been good. I mean, other than the, the connection issues that we've been having on stream, the internet issues we've been having today, uh, it's been good. BJJ can be expensive, especially you go to a good gym. Yeah, and, and my gym is is pretty good. It's one of the better ones in, in, uh, in the Twin Cities. And they're usually really cool about, hey, if you can't pay a month, you know, They'll give you janitorial duties and you can work off your, your payment. It's just, I haven't even had time to like stay, stay after class and, and do that. Right. So, but they're, they're usually really good. They, they put people on payment plans too. If you need, or if you can't pay up, like upfront or anything like that, like that, that's what I really love about the gym is they just, they want people to do jujitsu. They want people to, to, to come train. So they really give you the, the, as many opportunities as you can financially to, to make that happen. But at the end of the day, it's mostly just been a, a, a timing thing. Is Mario Yamazaki reading? Yeah, dude, this ref was worse than Herb Dean. This was one of the worst stoppages ever or lack thereof. Yep. He's done. If he dies, he dies. Oh my Lord. That was way too long. Dude, Jesus. Yeah. Give a guy a comeback. But what was that? That was disgusting. Yeah. That was, that was hard to watch. That was hard to watch. Was that an all time bad stoppage? Like that was way worse than green versus turn. Yeah. This was one of the worst I've ever seen. 
especially because the guy fell to the fetal position three occasions. Yes, and happy Easter, everybody. Uh, see you later, Hog from Home. I'll post my video today. I think I'll have it uploaded by 8 p.m. Eastern tonight, so check it out after tonight's stream. Will do, Hog from Home. You won today's beer bets. Lucky, Shane. Today's was, was coin flip for me, man. So I'll say the, the, the MMA gods are on my side here today, but we got a few beer bets tonight yet still, Shane, if you're around. Happy Easter. One of my coaches was a combat jujitsu EBI champion on UFC Fight Pass. Dude, that is awesome, man. That is all. What was his name? Oh, the, the announcer is interviewing the Belarusian. He wouldn't give him the mic, though. Hey, what's up, Profitable Pig? Damn, my boy watched ACA2. That was a rough-ass beating in the main. Yeah, overall, this card was awesome. Great fights overall. Like, I, I like one stinker that went to decision. All the other decisions were actually really good fights. But yeah, this one, this finish was hard to watch, man. The, the guy should have been... The fight should have been called a minute 30 earlier, let's be honest. But yeah, Profitable Pig, I try to do everything, man. Like I said, I try to do as many promotions as I can weekly. So I, I'm undecided because I have to finish some work. I have to, I'm, I'm fresh out of groceries and I've literally been uh, surviving on rice the last few days and I just, I just need to eat something different. So I got to do a grocery run. I have to finish a work project. And then after that, I will be back. It's a moving target of whether I do the LFA prelims or a chunk of Chuto Brazil, but I'm going to do one or the other basically up until BKFC starts. And then we're going to do BKFC main card, main card. I'll be back tonight. Are you doing BKFC or LFA? BKFC main card and, and I think LFA prelims. Uh, what's up, uh, Moa S M O S F? Did Michekov and Odebach match already happen? That one was canceled. That one was canceled. Nick Honstein? Uh, Honstein? It was when I first started at Ma and was caught off guard seeing all my coaches on Fight Pass. That's so cool, man. That's so so cool. We started covering the Fight Pass Invitationals, I think, on the third one, so I might have missed him, but that's super cool. My friends are doing good, man. My friends are doing good. Uh, hope yours are doing good as well. Sounds like you're in functional bender mode. Oh, I wish, dude. I wish. I'm in functional. I've only slept five hours in the last five days uh, mode. Um, I, I had a big, uh, big work project this week, and then I got behind on a couple other little tasks. I, I'm a freelance video uh, and audio editor, uh, mostly for podcasts, but you know, and then I also do um, like YouTube audits for people and do some consulting on like how to grow small YouTube channels and things like that. Um, and yeah, so I had a big video editing project where one of those things, you know, Murphy's Law, something can happen, it will happen. Well, in this case, if, if something could go wrong, it went wrong. There were some exporting issues with the files and basically a job that should have only taken me like eight hours took me like 40, eh, 30. I'm exaggerating a bit. Um, so that, that was just a headache. I mean, and the client did everything right. It wasn't wrong on them. It was just some hiccups on my end as far as just like my program and Anyways, we got it all figured out. And then, so just naturally, I got behind on my schedule. So I have one last video I have to edit and send to them today, now. Um, and then I got to get some groceries because, uh, yeah, like you said, I, I, because I've been, I've been so busy and literally been in front of a computer screen, not streaming, but video editing for the last like five days since Monday, I just haven't had to like, the, but when I took my first break of the day, the grocery stores were they were closed. They were damn closed. So I just need to get something other than rice in me because uh, though it's good training for when I make a knock on wood survivor, probably season in this in the 50s seasons, let's be honest, you know, minority Canadian. I check all the boxes. Um, I, I'm at least uh, learning how to survive on rice. That was a very long winded uh, answer to that comment there. Thank you, bro. Hey, thank you, dude. You should do LFA. Yeah, well, I'm not going to do the main card for LFA. I'm going to, because John Dodson's fighting on BKFC. And, and I pay for BKFC's um, service, so I'm going to do that. But I do, Patty, I do regularly do LFA. You can, If you click the live tab on my channel, you'll see. We definitely do a lot of LFA. I wish I could be in two places at once, but I can't, bro. I can't. Hopefully, this channel grows someday to a point where we can get another contributor someone like me someone better than me hopefully 
Not even a contributor, someone we can hire so that we can do two streams at once from the channel. Yo, what's up, Ethan? Good to see you, buddy. Hope all is well. Um, but anyways, guys, we will be back later today. Fuck the poll. Best card is BKFC. I love it. I was waiting for someone. I was waiting for someone to comment that. I love it. I love it. Um, again, big shout out to everybody who joined us live here on this stream. Doing ACA is so much fun. And we had a great crowd hanging out with you guys here today. I can't believe it's already uh it's already almost four o'clock. Wow. Yeah. So I gotta uh I gotta get my shit together here and uh, prepare for tonight's streams. But again, really appreciate you guys for joining. I'll give a shout out to everyone who donated as well. And, and as always, guys, I never ask for donations. I never ask for you guys to become members. But if you do, I'm gonna give you a shout out. And I want to thank you guys for going above and beyond. All I really ask is you guys uh, hang out in the live chat, smash that like button, subscribe, and and as always, vote in the poll question. So again, moving target here today. Moving target here today. We're either going to do Chuto Brazil or the prelims of LFA. And then we're going to jump over to BKFC right when the main card starts at 9 p.m. Eastern. Tomorrow morning, if I can find a free stream or if, if this works, by the way, because they, they do, they are showing it on some Chinese website. If that works, uh, we're going to do some JCK. If that doesn't work, then we're going to do some RWS. And then I'll do as much of Cage Wars as I can before I have, I have a commitment. My, my friends are getting married. I'm part of their wedding party. And there's some things we have to do tomorrow. There's like some sort of dinner we have to go to. So I do have to do that. Um, if UFC still on by the time I get home, we're going to be doing UFC. If not, we'll be doing some Pancras, ladies and gentlemen. And then Sunday, we got some boxing. And like I said here, if I can squeeze more into this weekend, I will. I'm just crazy busy with work and some wedding stuff. So I do the best I can, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, we get back to more of a normal schedule moving forward. You and Jay need to start a hardcore media. We go, we're slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, it all starts with the Rush City fight show and we'll see uh we'll see how things grow but yeah no it would be awesome if we actually went into business down the road just got back from having a few beers i'll be back from bkfc hey cheers calvert i'll be having a few beers uh, tonight as well team city life project you all are the best really appreciate every single one of you in the live chat right now um special shout out to gcn picks matt r combat sports today roid rage as well as Jonas Rees, who signed up as a member as well. You guys are all amazing. I'm excited for the boxing live stream. Yeah, I know you're the box. You're one of the boxers out of the group. So I'm excited for you to hang out with us on Sunday. No Fury FC this Sunday, but we got some boxing on Sky Sports with a really, really good main card. And again, Roman the Faster, if you want to hear the entire uh, rundown, um, you can check out this video here. I'll link it in the live chat. Uh, the Towards the end of the show, in hour two, we talk about boxing. About an hour and a half in, I'll say, we did a lot of boxing talk on the last episode of the Rush City Fight Show. That's it for me. I will see you guys in a few hours. Smash that like button and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah.